Hello fellow survivors and welcome to a Stalker video where I show you how to become good at the game if you play on Stalker with a little bit of touch of greedy sack plays. So what this is about is actually a little bit unusual. The video you're about to see was meant to actually be an episodic release that I was recording across the autumn of this year and I was planning actually on releasing it in early 2023 in one hour episodes. However, with the announcement of the expansion pass, this changed because it meant that once December comes, this save will no longer be playable because it will be part of the old system. So once the expansion pass hits, I cannot continue this gameplay anymore. So instead of uh, going forward with the episodic release, I instead took the five episodes that I had recorded so far and glued them together into one long seven hour video of Stalker gameplay. And in this video, I go through several things. Uh, I collect as much as I can uh, with the goal of leveling my skills to level five. And as you can guess, I don't manage to do that in one video that will take several, but I do also explain what I'm doing. So I hope that this video will make you a better Stalker player, or you can just sit and be along for the ride and have some fun. And I'll explain everything I'm doing as I go along throughout. There will be a little notification when I switch from one episode to another in the corner, just to indicate that the transition might be a little off because I glued different episodes together into one long run. If you would like to see more of this run, please let me know in the comments and I will try to continue it before the expansion pass hits and level all the skills to five. It could be done, but if not, I might have to start this again after the expansion pass hits. In the meantime though, I hope you enjoyed this video and some stalker adventures with me going about in Great Bear Island. Let's get to it, survivors. Hello fellow survivors and welcome to a Stalker series where I'm going to play Stalker difficulty which I know a lot of people play. Uh, I mostly do interloper videos and it's quite rare actually that I play on the lower difficulties but it does happen. But I've been meaning to make a Stalker series for a while and there's a reason for that. That's because I don't have the achievement to get all the skills to level 5. Well that's because I play interloper and you don't get the rifle and everything there or the revolver. I can't get them to level five. <laughs> it's practically impossible. So when you do stalker, and stalker can be fun. It's going to be a nice little break to actually use the uh, the rifle as well. So what we're going to do today, we're going to start a new stalker series. Now the stalker series, survival series, will be also a walkthrough like I normally do. I'll explain everything I'm doing and guide you to the process. However, because it's an achievement run, I'm also going to play it a bit greedily the way that I play things. I will often be achieving, not achieving, sorry, but chasing the achievements. And then I might do some things that are quite reckless just to get the skills to level up faster. But we're going to walk through the whole thing. It's going to take a while to get everything level five. It's going to take several hours to do so. So I hope you go with me in this journey to reach all traits or all skills level five. And let's see if we can do it. And let's see how long we need to do it. Eh, it's probably going to take a while, I think. So let's start a new one. We're going to choose Stalker, the hardest of the non-interloper ones. And actually, there's one thing about Stalker that's actually harder than interloper. There are actually more wolves in Stalker than in interloper. They don't do as much damage um, and they don't detect you from as far away, but they still are quite persistent. There's a big difference really between Voyage and Stalker, especially in terms of wolves. So that's the one thing. So let's hop in there. And then region, you know, I can actually choose. And if I could choose, I think I would like to spawn in Hashru Valley uh, or Ash Canyon. I think one of those two would be great just because I want to get the satchel or backpack right away. But where's the fun in that, huh? So why don't we do a random spawn and then I'll just see where it goes. I do know some weapon spawns, like I don't play Stalker very often, so I don't know where everything is. Um, I know where most weapon spawns are in Coastal Highway and Mystery Lake and a few in Pleasant Valley and HRV, but not all of it. The other areas, not so much. 
So finding things like weapons and things will be relatively explorative for me because I don't play it very often. The longest voyage run I ever had was close to 200 days. Stalker, I never really played beyond day 30 or something like that because I just more or less skipped Stalker on my way to Interloper. Anyway, random it is. Random region. And yeah, we'll go for Astrid, shall we? Let's do it. And now I am spoiled for choice. I have three feats. And actually, this time we are going to go for this one, Book Smarts. I don't usually go for this one because how fast you level up skills isn't that important, although it can be useful uh, for getting cooking and things faster. But this run, of course, we're trying to get all the skills to level five. So I definitely want this so we get more points from reading those books. We're going to do that a lot. Cold Fusion, not as important on Stalker because the war uh, world is warmer. Uh, but it could be an idea. Uh, efficient machine, not too bothered about that one. I'm considering maybe having Firemaster as level 3, just because then you skip that. However, I wouldn't, I guess, I guess it wouldn't be a pure getting all skills to level 3 if I had this. And I think we should just start level 1 and go from there. Plus, you can cheese your way to level 5 Firemaster if you really want to. So I think we're actually going to take. Snow Walker and Cold Fusion plus Book Smarts. Let's go. So let's see. Stalker. All skills. Five. Can I call it now? All skills. I'll call it all skills. Let's see where we end up and let's conquer the spawn of a rat and get gear. All right. Let's see where we are. All right, this looks like, is this, is this Blackrock? Ash Canyon. Oh, it is Ash Canyon. Never had this spawn before. Oh, oh, actually in the valley itself. Wow. I didn't even know you could spawn here. You can't spawn here on Interloper. I mean, you can in Ash Canyon, but not this specific spawn. At least I've never had that happen. But that's okay. Ash Canyon is great because I can get to the gold mine right away. Uh, do I have matches and I have a flare. Wow, okay. You spawn with a flare. That's just insane. Though so the wolves won't be an issue. I am going to go not to the right. I think this leads to Angler's Den. Uh, do I want to go there right away? Mm, no. I'm going to go this way instead, I think. And go around through the different um, uh, swamps. Find segment to wolves, grab some cattails and things. Let's grab stones for the wolves. Basically gonna treat this like an interlope run for a while, so I'm gonna go this way. Sticks on my friends. I have a flare as well, so we should be golden. <clears throat> yeah, here we are coming out. I don't have I'm gonna pick up all these things. I don't really need them, but I want to level up cooking. So I'm going to grab all of this stuff. Just have an excuse to cook more stuff. I'm not going to use any kind of like exploits for that. Like maybe I could cheese fire uh, mastery. But I'm not going to cheese fire starting. By creating a ton of fires I don't need. Uh, unless it's the last thing I need to level up. And same with cooking. I'm not going to create all sorts of little cuts. That I'm going to um, uh, then cook in small pieces to level cooking fast. I'm not going to do that. We're going to do it organically. At least that's the plan. So many mushrooms. If you need mushrooms, you got to go here. Let's go through. Come on. Should be able to get through here. This is a long, long canyon, this one. <laughs> so much stuff to harvest as well. We're getting a bunch of resources and stuff. Oops, already. Cold. Yeah, but you'll be alright, Astrid. So this particular run, I'm going to... Wow, Birch down there, okay. I didn't know there would be Birch here. How did that happen? Hmm. So, <clears throat> I will narrate everything I'm doing. Uh, so this will be a stalker walkthrough of sorts. Uh, however, I will play it uh, more or less a Zack style. Where I do some shortcuts and different things. I like playing the game vanilla, but I do have some like tricks and exploits that I use every now and then. 
Why can't I reach this? I did I did see it. There was a... Uh, there we go. So I'm going to explain what I'm doing, but I will do some cheesy things uh, to uh, just have fun while I play it. And hey, I think we're coming out now. I'm running a bit. I'm getting cold. And we have a ton of these. And we should be coming out into the bitter marsh now. Not much of this, but you know, it's warmth, it's cooking. All right. <clears throat> I have antiseptic actually on me. You spawn with antiseptic. Wow. Okay. That seems a bit overkill. And I don't really need the other stuff. Okay, frostbite. Let's try to avoid getting that. Okay, yeah, we got time for that. Cattails. Take those for Tinder. I think the bridge is above us now, isn't it? E no, I don't see it. If I have to, I'll make a fire by the fishing hut. But for now, I think I am all right. Yep, frostbite is gonna take a little while. Oh, look at that, I love this. What time of day is it? So the sun's kind of coming up and it's foggy. Um, and the fog is kind of like it's on its way out. So you get this ghost effect in Ash Canyon. It's, this is incredible. I really like this. The ghost forest of Ash Canyon is what this becomes because we're looking at it through uh, the fog and the sunlight. So you get this really airy effect. This is very, very cool. Um, that's uh, another great thing about this game. The art design and everything is just phenomenal. I don't know if this is intentional or this is a side effect of the weather system, but it is looks fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna go through all this until I get to the river. We should be up here soon. Go through to get to the cattails and whatnot. Where's the wolves? Yeah, I don't want to get stumped by moose or anything either. <laughs> so there's the bend. This is the bend I was looking for. Keeping an eye on my deer. Yep, yeah. and we should have fishing out in front of us now. And up here are the ruins. Let me check for the frostbite. Mm, it's okay for now. I'm going to check these ruins quick. There's usually like a box here. With a... Uh, miscellaneous loop. Oh, I never noticed these bird noises before. That's interesting. Nuts and stuff. Alright. I'm stuck. Alright. More sticks. Thank you. Marsh, and then we have our broken fishing hut. Have we got anything inside? And uh, no. Like this. Plug. All right. Then we have the homesteaders respite up there, and we could do a shortcut. But I don't think we need to do that. But I think I want to go to Anglestan instead. I'm not going to do the shortcut up there yet. Then I'm going to make my way to Angus Den and go from there. <coughs> Get matches and things. Well, this, we already have matches, but more matches, I suppose. I'm running and pick up a bunch of cattails on the way as well. I think I have enough uh, wood for now. At least for a bit. I pick up some more when I'm not running. I'm gonna go over this hill here because the moose could be on my left. I really doubt there'll be a moose right now though, this early in the game. But it could be there. It could be there. I think we should be fine getting to Anglisten before we have frostbite. I'm gonna do that. 
if I it, where I spawned, if I had gone the other direction, has the wolf, then um, throwing a rock to distract the wolf. Yeah, he got distracted. Nice. If I'd gone the other direction where I spawned, I would have gotten closer to Angler's Den. And I would have made it there faster. But I wanted to take the detour to get more cattails, to get more uh, of the, the mushrooms and things. I wanted all that stuff. So that's why I went the long, long way. Keeping an eye. Hyper uh, Frostbite is not even halfway. Should be fine. But, and here we have a wolf or two. If I can get past here without using the flare, that would be great. But if I have to use it, then I'll use it. And then we're going to go up to the gold mine after. Wait for this to recharge fully. And I don't have weapons, so this flare is basically my weapon. If I didn't spawn with this flare, uh, but I spawned with matches, I would have made a fire as soon as possible to then create uh, torches, which I would use against the walls. But because I have a flare, isn't that nice? Uh, I don't really need it. There we are, where are you? You're over there. We might be able to get past this wolf without using the flare. I think we can. Yes. There. Oh, no, we can't. I had my back against the wall there, so I have to, I had to use it, unfortunately. That's alright though, that's what it's for. We'll use this to create a fire. Always have a contingency. In case something happens. Grab these. The wolf isn't going to be an issue because I have the flare. So I'm just going to grab these. And I want to see if there is a marine flare. Because you can have a marine flare here. Up here. Looks like we have a regular flare instead. It looks like some wood. No, it's not wood. It's just the edge. There comes Wolfie. We're going to ignore him. by Wolfie. And go inside. And then now we should be okay for frostbite because we're warming up. Yeah, 43%. I'm going to wait for that to go down. And first things first, I'm going to make a fire. Grab this book. Because then it increases. Choose the book. Cattail head. And the flare. Go. And then while I loot and stuff, I can make some water. And then we are pretty good. I could rest and things, but I think if I can... I would like to leave while this flare is still burning, but it may not be possible. I need to make some torches against the wolf nest. I need to go through some wolves now to get up to the gold mine. Now that we're going to go summit, <clears throat> although there is a possibility that we can't go summit. Coal, we're not going to use that, we're going to use sticks. There we are. Uh, then we're going to make water. Half a litre of that. And then let's look around. Fishing tackle, which is the same as sewing kit. Diary page. We got dog food. We got dog food. We shall just eat if I want to. Uh, then we have ketchup chips. We'll take the other book. We got matches. Uh, I don't think we need more books. Let's grab this. Energy bar. And there's usually a book here. Yep. Shooting guide. That's great. Check the trunk. Oh, light shell. Grab that. We need gloves, really. Knife. Oh, yeah. That's great. Wood. Wood. Quality tools. We'll, we'll take it. Uh, we don't need this stuff. We'll leave that. Arrowhead, yeah, I forgot they are always here. Okay, so now we have a knife. That's good. I don't think there's anything else to loot here. Uh, let's have a look. If I missed anything. Sometimes there's little things hidden about. I don't 
think I have missed anything here. Please let me know if I did. <laughs> right, this is burning out soon anyway, so we're going to wait for that. I'm going to grab some torches. I'm going to carry with me as we approach the walls. I would like to warm up. Yeah, that's going down. That's fine. Oh wow, these are bad torches. But the torch is a torch, so we'll take it. I have the bedroll because we got some luxury on the uh, on uh, stalker. You know, we spawn with uh, <laughs> uh, it's antiseptic, and we spawn with matches and a flare. You know, crazy stuff. I don't think we're going to finish this, so we're going to throw it that. Thirteen minutes. We're gonna craft one of our uh, Raishis while we wait for that. There we go. Take the water, grab the can, and I'm gonna grab one more torch. Put on a stick, grab a torch, and let's get out of here. All right. 29%. So now what I want to do, I want to go up through the wolf nest that's up here. And take the cave route towards the gold mine. Might sleep in the cave to gain some stamina back. Because I'm quite tired already from all this running in the cold. Up here we have the fire barrel. And the fire barrel always has tomato soup sometimes more so it's here and then it's easy to miss but on the left here you can find the, the soup and we have soup and dog food uh, I might wait to eat the soup until I have a can opener because I need to smash the can I do however have a knife so I can use that to open it as well let's keep going This is one of my preferred spawn. If I could choose, if it wasn't random, if I could choose, I would choose Ash Canyon or Ash River Valley, just because of the extra loot you can get from these regions. If it wasn't either of those two, then it, I don't really mind. It could be anything, Coastal Highway, Pleasant Valley. Uh, Pleasant Valley is probably the third best spawn, I guess. Let's go up here. And now, we'll be approaching a wolf nest. There's a few of those. We have to, there we go. There's a few of those in Ash Canyon. Where you have up to four wolves. On Stalker, maybe five wolves. And they're all grouped together, and you gotta go through them. However, there's no wind, and we have a torch. So, I'm not worried about the wolves. They're gonna be up here. Grab this cattail as well. I have a lot of tin though, I don't actually need that much. I'm gonna keep taking it though. We gotta be a little bit careful going around this corner right up here. That's the only thing we gotta be a little bit careful about. Because the wolf could sneak up right on us. But other than this particular section, we should be good. Alright, there's, there's the wolves. Alright. So let's do this. And get rid of both of these guys. So if, you, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, that's how you deal with wolves. You have to have a torch. You basically just drop the torch on the ground and then you aim at the wolf. Doesn't matter what you aim at the wolf with. It can be a, uh, it can be a stone, it can be a weapon. Doesn't make a difference. Just like this, and they will run away. Won't work if you don't have the torch. But it will work if you have a campfire or a flare instead, of course. They work the same way. But uh, if this blows out and you just aim at the wolf with a stone, it's not going to do anything. Let's see here. Where is the other wolf? He is here. I'm going to light another torch. To preserve matches, like that. Light the torch with another torch. No match is used. 
And then we're gonna make our way over here through this cave. And through here we go. Probably will sleep in here a bit because I'm getting quite tired. It's better to sleep before the gold mine rather than after. We have a bunch of stuff we can do anyway. All right, so now we're in the cave leading up to Miner's Folly. And here I'm going to use a cheesy tactic probably. I'll give it a try. Uh, so let's do like this. I'm going to drop the torch. And then we're going to right click to place this through the waterfall like this. There's the waterfall. I'm going to keep going a bit. Place that there and pick it up. And now I have preserved my torch going through the fire. How about that? That's an exploit if you've ever seen one. <laughs> Wasn't necessary of so many matches. I did get wet though. What I could have done is just take these off and then go through it. Then they don't get wet. But I didn't do that because I'm a bit lazy. La lazy enough to not take these off but still want to do the exploit through the <laughs> firewall. Oh, let me actually illustrate something while I'm here. This is a bit of a waste, but just for illustration purposes. If we light a marine flare, then we can actually go through this. Look at that. It doesn't expire. That's because it's a marine flare. It literally is in the name. Marine flares will not be doused by water. Now, there's not going to be many situations we're going to walk through water with the marine flare anyway. So I wouldn't bother doing this. Uh, you want to really save these flares for timber walls. That's what they're for. But now you know. You can throw this to a waterfall. You learn something every day. You probably will never use that trick because it's, uh, it's extremely few situations where it's actually useful. You want to mostly save those for the timber walls. Got some wood here. But sometimes I, in my videos, I sometimes waste resources or make deliberate mistakes for demonstration purposes. That was one of those. So, up here we are. There should be some more coal up here as well. You can also loot this atrium coming up here. Yeah, there's a bit more coal, which is great. And here we are at the atrium. Where there'll be some a little bit of misc loot. There's the rope, but yeah, you can find some wood and stuff. Oh, I'm getting heavy. Um, I might have to dump something. Let's see, what can I dump? Uh, maybe we can eat something. That doesn't really help much, I guess. But we can still eat something. I'm gonna sleep anyway. Let's eat some stuff. To maintain a well-fed, we're going to do it this way. Then have a drink. And then I'm going to drop these two. And now I can climb this. Very tired, so barely can I climb it. But I can climb it. It's a very, very short climb, so it shouldn't be an issue. Now we're up. Uh, we're not going to continue to the uh, gold mine because we are tired from all this running we've been doing. So tired. But that's okay. That's to get out of the cold and avoid frostbite and things. So I'm gonna make some more water and craft some teas and some other stuff. Ah, we have our first carcass. Hmm. Do I want to harvest this? Hmm. I guess we don't really need to. Do we need any of this stuff? Guts, maybe, but I'm not gonna take any of that now. Um, I think I'll do that later if we want to craft um, that. So we're going to leave that. Although actually, um, we could harvest it to level up carcass harvesting now that I think about it. Yeah, that might be an idea. Yeah, I'll tell you what, we're going to make our little campfire here. So that we can do some harvesting while we cook water and things like that. I think that's 
<coughs> a good thing to do. Oh, come on. Try again. So we're going to stay here. We're going to kill some time with harvesting, cooking, uh, preparing come mush on, mushroom on. and stuff like that, and then sleep, and then we'll head out in the morning to the gold mine. Then we can get the technical backpack right away. So I'm going to put on fur firewood. This gives a lot of duration, but it's so heavy. And then let's put some sticks on here. And then we're going to put two of these to make water. And now I'm just going to throw this out. And while this is cooking, I'll do some harvesting. Do it. And I can cook it if I want to. And then uh, that takes seven minutes. So let's do that and that. And we have the guts too. I probably will take the guts with me because the route from here to the gold mine has no predators. And the route from the gold mine to Timwolf Mountain has also no predators. And the route from that spawn in Timwolf Mountain to the summit has like two or three predators. We are very safe here. We're going to drop these two so they can cure. This is now boiled. That's great. Now it's boiled. Make some more water. Oops. And then we'll also harvest hide. We're going to use our hands for that instead. Just spare the knife. Frostbite is cured. That's great. We might as well drop this for curing. Boil dry. That's perfect. Let's grab one of these and put down the meat to cook and uh, let's put on one of these also and then now i'm going to multitask by making some mushroom and things make two it takes half an hour to do that and i have them for cooking later this one's boiled grab that make some more water we can make another two of these There we go. I'm gonna grab that. I don't know if we'll eat this because it gives us parasite risk, but we are going to cook it. Six minutes. That's enough to create the birch bark. They only take five minutes. <clears throat> there we are. Grab that. How much water? Quite a bit. Uh, but that's okay. If that's ready, and then also we can we can make a tea the birch tea first and while that's cooking we'll make another rose sip it's gonna keep doing this back and forth done make a reishi make another one of these done that's done and we have a decent amount of water i think we can make one more water of this I put the cedar on and make two more of these that's the last two there we go five minutes uh, yeah grab a torch or two we need some more torches I well, need need but nice to have I think that's probably enough torches I think yeah I want one more there we are. And then that's two minutes, two minutes, and then we're going to leave the rest, I think, for now. Grab that, grab that. And then, while this fire dies out, I'm just going to do some more crafting. I'm going to craft these things. See, it takes an hour to do that. We'll do that, and then we might as well make this, even though we don't really need it as such. And there we go. And now we're going to have a little look at our inventory. So this is the gear that we have. We need gloves. Um, we have a ton of these, which is okay. Let's get rid of this one, maybe. Wait a bit. A lot of stuff to cook. These are in poor condition. Quite a bit of food uh, and different things. I am going to eat this. It will give me parasite risk. But only 1%. 
And because it's only 1%, I'm not going to eat any more wolf meat for a while, even though this is tiny, and this is really not worth eating. I'm going to eat it anyway. And let's see, uh, how much is it? 500. Not sure if that's worth eating. I think we'll eat some cattails instead. Let's maintain well fed here. Then we're going to go to sleep for 12 hours and we should be okay with warmth because it's one degree, but only, only one degree, but we are indoors. Where's the, the, there we go. There, even though it's one degree, it's probably going to stay one degree. So sleeping for 12 hours shouldn't kill us or anything. So we're going to sleep for 12 hours in here. Oh, actually, hold on. It did actually get colder there, though. Mm. I still think we'll be okay. But... I think we'll be okay, but let's do a test. If you're not sure about this stuff, if it's such a small margin, maybe it's best not to be risky. This is early in the game, though, so if I actually were to die of this, I would just do it again. But let's do a test. We'll sleep three hours. Then we'll see if we're getting colder or not. This is indoors, but it is in a cave, and the world does get cold overnight. But I don't think it should get cold enough. Yeah, as you see, it hasn't changed in three hours. It's still the same. That decrease in temperature may just have been the fire slowly dying and giving off less and less heat. Let's leave one more hour just to see. So some zeros at 3.9. Let's just have a quick look. I'm going to regenerate less health this way, but... Okay. And let's see now, and it's exactly the same. So it is what I thought, it's just that that last degree went down. But the bedroll gives me four degrees, and my uh, cold fusion gives me two degrees as well. So we're, we're four degrees above. I'm gonna drink again. And then I'm going to sleep the rest of the duration, which would be uh, nine hours. I think we'll probably sleep eight, but we'll sleep. So let's just see here. We should wake up not cold. It shouldn't change being indoors. If this was mountainous hot or something, then I would say something else. But no, it's exactly the same. Pick up. All right. Then we're going to eat. Uh, I think we're going to eat one of these. Let's eat this. So we're going to open this with the knife. You can't heat up dog food. So we might as well eat it like it is. It's best to wait to eat the low condition ones until before you go to bed. Because if you get food poisoning, it's very easy to cure if you're going to sleep anyway. So here we are. And now we are full. We have this risk of parasites, which is unlikely to cause any issue. But if it does, it does. And we're going to light a torch. We can see. Don't forget these. And let's get out of here. So now we're going to head towards the gold mine. Uh, there's a little bit of mist glute on the way, but for the most part, the, the gold is in the gold mine. <laughs> uh, on difficulties like Stalker and Below, you can find some matches on the way to the gold mine in Ash Canyon. They tend to be cardboard matches kind of laying under bridges and things. You don't find those on Interlope, but on Stalker you can find them. So we're going to have a look at the bridges that we cross. We're not going to go to Minus Folly. There isn't anything of note there. Maybe we'll come back another time. But there's nothing for us there except the bear, which is in our way. So why bother doing that? So we're just going to go. And I'm going to start running because uh, we're, we're cold. But if necessary, I will warm up some uh, teas. But I'm not too worried about the cold, except for frost frostbite. So let's see, this one doesn't have anything. We have the rope, which I could take with me and place it for a climb down. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to instead just uh, billy goat down. So let's do this. And over here, there is sometimes a snow shelter that we can use to warm up. There's rabbits, which we don't really need. There's maple, which we also don't need right now, and birch. <clears throat> I could grab the rabbits just for some food if I want to, but we only need to. And there is a snow shelter. It seems to have bugged out a little bit. I don't think it's normal. <laughs> like that. We got a piece of cloth. We got some ketchup chips. 
if I want to, I can go in here and use it. And I, I'm just barely cold. I don't think that's worth it. What we could instead do is dismantle it. It's gonna take 20 minutes, but we get two cloth. What we could do is just do this. Start a little fire, so that we keep our fire while we do this. And we can warm up some teas as well. So first we start the fire. First we gotta, first we gotta succeed in starting a fire. Let me rephrase. <laughs> We'll level some stuff up while we're at it. I'm not going to read any books until I'm more settled in a base. There we go. <clears throat> so let's see. Come on. This is the third attempt. You can do this. I believe in you, Astrid, and your fire starting skills. And... There you go. Yeah, we're going to put a coal on here. And we can put a couple of these in too. What we're going to do is let's just get rid of this. We're going to make some teas, and I'm also going to place these ones down, and they will heat up. You can also cook this, which I'm going to do as well. That can also be cooked next to the fire. And then I'm going to put here some of these. And then I'm going to dismantle this. But I want the cloth. If I leave it, it's eventually going to become ruined anyway. So I might as well do it now. These are all done now. I can grab some more torches. Don't have frostbite risk really because of this. Oh, good torches. I like good torches. Very nice. Uh, they're not going to get burned anytime soon, so I can grab some of that was a bit of a bad one, so we're going to get rid of that one. That's okay, and then we'll grab the last one as well. And we're not fully warm yet, so I'm actually going to drink one of the Raishi teas now to warm up a bit. There we go. And I'm grabbing these, and then we're leaving. Alright, I think that was, yeah. So, uh... When you drink a hot tea or a hot food, you get the warming up benefit, so you're a bit warmer, but also you regain warmth. So if you're completely cold, you'll get back about one third, one fourth of your warmth meter. You can actually do that. Rose. Ah, as I said, has matches just casually laying on the bridge. Across the bridge. What corpse are they? That's weird. What the... Uh, what are they for? What's down there? I don't know exactly. It seems a bit too high to be anything. Hmm. That's curious. I'm not sure exactly what that's about. Hmm. Might be the cave at the edge of it, I guess. There's probably a corpse in the cave, I guess. Uh, I'll figure that out another time. Let's go. And there's more matches. So if you need matches, go to Ash Canyon. Let's check under. I think that wouldn't be because we just found one. <coughs> Keep going. I'm going to run, not because I need to, but I just want to preserve some cold. Or cold warm rather. And then we're approaching the possible loot place soon. First we're gonna cross another bridge over here. I don't have any charcoal, so I can't really do any mapping, but we'll do that another time. Torches. More roll sip. And then now what I can do now to retain some more heat, you can see that my uh, warmth is about halfway gone. And what I could do is I could drink another tea, because it's still hot, see? It lasts for a little while. Drink that, gain a little bit of calories. And look at that, now I'm completely warm again. So you can actually use teas like that to travel longer distances. And if you ever decide to go on a long journey and it's cold, I recommend you bring some teas to do exactly this. 
you can then cover much, much longer distances without getting cold and without taking damage. It's a great tool. If you ever try the Asted Sleep Challenge, you need to master using T's because it's the best way to travel long distances without losing health. Let's see if there's some matches here. Mm, yes, two of them, three of them. Holy crap. Who goes around the Nash Canyon and just like, I'm just going to throw my matches around. I mean, look at this. I'll take it. There's so many matches, 20 and 20, and I'm guessing it's 20 as well. So there's three of them just laying about. Huh. How about that? Cold isn't as bad right now. Uh, the day is warming up a little bit too. I'm going to just walk normally, I think. We can also grab the wood over here. We don't have to run everywhere, you see. And what's that? Oh, it's more matches. Did I mention that here. there's matches in Ash Canyon? Because there are. Sometimes they're on the head too, but I haven't seen it. Let's grab this wood that's over here. This is always there. Uh, on all difficulties. The interloper as well. I think maybe sometimes there's one on interloper, but it should be there. Let me keep going. The cold is going to take so long to uh, go down from this point that uh, I don't think we'll get cold before we get to the mine. And even if we do, it's going to be very marginal. There is often a deer carcass up here though, so I could um, harvest that if it's there. Just for some more carcass harvesting and food. And there is one here, so yes, let's do it. I'll have a nice view and everything. This is actually one of the Polaroid locations. Uh, not where you find the Polaroid, but where you... Oh well, uh, but where you um, map it once you find the Polaroid. That's up here. But I don't have it, so... Uh, it won't actually work. We're gonna make a fire then Come instead. On, and we're gonna find lots of coal soon in the mine, so I'm just going to um, put one Perfect. on here. Throw this down to the wolf. There you go. Make some more water. Half a liter, half a liter. And then we're going to grab all this food 1.9 kilos. It's frozen, so it takes longer to do. There we go. That's boiled. Grab one of these and then place this down. Takes an hour. Takes 40 minutes. Gonna grab, uh, not that, but these. And the hide, I think, takes 40 minutes by hand, okay. That's okay, 15 minutes, we can make a rose sip while we wait. See, I'm always multitasking. While something's cooking, do something else. Oh, the wind blew out the fire. Mm. Ah, I can still put stuff on there. I'm gonna do that. Ah, it blew out again. I would like to hide though. So I'm actually going to grab this, let's see here, I could, is this in cover over here? It is, okay. I'm going to try to relight this. Mm, it doesn't work unfortunately. Not unless I can shield this. Nah, doesn't work. Eight minutes. Nah, I don't think this is going to get cooked. This is going to marginally not get cooked. I am going to take the cold damage though and just grab this because I want to hide. I'm all the way up here. There we go. We're going to get cold. This It did get cooked, just barely. Take the charcoal as well. And while I'm there here getting cold, let's map it too. Boom. Yeah, here's the vista location. Why does it say this? I mean, I don't have the... I don't have the Polaroid, so... I don't know. That's weird. Okay. Let's keep going. Uh, we're gonna be fine in a second. I'm not worried about cold. I want the stuff. Grab this. Careful when you grab these, so you don't climb by accident. Let's go up. And now we're approaching the Bear Coat Cave. Uh, because this is an area in the game 
where you can actually find a bear coat completely ready made. It's kind of rare. I've only found it twice, I think. Twice or maybe three times. But there's an area here where you can find a bear coat, you can find rope, you can find storm lantern, a uh, book. We're gonna have a look at that. I'm gonna run a bit now since I'm cold. We're approaching it now, it's just around the bend here. So we go around this bend. And then we're going to pick up some of these for, for wood. And then here's the cave right in front of us. But the loot is actually not this cave. It's on my right here. And here it is. Ah, well this is good. Marine flare. And these ones. These are kind of rare. These are, are rare. They're much, much better than these. But we're going to put those on. And they help a lot. One and a half degrees. We repaired two degrees. This one's one degree. But they're much better. And they're quite rare. Um... You should be able to find probably probably four of them on Stalker or something like that. Maybe more, I'm not sure. On the Interloper they do exist, but they're extremely rare on Interloper. Uh, I have found them and I've seen others find them. But they are so rare that it's possible that it's just a bug. But I think they are a very rare spawn. Let's move forward. Uh, we're coming up now to the Stim location, which I don't think is here because I think that's Interloper only. We can check. If it was interloper, it would be on my left here now. And it's not there, but it would be there. That's an interloper thing. Let's keep going. Uh, grabbing more rose hip. I really would like some gloves if I can find it. Well, spiders. Uh, in here, there's just wood, but we don't need that. Let's keep going. I'm going to check the anchor to the gold mine because sometimes there's uh, flares and things like that there. So here's the path down to the gold mine. This is the the rope anchor where you're supposed to attach the rope, but I didn't bring the rope. Here's the flare that I wanted. Nobody needs this anymore. And there's the gold mine right there. That's where we're supposed to go. But we're not going to take that route, we're going to take the other route, the billy goat route. You can get down pretty much anywhere in uh, in the long dark by carefully navigating down. We're going to go down here. And down this slope here. This takes us down. And we can crowd check because it's very steep. We should be fine. We might take a sprain maybe, but we'll be okay. Get down. This rabbit said I could maybe... I only have one stone. Could maybe hunt rabbits and cook it in uh, in the mine itself. If uh, yeah, I go a while for frostbite risks, so I think that's all right. You can also spam the crouch to get down a bit faster. Ah, there it is. Yeah. Can't run now. That's a bit annoying, but we're almost there. Seeing as there's no threats and I'm practically there, I'm just going to let this heal normally. I think. I missed. I can't run to do it either. I'm gonna try and get these, but I'm not gonna spend too much time doing it. Bam crouch. They don't see me this way. Wow, <laughs> I missed. <laughs> I think in my voyage tutorial I said, oh yeah, this distance you can't even miss. And I missed. <laughs> that was a good one. All right, let's uh, ignore the rabbits for now and check out this corpse over here. Yeah, the corpse is, I think, is always there. And uh, we can get a miscellaneous loot there. There might be some, you know, weapon spawns and stuff in Stalker that I'm not familiar with. But I probably will stumble upon those. But for the most part, I know where things can be. Uh, there we go. Spray paint. We don't need that. I'm going to leave that. Feathers we'll take. Uh, I can maybe get by the rabbits again. Uh, just to give it a try. But if I fail again, I'm just going to leave it, I think. It's easier when you have more stones and you can run. But when you have one and you can't run, then I get patient. Um, so one rabbit there. Where's the other rabbit? Gone. That smarts a bit. 
We don't really need the rabbit or anything. I'm just gonna do it for the sake of it. Oh, I turned at the last minute. Come on. <laughs> Alright, let's do this properly then. Thing is, he's coming right for my face. This time I didn't miss. <laughs> if you can't hit, uh, just crouch and you'll get really close to them. Did the other guy run far away or is he? I see. Uh, we'll grab this guy too. Get some harvesting done, get some cooking done. You basically, by hunting an animal, you basically level. Uh, well, if you use a weapon, if you use a uh, bow or a rifle, or a revolver, I guess. If you hunt an animal with a weapon, you are effectively leveling um, four skills at once. Because first you're leveling, let's say you use a rifle, you level the rifle by shooting the animal. Then you level carcass harvesting by harvesting the animal. Then you light a fire and then increase your fire starting skill. And then you finally you cook the animal and that increases your cooking skill. So a lot of skills go up that way. Nothing there. And let's head into the mines then. And here is a little cabinet thing. Nev I've never ever on any difficulty found anything in there. <laughs> Maybe. Let me know if you ever found anything in there. I've never found anything. Go to the mine. Alright, we can't see much, so we're gonna light a torch. We're gonna light it with the bad matches. Garbled matches. Alright, let's see what we got here. We'll definitely be sleeping in here too. Okay, we have coal and firewood, which we will grab. We have accelerant. We have long wool scarf. Okay, that's good. More matches. Oh, salty, pinnacle. A book, more coal, I think that's it. Some of those gloves there, which I would have liked, but no such me. luck. Then we're going to get our feet cold. And one benefit of running so much in the early game is you get tired very easily. But as long as you have the food to sustain yourself through a long sleep, you're going to get the well-fed bonus faster. So well-fed will allow me to carry five kilos more. And it will allow me to uh, have more health. So the only benefits with that. Let me grab all this stuff. Because I might use it to craft and cook and things. Uh, torch. Is this a full torch? I think it might be. This it is. <clears throat> Wood. And is that it? Yeah. Okay. Let's head into the actual center of the mine. We want the backpack. And also the crampons. So the backpack will give us five uh, kilos carry capacity, which is why I really am happy I spawned here. And there's a miscellaneous loot as well. So let me just... Uh, I often check around here because you can find misc loot. So here we have a hammer. That's great. We could take that. We don't really need it, but we'll take it. Can we use for forging? And I always check here. There's usually nothing here, but I do check anyway. All right. And then we approach the workbench. I can also um, check the other thing. We'll do that in a sec. So here we have the backpack. The gold one is great. A good loot here. Backpack. Now we can carry more stuff. Look at that. Carry capacity increased. Now we have plus five here. That's awesome. Notebook, we got a rifle cartridge, we got some water, energy bar, inner sardines, and Mackinac jacket. These are warm. That's great, we're gonna put that on. Uh, inner and outer slots, I usually don't care about that, but I might look at it later. Crampons, makes us slightly better on ice, better at climbing. I'm gonna put them on. Uh, coal, 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 and coal, and mountain fuel. Another rifle round. Cobble matches. 
And then we have the corpse. Rifle round, rifle round. What's that in his hand? Oh, nothing. Just... And then there's also the supply cache over here. And also supply... Uh, is it supply cache? Supply container? Supply bin, thank you. Hope Wood, flare, dump remover, which actually could be useful because of bullet crafting, which we also need to do. Let me grab a torch, like a bad torch. I'm gonna light a fire here so we can cook some more stuff. Oh wow, that's a really walk with this yeah. Let's go. So make another fire, and we're gonna do some cooking and harvesting and all sorts of things. Uh, yeah, go. I don't like using accelerants unless it's the first fire that I do. Uh, or if it's Come an emergency, on. like I'm in a blizzard or something, then I do use. Here we are. We can put on some of this. It's going to burn a while. And then we can just do that. All right, first things first. Let's make water. And then we're going to harvest the rabbits. Takes 47 minutes. Yeah, that sounds about right. Do that. I should boil the water as well. Do that one more time. And then same thing here. 37 minutes. There we go, so that's done. Grab that, grab that, and then this, and then we can cook the big things. And that's big, takes 51 minutes. This we're gonna eat. The venison. Have a drink also. Actually, uh, hold on, I don't wanna cook this yet. I'll tell you why in a sec. Uh, but I do wanna cook these things. It takes 33 minutes and 30 minutes. And while that's cooking, we can prepare two of these. There we go. And we can grab that, we can eat it as well. Uh, eat that as well. And then we can cook this. Now I'm going to first put this down for half a liter. And then this, this might get burned. This takes an hour effectively. But while that's happening, I can read one of the books for one hour. I'm going to read the carcass harvesting. Not healthy enough. What am I? Oh, the spray. No, the sprain it is. Okay. Oh, I don't have bandages. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Wow. And I would have liked to read this, but I have a sprain, so I can't. So instead, we're going to do this. Go. And now, while the fire is burning and stuff, I want to uh, make all of this. Ah, it's the one. Ah, and I can't make another one. What cloth do I have? I do have one. I can make a bandage. Or two bandages, rather. Let's do that. There we go. And I should have done one thing while I was doing this because I could have just going to drop all of this stuff to cure. Might as well cure while I'm doing crafting and things. So let's put down the ground. That's now cooked. That needs a little bit. I'm going to make a, a drink. I'm also going to place this to cook. So it's leveling up as much as we can. And then we have... I don't think there's anything now to do to pass time. I think we are good. Can't read any of the stuff anyway. Could repair something. I wouldn't mind repairing this. Uh, that would be good. 48 minutes. Oh, we can't do that then. <clears throat> We're gonna make as many teas as we can. 
grab these peaches. They're now cooked. We don't have to eat them to get the cooking skill. We just have to cook them. I'm going to wait until this is ready. Grab that. Grab that. And I have lots of water. So now I'm just going to make all the teas that I can. And that will level me up. Put the reclaimed wood on here. I'm just going to pass time. And rinse and repeat until I make all the teas. Just so that I can level up cooking. Still got a few teas, I think. Teas and teas. More teas coming. We don't need all these teas. And parasites have been healed. Great. So that was the wolf we ate earlier. All right. Keep going. Cooking and cooking. I think we're probably near the end now. How many more have we got? One more. That in and then that should be it. Yeah, grab that. And we got cooking level two. That's how fast that happened, just because of the teas. So much cooking. Cooking with teas. There we go. And we're just going to sleep here. No. So here we are. We got a lot of stuff. Good stuff so far. And yeah, uh, it's too dark, I think, to repair that stuff. Let me just check something here. Okay, so I think we're going to drink some of the teas because we're not going to need this many. I'm just going to drink some of them to fill the, uh, the hydration and also some calories. So I'm going to do that. I don't think there's anything else to really do. I think so. All right, so we are going to sleep uh, to make sure that I don't get cold. We could do what we did before. We can just pass time a little bit. And now you can see that the fire has died out. I'm actually going to grab the charcoal. Now we have more charcoal for mapping. And now it's uh, nine degrees because of four and five. So that's fantastic. So we're going to sleep. Uh, we can sleep 12 hours. Let me have a quick drink. So I'm max hydrated. I'm going to sleep for 12 hours. We gain all our health. And it will be daylight. And it sounds like it's a blizzard, maybe. Yeah, this is that's healed. It's daylight. Uh, I'm going to eat this. Because it's heavy. And I'll also drink some of these. We don't need that many teas. So I'm just going to drink some of these. And we get some calories from it as well. Uh, Raishi is more powerful than the roll sip tea. But there's so many of them anyway. It doesn't really make a difference. There we go. And then I could read some of this stuff. Uh, but I don't think it's really necessary. We could maybe read for like one hour. Just because the wa the world will be warmer if I wait a little bit. Maybe one more hour and uh, it's warmer outside. Yeah, I think that's good. All right. Now we're going to light a torch again. Uh, let's light a bad torch. The reason why you want to light bad torches is because they burn less. And then when they're done, you can chuck them and your inventory weight goes down faster. So, you know, effectively, if I have four bad torches, the burn time of those four torches is the same as the one full torch, but they weigh four times as much. So it's best to get rid of the, the bad torches first. Wait, wait, wait. Did I forget to pick up my hides and things? I think I did. That's a very common mistake. You're just like, oh yeah, let's go. And then you don't really look down. Happens all the time. But let's uh, do that. Yeah, I did forget them. <laughs> I'm glad I realized now, not later. But grab all this stuff. I'm actually getting heavy. That's uh, not so great uh, because of that. But well, that's all right. We can, uh, we can eat something. Let's eat. We need these because they give calories and hydration. And waste quite a bit. And we don't need all these cans. Let's drop two of these cans. And let's drop 
uh, some sticks. And now we can carry stuff. Oh, wait, well, sorry, now I don't have sprain risk. Because I need to climb the ropes down. Yes, that's why I said that. Of course, as we get rid of the torches, we will also go down and carry weight. So that may have been good enough. Maybe not. In any case, well, let's head to the exit. I think I might find some coal along the way. Let's head out. We're going to chuck this. And then again, I'm going to go here, grab a low torch. I light that. And onwards we go. One minor inconvenience is that outside of the gold mine ropes, there can be a moose spawn. And I don't have any way to hunt the moose, so I would have to uh, just avoid it completely. And then we're going to grab some uh, birch tea along the way. And we'll also head to the summit. Of course, uh, this uh, I'm hoping there is a hack so at the summit, <laughs> which will be fantastic. We'll figure that out later. So here we are outside of the gold mine. And because it's like I have a torch, it's la uh, later in the day and I found a Mackinac. It's actually cold, but not so cold. Oops, that's a bit too far. There we are. The maple that I can't grab. Grab this though. Sometimes there's wood here as well, which I don't really need, but in here there can be wood. And uh, not today though. We're gonna climb down. We're gonna stop on the ledge because there is sometimes a backpack there. I don't see a backpack right now though. We can still stop just to have a look and to light a new torch. Uh, but I don't think there is one. That look doesn't look right. <laughs> no, nothing there really. Be a bit careful with this, it's very easy to fall off this one. Down we go. And there's a little campfire here with some misc food that we can grab. Maybe a can of soda or something like that. It is possible to Billy go down here, by the way. It is perfectly possible to climb down this this uh, slope here and this next one. What do we got here? We have sewing kit and fire log. Fire log is okay fire source, but I wouldn't pick that up. It's probably the worst one in the game because the fire log, because it weighs so much and it's kind of rare and it looks like a regular log you use in the house, you'd think it's it would be like the best fire source in the game. It actually weighs two kilos, it's really heavy. It only has like a 45% chance to succeed making a fire. And it doesn't even give that much fire. So unless you have it in the house, I wouldn't bother picking up. Let's see if we have a container here with stuff. We do. This container is often here. We got revolver ammo. And let me also light the new torch. And then let's see what we got in here. We have the Polaroid, which is this one. Uh, ah, yeah, that one. And that was it. Okay, we'll map that another time. Not right now. I don't see the moose. I don't think it's here. We can maybe check out the corpse down here too. As you can see with the crampons, Especially going down, you hardly use any sprint at all. The crampons, surprisingly, do not actually affect your fatigue meter. Meaning that you actually get equally tired climbing a rope up or down with the uh, crampons. They don't really make a difference. What it does make a difference uh, on is the uh, sprint meter or climbing meter that is affected by it. So you can, for example, if you have the crampons and you are well rested, you can climb a long rope in one go, but without the crampons, that's difficult. Uh, but you'll be equally tired from doing it. Let's check out this corpse. Grab some feathers too. Beef jerky. Matches. We have so many matches. All right, onwards we go. 
and I'm hoping the moose isn't here. We're now going to head out of Ash Canyon. Might do a couple smaller stops before I leave to check for a couple things. Um, but for the most part, we are done. I might take the detour via Climber's Cave just to um, check the loot there and then head down. So I might, I might do that. But um, other than that, we are done here. So we're going to do, do a little detour. We're going to pick up the birch bark along the way. The birch bark of Ash Canyon is unique in that sometimes you get really big ones. Uh, birch bark is fantastic. It weighs very little. It only takes five minutes to prepare compared to the 15 minutes of the other teas. And when you drink it, it gives you some calories and it also heals you. Uh, it gives you a, I think it's plus, is it plus one and a half degrees per hour in addition to your normal recovery? Uh, I think it is. Oh, it's two and a half degrees, yeah. So when you drink a birch tea, you basically heal uh, like 5% per hour, I think it is, rather than 1%. Was it? No. No, sorry. I'm getting confused. I think when you drink a birch tea, you heal for 2.5% per hour rather than 1% per hour while awake. Uh, and a birch tea lasts for two hours. So if you drink a birch tea, uh, then after those two hours, you will have healed 5% health instead of 2% health. That's basically how it works. And here's a big birch bark. And of course for us, uh, we're leveling cooking. So I'm picking up for that reason as well. And then let's go uh, through the birch forest over here. There's also the cave over there. I didn't check the cave, but I don't really need anything in there. I don't think there is anything in there even. Uh, I'm going to leave that. I'm not going to check every area of Ash Canyon, just a few central places. And then we're out of here. The first some birch. I'm not going to loot absolutely everything, but birch is good because it's cooking. Oh, here we go. And more of the big birch bark. So here we have a massive one. Look at this. They still haven't fixed this after two years. I don't know why it happens. Or maybe they deliberately haven't fixed it because it's just a gimmick at this point. <laughs> and there's another one. There'll be more. And you can get even more birch by going up to the upper birch forest. And uh, you'll get more birch that way. We're only going to grab what's on the way though. We don't need everything. I'm going to grab whatever I see on the way uh, for cooking purposes. There's quite a lot of it. And if you are wondering, uh, yes, you can survive on birch bark only. I have done it and I have a video series about it if you want to check it out. Called the birch bark only challenge. Where the only thing I'm allowed to is to eat a uh, birch. Is this a birch bark? Oh wow, it is. Holy crap. This is big. The big birch bark. <laughs> That's uh, a little bit buggy there. You might say. Huh. Yeah. I saw another one over here somewhere, yeah. This one here is also quite big. <laughs> so silly. Uh, and another one here, that's also too big. All right, that's probably all of it. Okay, so we're heading out of Ash Canyon now, but I'm gonna do a couple of smaller stops um, to grab a couple miscellaneous items. I'm gonna go up towards Climber's Cave because in Climber's Cave, there's a miscellaneous loot in there. But on the way to Climber's Cave, there is a campfire. And that campfire can have a distress pistol. So I'm going to go in and check that out. Uh, just to see. And also, uh, we can find a cooking pot. And we can find a Polaroid. So we're going to do that. We're going to find it. We'll be getting to Pillar's Footrest anytime soon. 
let's see. Down we go. This should be the feet of this canyon. It's like a long stretch along the western side of Ash Canyon. And here we are, we can vaguely see the trees. There's a few carcasses and corpses around here too, if you want to loot any of that, which I don't really feel we need to do, but I guess we could do it. Um, yeah, we can, we can see. So here we are approaching the exit, but I'm actually going to hug the left wall here. Visibility is pretty bad, but I should be able to find my way around. Basically got to go uh, around the bends and up upwards is kind of like what we're doing. Here's Pillar's Footrest. Exit is over there, uh, more or less. Uh, but we... Oh, a container randomly in the middle of nowhere. That's uh, interesting. I'll take it. Oh, wow. Climbing socks. These are the best socks in the game. Make sure you pick these up if you find them and repair them because those are great. I think you can hear crows over there and over here. So there's a corpse then on the other side. There's a carcass over here somewhere. Sounds like it's over here. It varies where the carcass is. Uh, it sounds like it's here. We might harvest this carcass actually. You know, listen to the sounds. Uh, I can't see the crows. There they are. They'd be up here. This should be a deer carcass, I believe. Yep. <clears throat> we might as well uh, harvest this. For the experience and for everything, really. Let's make a fire and let's harvest this. Get some food, get some carcass harvesting and some uh, <coughs> resources that we can use. Do I, if I don't warm up? You'll be fine, Astrid. I have a lot of coal, so I'm going to put two of them on just for the sake of warming up. I'm going to grab uh, a few torches as well. I only want good torches though. Uh, so none of these. That one's okay. That one's okay as well. And one more. Nah, that's okay. Alright. Then we're going to do some cooking of... Oops of water. And that takes 40 minutes. This takes 20. Okay, we can do this then. I should cover that exactly. And now we're warm. There we go. Grab the water. Grab this. Cook the... I need to actually put it down here. Oh, one of them is tiny. Is that this one? Yeah, let's just do that quickly. That was a small piece, uh, which came naturally, so I'm going to make that. Sure it takes finish. an hour. It takes about 40 minutes. Let's grab this. We'll use the hands. There we go. Let's uh, cook something. Let's make a birch tea quick. And while that's cooking, we'll craft a birch tea and cook it. And that should more or less overlap. I think that's good enough. And now we can keep moving. I'm going to head up to the climbers cave now. If you're wondering how I'm navigating this, it's just experience with the terrain, so I know more or less exactly where I'm going in the fog. I can make mistakes, of course. I don't know every inch of the map, but I know most of it. Uh, if you are lost, though, uh, and you're not sure where to go, then choose a wall and hug it. Hug a wall until you find something. In this case, you want to hug that wall over there, the right wall, because that will eventually take you to the cave in Timberwolf, leading to Timberwolf Mountain. So we're going up here, this is what I was referring to earlier, this should take us up to the plateau towards 
Um, Nymus Cave. And there's a potentially, there's a campfire there, there's potentially a distress pistol there. I'm going to pick up if so. All right. Let's check in here. There's something there's wood in there. Let's check this out. Oh, we got more rose sips. that too and now let's check the campfire oh yeah it doesn't look like we have much spray can and water tablets okay clearing up a little bit of fog we got some uh, more mushrooms though so let's grab that everything for cooking that's all we're doing grabbing everything we can they give the, the teas, you know, the mushrooms and stuff. They give warmth, they give the cooking, and they give some calories too. And they can cure stuff, but at the moment I'm not too bothered about that part. I think now we can start using the big torch. Because the other ones are decent. <clears throat> there we go. And see the crows? That means that there is a corpse under the bridge. So here's the bridge over the climbers cave, but if you go under here now, uh, there'll be a corpse there because of these crows. There he is. Let's see what you got. Beef jerky. And onwards we go. And here we are, we're going to take the uh, shortcut over. Up there is the famous Wolf Plateau of Ash Canyon, an inaccessible area that you cannot get to unless you use the Stone Jump, uh, which has nothing in it anymore, but it used to have secrets like Polaroids and stuff up there. I have a video about it if you would like to check. So let's uh, move on. I'm gonna head to Climber's Cave, which is just over here. There's some more rose sips and stuff to pick up too. I'm going to head to the sleeping corner, but I don't think we'll sleep there. We're just going to go there to see if the Polaroid is there, because there can be a Polaroid there. And one day we might come back to Ash Canyon. Okay, so down here is Climbers Cave. There's two entrances to it. One through a little peak hole, and another one through the main entrance. We're going to go through the little shortcut. There's some more mushrooms and stuff around, but I'm not going to grab everything I see. Down here, down here is the shortcut into the cave. Go through here. And now we're in Climber's Cave, warming up. And let's see what we got in here. And we have on the notes. We have sardines, MRE, uh, sewing kit, and what have we got in here? Sweatshirt. You can put that on. Still don't have a. I need this. Uh, gloves. There we go. We're heavy, but not super heavy. We're approaching soonish. Well fed. Could sleep here, but I don't think so. We're not going to grab the wood. We don't need it. I'm going to grab this, though. Oh, it has some more we can grab. Lots and lots of teas, as you can see. And normally, if I were to play interlope, I would grab some of these to have a few teas, mostly for contingencies, so in case something happens, I can cure things. Uh, but I would also keep some of them uh for drinking and keeping warm but on a normal interlope, interlope run for me I, I normally never pick up anywhere close to as many mushrooms and things as this because it's just so much of it but i'm doing this to level up cooking as fast as i can that being said though if you are playing on stalker or interlope or anything there's nothing to say that you can't pick up all of this stuff and then uh, use that to level up cooking uh, so that that will be a good thing 
on Stalker and Interloper, you do want to get cooking to level 5 because it makes you immune to parasites and also food poisoning. What's up there? I don't think I've ever seen anything up there before. Before, I want to go this way, but I'm going to check this out first. I don't recall ever seeing anything there. I'm guessing it's a deer carcass. In which case we can harvest that too. Just add it to our collection and level up some more stuff. But I don't remember seeing that before. Might just be a random spawn though. Or maybe it's a, car uh, a corpse, I don't know. Let's have a look. What is the hair? It is... A deer carcass. Huh. I don't think I've ever seen one up here before. We'll do the usual procedure. Make a fire. Not for the birch bark. And we'll harvest, cook, and repeat. That's what we're going to do. Now we're leveling up fire, we're leveling up harvesting, we're leveling up cooking. So, worth grabbing some of this stuff in my opinion. God, I got so many matches, it's insane. Let's just keep doing it. I'm tempted to sleep in the alcohol just to um, get a bit of rest out of the way, but we'll see. Oh, come on. If that didn't work. When she says that, oh, that didn't work. She sounds like the streamer Thomasina. She has that kind of accent to it. Come on, little fire. The rest of us, it doesn't sound like it. I mean, it's, it's, it's Jennifer Hale, so. Um, but when she says that, it sounds like Thomasina. <laughs> if you haven't, uh, I don't know who that is, check her out on Twitch. Thomasina on Twitch, or on YouTube. She's a great interloper player. Really fun to watch. Just throwing in some casual okay. adverts there for other people. Okay, this is now a bad torch. Thank you so much for your contribution and goodbye. We're gonna grab this, but first we're gonna cook water, as usual. And then we're gonna grab meat and the guts. And maybe one... Does this actually take that long? Wow. Okay, well, just the meat then, this time. Grab that, grab that, grab one of these, make some more water, and drop these two, cook that. See, not this one, but that one, I think. 40 minutes, yeah. And we can grab these two, 20 minutes. I think we will sleep. Yeah, over there. Okay, 15 to boiled. We can make some of these, like three of these. The birch tea. Go, that's boiled. That's almost boiled. We can make a birch tea while we wait. Make two of them. <clears throat> Go, grab that. Grab this. Make some more water, cook that, put some stuff on here, put the coal on I guess, and let's grab this, one more stuff. We are exhausted, I'm considering maybe sleeping in Climber's Cave even, but I don't think it's necessary. And then we can, while that's doing that, we can cook another birch tea. And we can craft some stuff while we do that. So multitask all this stuff. That's cooked. Done. Let's go out of here. Grab a good torch. Nah. That's okay. Let's see if we can really go down there, can we? Mm, I think we can, so let's give that a go. This looks like it's traversable. There we go. And there's a cooking pot over there that I've now gone past. Oh wow, I am slow. <laughs> over here, there's a cooking pot. There it is. And there's also... That ski boots. This oh wow. Okay. <laughs> These ski boots are very warm, as you can see. But they are so heavy 
four kilos. So they are practically the worst item in the game. So I'm just gonna leave them there and take this though. And then I want to check over this ridge here to see if I can find the. Uh, there's a, like an alcove, and there's something you can find a Polaroid there. So we're gonna check that out. There's the famous towel of Ash Canyon. For some reason, there's just a towel laying about there. We'll leave that for now, though. <laughs> this is funny. Someone's like, oh, you know, I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna leave my towel, my spray can, and my water. I'm out of here. And then they left. We're being very, very slow now because we're heavy and we're tired, but we're gonna get through to this uh, alcove over here. Uh, and then we can we can rest there actually. Then it's easier to get um, to travel the next day. I don't want to sleep out here in the open. I'm gonna sleep in the the out outdoor indoor area. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, I'll explain when we get there. Uh, or you can watch my Ash Canyon walkthrough on uh, Interloper. I'll I'll explain when we get there what alcohol I'm talking about. Uh, we need to get up. <clears throat> there we go. Oof, we're so slow. So slow. That's because we got so much stuff. So much loot on this difficulty. I don't even need all the stuff I'm picking up, but I'm just hoarding it now. And then we'll deal with it. And then the, tomorrow I'll be well fed as well. It'll be alright. And look at us, we got full health, except for minor condition loss now with the tiredness we're barely even cold so we're looking quite quite well let's um check out there's sometimes also a corpse here and i have found hats on that corpse so if i can i'm going to check that out See, it's over here on the left is the route to the alcove and to the right is the corpse. The wind is picking up. I don't think it's strong enough yet to actually blow out this torch. And even if it was, it doesn't really matter if the torch blows out, to be honest. Let me see if maybe I can see the corpse. Not very far, it's just around the bend and up here. Uh, I didn't see any crows earlier, but we'll check. So up here by these trees, there's usually a corpse with like a miskitum or two. I have found a wool toque on it. There it is. Um, and I would like a wool toque if I can find it. We got some feathers too, might as well pick that up. He's going to grab stuff and take it with us and establish our main base in probably Pleasant Valley. Fire Striker! That's great. That's a good find. That's basically a super match. It was 84%. And when you use a Fire Striker, it takes 2% condition. So an 84% Fire Striker is the same as 41 matches. Compile into one and sometimes uh, or the, I can't remember exactly how good I think it's the same as a wood match in terms of success The fire striker is great if you are heavy and you want to carry as little as possible One thing you could do is just carry a fire striker around rather than matches could do that could do that So here we are coming up to the alcohol if you go down this way you get down to the path leading towards where I was earlier before I went up to Climber's Cave. And that's a one-way street. However, we're going to go up to this place. It looks a bit secluded, like it's very easy to miss. But around this corner here is actually a bed. And that bed is protected from wind. Even if a blizzard blows in your face, you still are protected here. Unless they patched it lately. And you can also find a uh, backpack here sometimes with a Polaroid. In this case, we have revolver ammo instead, and I don't see a backpack. Uh, I think maybe I have once seen the backpack up here. <coughs> I don't think it's here. Let's just check though. No, 
And you'll notice that uh, someone has started walking slower. So... There, I'm walking slower now. You see that? So I can do like this. Comparison side by side. Fast. Fast, fast, fast. Slow, slow. Slow, slow, slow. Fast, fast, fast. That's because this area is now kind of like an indoor area. It's effectively the same as being able to go inside a cave. We are kind of cold though, so I am going to make a fire. Uh, even though I don't think it will be necessary. Uh, but just to make sure that I'm not cold, Come on, little fire. we're going to make on. a fire. This fire shouldn't blow out even if a blizzard hits because it is in the protected area. But it does happen. I have woken up and then the fire is about to blow out. It does happen. Uh, and then I put more uh, fuel on and it just keeps burning. Okay, I'm going to put some coal on here. Uh, so we can sleep six hours. That's good. We're going to eat where it's heavy. So this is heavy. And we're going to eat low condition food. Because if we get food poisoning, we can cure it while we sleep. And I guess that's it. Have some water. And then we're gonna sleep. This burns for six hours, so we're gonna sleep for six hours. And then we'll just go from there. You can see. Oh, oh, strong wind is coming. Didn't really do anything. Fire still burning. Six hours until well fed. That has an hour left. I don't really want to use the rest of my coal. I'm just going to sleep for two hours until that goes out. And then we'll just see from there. I might just leave and go to the Timberwolf Mountain Cave. Yeah. Ah, there we are. The wind didn't blow it out. It was just burning out. One more hour. And there we go. I can grab a torch, but it's going to blow out, so it's not going to do much. So we're leaving. That's rested enough. It's a little bit over the carry capacity, but well fed is not far away. We're going to head down here. The sun's coming up, but barely. Uh, oh, I forgot to put things down to cure. I actually am not sure. I'm not 100% sure. If you can cure things in that area, if someone's tried that, let me know. Uh, I think you probably can, because it's effectively the same as a, uh, a cave. So you should be able to cure hides and stuff in there. But I didn't really think of it, so I didn't put them down. Oh well. So we are now heading back towards the area where we left to go to Climber's Cave. And we have the wind against us. We should come across a plastic container over around the bend here. So let's see. Uh, it is over here. It's through this chasm here. This is where we were early up there. But through this little uh, choke point here, there should be a plastic container with some misc food, like you know, have like a drink or beef jerky or something in there. Uh, here it is. That's the container. Nothing. How oh, disappointing. Alright, let's keep going. We're going to go into the cave to Timwolf Mountain. I'm actually going to sleep the rest of it there. I'm not going to pick up the cattails. We have enough food as it is. And we have teas aplenty, for example. We don't really need food. At least not yet. And if we're going to go to the summit as well. And we'll have so much food that there isn't really much to uh, to worry about. <laughs> so here we are at the bottom of Pillars Footrest in Ash Canyon. We're not going to leave. We haven't looted everything. We haven't looted, uh, you know, Bowman's Retreat, Miner's Folly, Homesteaders Respite, um, and some other miscellaneous places. But other than that, you know, we got the bulk of it. The most important thing, though, was the mine for the backpack. And the next step is to get the moose hide satchel by hunting a moose 
or by going to HRV, which is definitely an option. So here we are, here is the cave to Timberwolf Mountain. So let's go through here. Uh, there is a little bit of loot in here too, but for the most part, uh, it's, uh, it's like coal and stuff. I might pick up, because I have a lot of uh, stuff I can drink. And get rid of. We're also going to get well fed soon. And then we won't be heavy anymore. I'm not going to run because I don't want to sleep too long into the day. I should be sleeping maybe five hours, I think. So that's enough. Deal with that at the entrance. The Wolf Mountain. So let's see here. Here is the passageway, and it's this way out, but we're going to go this way, because there can also be a wolf carcass in here, and if so, I want it. <laughs> so, uh, we can also check in here, there's usually some wood, and we have an unfortunate person. Hey, look at that! The revolver! Hey, that's a big bonus. So now we have that. That means I'm going to stop using my torch as much. We'll grab this just because I might use it if there is a wolf carcass. Oh, that's great. Revolver. Fantastic. <clears throat> There's one weapon found. And then over here, there's usually some misglute and sometimes a wolf carcass. Not always, but sometimes. And it is there today, so we're going to harvest that too. We need four wolf pelts. To make a wolf coat, which you may not even need, but we're still gonna make it. We're always shell casing, so basically someone had a fight with them. We use these for crafting food, revolver, and that. And we're gonna make a campfire, I guess. I uh, will do it here though instead. And let's go for that. And we'll harvest this wolf just like we did with the deer and things. Make some water, make teas while we harvest, and you know, the whole shebang. Over. Come on, don't fail me now. You see, I have been using a lot of torches in this episode. And the reason is that you don't really use that many matches. As you can see, I have an absolute ton of matches, but I don't really use Come them. On. I just carry Come the torch on. and then use the torch to light the fire. So you preserve resources that way. So that means your Perfect. fire, well, your matches will last for thousands of days. That guy who drank uh, not that I would worry so too much right about now. it. Uh, we will put... Uh, we'll use these, it's easier to calculate with these. The water. And we'll grab this. And that, that's good enough. <clears throat> there we go. And have a drink as well. And how long has this got? Eight minutes. That's enough to make a birch bark. There we go. So grab that, grab that, grab this one. Uh, and let's cook this and give us parasite risk, but that's okay. Takes an hour. Make some more water. Get this. 40 minutes. And there we go. And then we're gonna grab that. That takes 27 minutes. We're gonna cook some birch. And we're gonna keep making stuff. And rinse and repeat. And another one. And rinse and repeat. Multitasking. Hey, we got well fed. Look at that. We got the well fed bonus. So now we get extra health, so we have this blue bar, so now I get 5% more health, which is great, but that's not so much what I care about. What I care about is I also can carry 5 kilos more, so see, now I can carry 40 kilos, and I'm on day 3, and we can carry 40 kilos, that's great. Now we just need the moose hide satchel, we can carry 45, and that's amazing. Uh, let's make one more tea. And then I think that's 
good enough. To have all of those crafted there. There we go. And grab this. And that. And this. And let's go. And I don't really mind if it's going to be late in the day. Because I'm going to need energy to climb some ropes for Timberwolf Mountain. So it doesn't really matter if I sleep a little bit late into the day. But first we're going to head to the exit of Timberwolf Mountain. And then we're entering a whole new region. So. Where we came from. Then we're going this way. This is always worth checking these crannies. But not all of them will have good loot. But that's good loot though. We're now approaching more high-end loot locations, so you can see where we were. That's where we just were. Uh, Tim Wolf Mountain, the summit, will have amazing loot. I don't have a hacksaw though, but I'm hoping there'll be a hacksaw at the summit. If not, so be it. We'll come back later. And then we got the plane crash in Pleasant Valley. That's also good loot, so it's a whole bunch of stuff to get. Yeah, I don't think there's much. I don't think it's really worth going uh, in those places. I'm going to head out here. So here we are. This is the exit for Timberwolf Mountain. But I'm going to have a little rest here. So let's... Uh, we don't need a fire, so I'm just going to douse this. And then we're going to drop our stuff for curing. And then we're going to put the bedroll down. Before we sleep in it, we're going to drink and eat. We're going to eat the wolf meat. And then we're also going to eat some of these teas because we have so many of them. Uh, I'm going to wait to drink the birch teas in case we need them later. We might need these for parasites but I highly doubt it. So we're going to drink some of these. Uh, get rid of them. Hot. Well that's nice. And let's do one more and then we'll be fully hydrated and we get some calories from it too. Let's get rid of some stuff in our inventory. Normally I keep these for warmth, but for now it doesn't matter. And we can sleep, it looks like seven hours, so we're gonna do that. It's gonna be late when we wake up, but that's okay, because we're gonna use that energy to climb ropes. So it doesn't matter, then we have to sleep again, so it doesn't make any difference. And there we are. I'm gonna pick that up, and just make sure I don't miss on anything. I'm gonna light a fire. Not a fire, but a match. Uh, with a torch rather. Uh, let's also uh, do some more eating. Uh, let's have this. Or what's left of it. And then this. And then we are picking up this stuff. And we are heavy but fairly heavy. We'll make that work. I'm going to go out here to save the game. And I think that's it for this episode. So here we are, Timberwolf Mountain in the Dare Clearing. So we made it here. A lot of stuff. Good stuff. Let's go back to save the game. When I enter this indoor region, it will save the game. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the summit. And hopefully there's a hacksaw there. I'm not 100% sure because I haven't played Stalker that much. I have played Voyager and it's always there on Voyager. And it's only 50-50 to be done interloper. So I'm suspecting that on Stalker you follow Voyager rules and there will be a hacksaw out there. But we're going to have to find out. We are a little bit heavy, but that will be okay. We might have to dump some stuff, like in this cave or something. Let's head to this cave and then we'll see what's what. And we have a few containers to check on the way as well. Maybe even do some hunting if you want to. Uh, like the bear, for example. Could be hunted. But um, I don't think I have the weapons for that. It would be... Can be done. You can wound the bear and then he bleeds out. But I think the better plan this time around is to circumvent the bear. I'm going to be heavy. So I need to actually be able to get up there. Without being heavy. 
Hi. Alright, anything in here? Just wood. Just wood and coal. Alright, I need to get rid of something, so let's see. Um, wow. Let's get rid of some of these. We don't need that much. And let's get rid of these. We can just drink, I guess. We can eat this. What's left of it? We can drop a liter of water here for future Zack. We can actually drop two liters. And we can drop one of these cans. And these. Oh, we could leave these here to cure. It would probably be better, actually. Hmm. Did I leave these here to cure? Nah. I'll take it with. I'm gonna chain carry these torches. I don't think it'll be necessary. If the stuff that's in the... Uh, can't get saplings. In the containers over here, if that's too heavy... <coughs> might go back and cure it. And leave it in the cave here. We can come back for it later, in case we want to. But the thing is that on the summit, there's so much loot that it's probably going to be warm enough without us having to craft the um, bear coat or anything like that. Sounds like the wolf is going for a deer, I guess? Yep. You have fun with that, Wolfie. I have some containers, but I don't have a hacksaw, do I? No, that's why I was gaming for up there. So these can't be open. So there's one there. I think there's one up here as well. There's a shortcut you can use. You can go up this ramp over there. And then you can kind of go on the side and up there. So it's possible to circumvent the whole route. Let me also check up here. Because sometimes there's a second container up here. Uh, seems to be just a box. No, there is a second container up, up here, yeah. I don't usually check this one. But we don't have a axle, so we're going to leave those for later. And I think I'm going to grab all of these. Again, it's for cooking reasons. I really smell, but I'm not too worried about that. Because I'm going to um, recommend most things. The bear is the only issue that could be a problem. I'm grabbing all of these things just to level up cooking. But what I really want is the summit, and I might have to stay in the summit a little bit to organize inventory. But for the most part, uh, I'm going to Billy go down from the summit. If there isn't a hacksaw up there, then I will grab the distress pistol and anything else that's loose, and then grab a rope and go back down and attach it. Oh, missed these. I think I will carry the fire a little bit longer. But soon, we're going to have to get rid of it. Yeah. More mushrooms. Alright. Now, we do stink, so it's very likely we'll attract the wolf. But if we do, we have the revolver. The bear is more of an issue. That's harder to deter. We're just gonna have to circumvent it completely because it's uh, it can be killed with a revolver, but I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't rely on that. You know. getting cold but I'm not too worried about that because we're gonna climb the rope and go into the cave we'll probably uh, sleep a little bit in the cave to recover health for climbing and then we'll climb again uh, let's see here I think I might take this shortcut up because then we can circumvent the wolf entirely I think it's up here I don't usually take this shortcut I think it's up here 
Yeah, this looks like it is it is it. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna grab this as well. Uh, I think we're gonna cook these later, not right now. There's the bear. So let's keep our distance <laughs> from him. I think we can go this way without aggroing him. Yeah, even if he spots us, it's okay. He's not going to charge us from this distance. Going to let the fire burn out. This isn't a 10,000 day run or anything, so I don't really mind if I have to use some cardboard matches or something. I'm just going to get to the summit and do a sit rep in the summit. Okay, so here's the first rope. We should be fine to climb this up without getting tired. But then we have to sleep for the next one, probably. So here we go. This is like a medium... Ah, this is a kind of short rope, really. So we should be fine. There are crampons in addition. <coughs> so we should be no... No issue here, especially with all this fatigue we got. It is possible also to get up to the summit in one go if you're fully rested. Particularly if you aren't too heavy. Because once your fatigue is halfway done, uh, then you... Um, uh, you start losing carrying capacity. Alright. Let's go in here. Can I see in here? Do I have to light a torch? I might have to light a torch in here. I know. I definitely need to light a torch. Should have maybe kept it then since I have to light one anyway. But what I'm going to do is... I'm going to light a fire here just to grab a few more torches. Oh yeah, all this stuff. <laughs> Go. <clears throat> and then we're going to grab a few more torches. I look forward to getting the storm lantern. We need that. And we can actually climb up the summit with the amount of uh, fatigue or stamina, whatever you want to call it, that we have now. Uh, okay, now, by comparison, this one wasn't so bad. However, I'm going to rest so we're fully rested. Good. The next two we'll take regardless. And oh, I just missed that. Okay, well in that case, grab this. <coughs> there is some miscellaneous loot in here, not so much, but a little bit. Like a backpack and some other things. For the most part I'm not too bothered about it. I am going to loot quite a lot in this Stalker series to find everything there is to find that is of relevance to skills especially. There we are. But that doesn't mean I'm going to loot every nook and cranny in the game. Hey, a book. Great. We want books. <laughs> I think it's this way, is it? Yes. There's the like hole in the wall. I like the music in this game, it's very relaxing. So the first part of this Stalker series is a lot of it is just me going around looting things because it's getting settled, getting all the central loot so I can actually do something. One minor downside of starting in an area like Ash Canyon is the distance involved. So um, I like that I spawn Ash Canyon so I can get the gold mine uh, and the backpack right away. But the problem with it is that uh, there's a lot more loot on, loot on Stalker than there is an interloper and I would like to have a base where I can start putting stuff like books and things that I'm going to read and the issue then is that um, I don't really have any such space nearby there's the Mount Nearsat where I can dump stuff 
but then that's about it. Pleasant Valley Farm or camp office or you know, garage or something would be ideal. Somewhere central. All right, we're going to sleep here. We could sleep outside, but we're not going to. I'm actually not going to drop this stuff down to cure because it's so easy to miss it if I um, do this wrong. I'm going to leave them to cure. From curing, I mean. I'm going to sleep. I probably can sleep five hours, but we're going to choose six. Go from there. <coughs> and then we're going to climb to the summit. Grab that, and let's lower our carry weight a little bit by eating stuff. This has been opened and cooked, so we can just eat that. At least I think I cooked this. And we can drink some more, and then we slightly lighter. That, carrying a bunch of heavy things. <laughs> but we should be fine now. Let's see what we got. So now we're going to the rope that's up to the summit. If for some reason there isn't a hacksaw up there, I'm going to go back down and place a rope at the rope anchor, not that one over there, but the one further down to create a shortcut to get back up here. But as you can see, it's not difficult. I can see some more mushrooms, but I think I'm going to wait to grab more mushrooms at the moment. Thing is, I'm already very heavy. Now we'll do some, you know, inventory management uh, at the summit. I'm probably going to go down the summit very heavy, but that's okay. We'll sort that out. Well, let's see here if there's anything in here in this little cave. And sometimes there's a book in here. And there is a book in here, which I'm going to grab. And also cook the peaches. They're quite heavy though, that's the only thing. And more peaches, and now I'm heavy. <laughs> uh, in that case, let's eat something. Uh, let's eat this, we can we can risk eating that, I think. Might be alright. Yeah, it's uh, that's alright. And then we'll drop... Um, we don't need this. Oh, this is <laughs> marginally not heavy now. We should be okay though. Um, worst case scenario, we make a fire on a ledge and climb up there. But I think with the crampons, even if we are at max carrying capacity, we, I think we can actually get up in one go. We'll see. We'll see about that. And then we're going to sleep in the cave. All things cure and stuff. And there should be a guns, guns, guns book up there as well. It's always there in, in that cave. Alright, so here we go. Here is the summit rope. There's two ledges you can rest on on the way. You may not need it because you have the crampons, so our sprint or climbing meter here it's slower. So let's see how we get on. I think we can do it in one go because of the crampons. Without the crampons, it can't be done. I mean, it can be done, but it's a uh, high risk. Uh, in this case, I think we can just do it in one go because we're fully rested. The crampons don't really affect our uh, fatigue loss, but it does affect our sprint meter, i.e. our climbing meter, allowing us to get all the way up in one go. There we go. That wasn't hard at all. <laughs> You also climb faster uh, if you are well rested. So that was great. Made it to the summit. Before we actually check the summit though, we're going to go in here. And I'm going to sleep in here a little bit. If I have to make a fire, I will. Um, I'd rather not make a fire actually. We can see. And now we can grab some of these because now we're up here, so it's okay. Doesn't matter if we're heavy now. If we do have to make a fire, we'll make one. We don't have to sleep, but I would like to. And uh, also to get some more light so I can see better. And here there should be antibiotics and a guns, guns, guns book and a rope. I'm gonna grab these in case we go to sleep here. Go to sleep in here. I mean, yeah, we have to make a fire in here. Alright, so this guy should have the book. See? 
There it is. The Guns, Guns, Guns book. And a t-shirt that we probably don't need. So you can see we have this. This is going to be red when we're level 4. This I can read before that. But this is after. Uh, rope we don't uh, need. T-shirt I think is probably worse than these things. I'm guessing. That's yeah, actually better than this. So okay. Alright, we're going to sleep here. I'm also going to drop all my curing stuff. Because also while I'm doing things in, on the summit, we can leave that here. As you can see, it's not that cold, but it's cold enough. Uh, so we're going to make a fire. Oh, so cold. So that I don't die in my sleep. <laughs> uh, we'll put it here. Actually, we can do it on the outside here. Why is it colder? Here it's colder. So we'll put that in. And we'll use the cedar wood, yeah. Use whatever wood we have, really. Always need one stick, though, just so we can light a fire and then put coal on it on after. Fire. There we are. Put this on and put two of these on also. And then we can sleep. Uh, I think we can safely sleep for... Five hours, go for it. Because even if, it's not going to blow out. Um, but even if it burns out, it's not a big deal. Alright, so we're fully rested. Sun's coming up, we're going to light this, because we might make another fire down there. We'll take this, but we're going to leave this stuff, uh, so it can cure while we do summit stuff. Uh, let's actually quickly have something to eat. Eat this. And we can also eat the condensed milk, I guess. These other things I want to cook. Oh, that's fine. And then we have a drink as well. Okay. Uh, we're not going to save these for like noisemakers or whatever. Alright. Now, let's head to the summit tail end, tail section. And see if we can find a Haxel and other good loot. If there isn't a Haxel, we will grab the rope and head back down to create a shortcut for later. But uh, I'm pretty sure there will be a Haxel. I'm going to use the torch in case I want to make a fire, which is likely. While well, we loot everything, grab a stick. I don't mind if we use our coal because there isn't really much. Um, oops, there isn't really much to uh, use that for at the moment. And we have here our unlucky person. Nothing on that one. And there we are at the summit. Summit on day th four. Uh, day five, let's call it. Let's go by this day five. Not so bad. Alright, so here we are. Let's have a look around for Haxel. Haxel! Alright, great. Yay! Thank, uh, thank you. Our last torch. We're gonna make a fire while we do stuff. Let's grab this first. Aquapore. Alright. Put that there, I think. Uh, no, actually, we're going to put it, like, here, because I might break down some boxes and things. Put that there. And let's go. And now we're going to be doing lots of looting. Um, and then we're going to have to decide what we take with us. We're probably going to find lots of good stuff. I'm going to just leave the rest. We might stay up here a little while, though, and sort some stuff out. Perfect. All right, let's put some coal on here. Oh, there's this wooden things there too. Might be somewhere else. Mittens and scarves, okay. And there's also usually some wood. Yeah, grab that. Uh, grab the rest of the wood. I think there's some more over here. Here we are. Anything else in here? Oh, look at that. Matches and accelerants. Take all of that stuff. Okay. Am I picking up those things? No, good. 
Let's put that on here. Okay. Uh, we can grab one torch, so... Oh, actually, I need to carry a torch. So let's grab another torch. Uh, how much water? We have a lot of water, so we could, while this is happening, make some teas. We have teas to cook, we do. So let's do that. All right, then we're going to start opening, but first we're going to grab this. Now we have our distress pistol. That one's not associated with any kind of hunting, though. But at least now we have that. This Marine flare, heavy. mittens. All right. And then we have these two, which we're not going to need. And then, is there anything else that's laying about? Some of this stuff laying about as well. Wood, like a fire striker that might just be interloper. Ah! this flashlight hidden I I can use this. probably won't be needing that but I'm gonna pick it up anyway let's just see if there's anything else hidden about uh, there'll be stuff in the crates is why I made that campfire there all right I guess that's it let's uh, make these things I don't know how many mushrooms I have but that's all right We'll just cook stuff while we do this. Okay, let's start with the one furthest away. So I think these are pelts and then weapons. I'm not sure what order, but let's open this. Ah, oh, this is the weapon ones. Hunting rifle this and bullets. Handy. Cleaning kit. Bullets, 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 bullets. Fantastic. Let me also check the condition. 75%, that's good. This might be the pelt one then. That's a medicine. Any stims? Stim! And a Spanish bandage and other stuff. Alright, that's great. This is probably done now. I keep making these, you know. Ah, we're done. Alright. Then we might as well. Uh, put down these to cook. Then I can eat them afterwards because they're really heavy for what they are. Let's just have that cook. There we are. Okay, then we move on to the next. So we've done that, that one. Now we're going to do this one. Let's see what we got in here. Gonna be so much loot. Yeah, the sweaters and things. Yes, expedition parker, that's what I wanted. Mittens, fisherman sweater, another expedition parker, fantastic. Oh wow, third one. I'm gonna oh, fourth one, four expedition parkers. Five, really. Five expedition parkers in one container. That's a bit overkill. You know, you just need two of these, and they're already a rare thing. They don't exist on Interloper, but it's the best item in the game, really, clothing-wise. Wow, that's a bit much. <laughs> bit much. Cargo pants. Okay, so there's these snow pants. My good. Boots. Climbing socks. A lot of stuff. I'm gonna grab all of this and sort out later. So I'm already getting very heavy now. Uh, how's this looking? Cooked. Uh, let's see, let me see, let's do some inventory here, so, this is better, and I'm gonna harvest some stuff, cloth, how much cloth do I have, because I could repair stuff while I'm up here, three, okay, then we get expedition party, this one we can harvest as well, 40 minutes though, I'm gonna grab that, Machino is great too, but this is still better, and then we have a uh, fisherman sweater. And then I think of these ones as uh, this. Mittens, we want this one. And we can harvest these. These are very, very slow. I mean, very poor quality, I mean. <clears throat> and then we want 
Insulated boots. Doesn't matter which one. A1 climbing socks. Are there any bad socks we can harvest? Not really. On snow pants. And cargo pants are great. So I guess we're taking that. Okay. Uh, the jeans we can harvest. 30 minutes though, okay. Alright. So I think what we'll do... Um, we can open this one and we can store stuff in it that we're not going to use for now. Let's open this. Okay, this is the tools one. A lot of tool fire strikers. Load of stuff. Now I can't actually even move because I'm too heavy. <laughs> but let's put some stuff in here that we know, we know we're not going to use. So we don't need, for example, these ones. Um, we don't need these. Put that in there. We have too much clothing. I'm actually going to just do this. Move all to containers. So that's all the excess stuff. And if it, if it breaks, it breaks. And uh, here... Um, yeah, we don't need all of these. We need is one of these, so we can put whichever had the most in it, which it looks to be the last one. And I think I want the rest. Yeah, so now we're heavy, but it's acceptable. Let's keep going. Let's see what we got. Drinks. How am I doing with the condition? 50. All right. That's good. Let's keep going. There's a few we haven't done yet, but let's keep going. I'm going to loot everything. Water. Okay. More drinks. We don't, we don't need most of this. So here I'm just going to place some water down. Use it for teas if you want. Sometimes you get double. Now you get a second one in here, but that's an exploit. Uh, shouldn't happen very often anymore. It used to happen all the time, back in Winter's Embrace. I patched that was ages ago. MRE! Okay, so here's the MRE one. So we have tons of food now because of that. Then let's do this one. And I think we have four left after that. There's also containers around Timberwolf Mountain, which I think we can get later. Yeah, the, the toques and fella flowers and things. And long johns. Very nice. And let's take this one too. Accelerant and matches and things. Alright. That's all of these. Let's go back in here and we got some stuff. I guess we don't really need these, but we can take them with. They don't really weigh anything. And then we got some more clothing items, which we are going to use. We're going to use this and then this. And we're also going to switch this with that. The rest we can put in here. Move all to container. All right. Uh, what else did I pick up that was so heavy? Oh, the MREs, <laughs> yeah. And I guess that's it, right? A lot of books and things. Yeah. Okay, so a bit heavy now, but still got more to check. Let's check these ones. One of them should have coffee and stuff, which I want. There's the coffee. And teas will take all of this because we can cook all of them. It doesn't really weigh much either. It's quite little. Yeah, see that, for example. And that weighs very little. And then we're missing... Uh, what are we missing? I think there's uh, another one with clothing. And then we have more food. Lots of food. Uh, which I think I'm going to put in here. All the food I don't want. We'll take the MREs. We don't need the peanut butter. We don't need the drinks either. Probably. Let's also eat this. Just to uh, get rid of this thing. There. 
Let's also refuel this. There we go. All right. We have done most things now, but we haven't done this one. And also the person under the plane. There's Perfect. knives and hacksaws, hatchets, hammer, all of this stuff, which is way too heavy. I'm gonna put that in here too. The top one. Anything I don't I only need one of each for now. There's way too much stuff. One hatchet I'm happy to take. This one is uh, about to break, so we're gonna put that in there. Two of these. I think that's it. Yeah, and actually, um, let me grab this spray paint. It's not really necessary, but I am gonna have to come up here another time to grab the rest. So I can do like, I guess clothing we'll call it. On here. Rather here. There we go. Actually, we could just also just do this. Survey the summit. We should survey quite a bit because we're high up. Yeah. Okay, then what else was there? There was... That's done. And then this. There's the pelts. Yeah, we're going to take all of these. Alright, so we do have... Do we have a sewing read book? We don't. Drop this. We have some cloth. So, uh, okay, this is burning out. Not a big deal if it does, though. I'm going to try to repair one of these. Just to have the condition improved a bit. That failed. I need some more cloth, but I might also wait until I get more cloth, but I would like to repair it if I could. I have some cloth I can get rid of, maybe. Yeah, we can get rid of this. Uh, and this. And these two. And, and that. Those are things we can harvest. Cloth. Eyes burning out. That's all right. I could check the crates also, but there isn't really anything in there. There's like uh, more matches, a rope, uh, some other stuff. Barely getting cold, so this is fine. I think we probably have enough stuff. We'll, we'll do some repairs in the Mount Nesat rather than here, I think. Uh, although right now it's quite warm, so maybe we could do it here. So let's try one more time. Let's see if there's anything else. Yeah, let's repair the socks first. They require less stuff and level us faster. Use one cloth if you fail rather than two. So that's done. What about these? Yeah, let's repair that. Also takes one. And what else? Um, these are bad conditions. Is this one or two? One. Takes an hour, but that's okay. Fail, let's try again. Mending takes the longest to level up. Do one more time, even. Um, these also need repairing. Let's repair that. Oh, one more time. Get dehydrated with table, That's right. There we go. That's nice. How much cloth do I have? Three. I think that's probably enough then. Uh, let's eat these because they are heavy. And then let's have a drink. And then we can drop this. Okay. Uh, I should maybe sleep a bit or make some coffee just to do this slightly faster. How am I doing with, with wood? Okay, what we can do, we can make the fire again, it doesn't matter. I think it's also it's sunny out, is it? I have mag lens? No, I don't. We have fire striker. 
70% uh, chance. I'm going to use the accelerant. There's so many of them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop some heavy stuff. That was heaviest of these. But all of this stuff is heavy. Because I'm going to go back and pick up my pelts. I'm going to put on this piece of coal. Uh, where did I put my... Is that back there or something? Where did I put my pot? Oh well. Not sure where, <laughs> where I put that. But that's alright. Uh, can I do this? That's better. Yeah. Cook that and then we're going to run. Grab our stuff. And I think it shouldn't be burned by the time we get back. And I can drink a coffee or two just to avoid the current capacity going too far down while I head down to the mountainous hut. Even if you're heavy, Billy goating down from the summit to mountainous hut only takes about three minutes. That's about it. It's not more than that. Pretty easy. If you haven't seen how that's done, you're in luck because I'm going to do it today. So let's grab all these pelts. Grab that. And all these things. A bunch of stuff. There's just too much stuff to uh, grab at the summit. You know, they can't bring all down. I'll probably come back for the rest of it. The clothing will probably be ruined, but that's okay. It is what it is. Let's head back. I can run a little bit. Avoid that thing burning. I don't think it's going to happen though. Grab a few sticks on the way. There's also a corpse up there. But we can check that guy next time. We don't really need... Uh, him this time. Get a good view of the summit. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. This is where we're going. <laughs> <clears throat> right, so this should be done. I'm gonna drink it just to make it slightly faster to move down. Alright, so let's drink one of these. We have so many coffees we can make, and we're going to find more coffees as well. And let's make another one of these. And let's put up all of this again. Oh, that's my pot. <laughs> I forgot I just dropped it. Okay, let's do a couple things. Let's load a revolver, for example. <clears throat> we're ready for stuff. Drink another here. coffee. It's just to see I'm losing carry capacity and I don't want that. And then we have the rifle. There we go. Grab this, I guess. And we also have this. There we go. And these are almost ready. And do I want to take anything else with me? I don't think so. I'll come back for it. Grab this and that and that. And I could bring one of these. I think it might be too heavy to really properly walk for that though. That's like backups is what this is. I think I'm going to be very slow. Well, if I drop, for example, just for demonstration purposes here, if I drop this now. I walk faster, let's see. Not really much faster. Alright, so I think we'll just go then. So, get ready for the slow walk, because now we're going to walk to the mountainous hut. This is going to be very not exciting. Because I'm going to walk very slowly, because I'm very heavy. 
But it's not going to take that long, even with being very heavy like this. Yeah, maybe five minutes. So I'm just going to have to entertain you with my voice and stuff in the meantime. We are going. Uh, oh, it's actually too foggy, but it's, it's down there. Check this guy out. Stim or maple. Stim. And go drink. And MRE. Nice. We're already heavy, so what's well, a little bit more heavy? Very likely to get sprains. And we smell and we carry a whole bunch of stuff. But once we get down there to the mountain air south, we can have that as a uh, regional base and we can store everything we want there. At the moment, we're going to go very, very slow. We can put all our stuff there and then we can come back to the summer for the rest another time if we want to. By then, their clothing will probably be ruined, but that's okay. On a challenge like this, where I'm getting all the traits and I'm not really settling in for the long haul as such, although I am going to play as if this is an infinite run of sorts, um, it's not that big a deal if the parkas and stuff get ruined, because I can just craft the animal hides instead. So here we are, this is how you get down, you just go through the fuselage down there, hug the wall to the right, or you can go out of the plane, find the, the slope and go down it. <clears throat> and then it doesn't take that long since it's downhill. It is possible to climb up this hill as well, um, using a campfire trick, and if you want to know how that's done, I have a video about it on my channel, but that's not something you'll see me do here. For the most part, I play very vanilla. I'm just going to talk about different things now while I'm walking because we got to that jetty over there in the distance. That's where we're going. There's our sprain. The crampons reduce our sprain risk, but we're so heavy that it's still going to be a little bit. Now, when I play the long dark, I play relatively vanilla. I don't have any mods. I don't tend to use uh, exploits, especially not exploits that give advantage. So for example, there are exploits you can use to duplicate items. Um, there are exploits like double safe. Sometimes you get two safes you can open. I don't really use those sort of things. I have done it, but I don't usually do it. I also don't tend to use things like the campfire trick to get myself up places you're not supposed to be. I tend to primarily use that uh, trick to get myself unstuck if I'm stuck. Or if I want to map something that is dark on my map. That's about it, really. The wolves down there. If the wolves go for me, I'm just going to shoot it with the revolver. To level up the revolver skill. Might as well. Alright. <clears throat> so we are making good progress. We're about well, almost halfway there, I'd say. Not going to cure any sprains because we're just going to get new ones unless I get uh, both uh, wrists sprained. We have the walls go for me, I'm just going to shoot them with the revolver. That's what I'm going to do. To level it up. Hold on. No, he's eating a rabbit. I hear the wolf there. Um, an interloper, the two skills you cannot level to level 5 is revolver and uh, rifle. There are some books you can find, but uh, I, even with the book smart uh, skill, I haven't been able to get them to 5. I did manage to get, I think, both of them to level 4, but that was it. Couldn't get them further than that. Gunsmithing, you can actually level to level 5 in Interloper because um, you can still make gunpowder and bullets. It's just you don't have a weapon to use the bullets uh, for. Alright, let's... Uh... Oh wow, the bear is here. But the bear kind of gave up. Whoa, we have Glitchy Bear. Oh, that's all right. We have this, you see. So if the bear gets too close, which is likely because we're very heavy, I'm gonna shoot him with this. That 
I could also dump some stuff here. And then I could come back for it later. That's also one option. The wolves are afraid of bears, so if you... If you ever need to uh, scare them off, you can use the wolves. That's... Uh, okay. Acting all weird. <clears throat> He's gonna come back, but we have three more shells. And I think I should be able to get there in time. If not, I will... Oh, he's coming through the walls. <laughs> this is a buggy bear we have today. I wouldn't be surprised if I get mauled from this because he is... Okay, he's bleeding out now. Okay, then he won't be a problem anymore. That was a bit scary. You see that the blood splatter on the ground? That is that the bear is now wounded. He's run off somewhere and he's going to bleed out. Um, right over there though, that's a cliff edge. So I don't know where he's gone. He's probably glitched down the side or something. Oh, that's okay. Which wolf is coming? It's this one. I'm not afraid of just shooting them to uh, level up revolver. I said make more bullets anyway. That, that bear shouldn't come back. We should be alright. There's also a container up here to loot, but we can do that later. Could pick this up if I wanted to, but I'm already heavy, so we're not going to do any of that stuff. Let's keep wounding the wolves, I think. One thing you can do if you want, so you don't have to look up the, uh, uh, sorry, loot all the casings all the time, is you can go in your inventory, choose the revolver to take actions and then unload. And now the uh, casings are added to your inventory rather than on the ground. So if you can't be bothered to fix the... Um... You hear that? I need some first aid soon. Sounds like the bear is coming back. It could also be the bear that's from here. If it is, I'll shoot it with a revolver. We can't go down this rope, it's the next one. That's the wolf again. And one down there too. I have actually missed quite a few revolver shots. Um, but that's, uh, that's okay. It still scares them off. One minor... Tr you can hear the bear. He's like below us. So before I head down here, look how slow I'm moving. Because I'm carrying so much stuff. But we're almost there. But yes, down here. The wolfie again. There's wolves all over the place, and the reason that they are all over the place is because we stink. Now, I can hear that there's a bear around. So before I head down the slope, I'm going to look around here to see if I see anything. Ow. Is there a bear, for example? There's the wolf. But is there a bear around? Because I can hear the panting of a bear. Um, but I don't see the bear. That was actually a miss, I think. There we are. Yeah, that wolf is dead. Where's the bear, though? Like, I bet you that's it's the second bear, because there's a bear down there as well. I bet you that bear is walking around here somewhere. But I don't see it. Oh, it's dead. It was the other bear. You hear that? That was the... That was the death noise of the bear. He died down here somewhere. 
but he bugged out and somehow ran down there. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, well we're almost home. We're just gonna go over there to that cabin. So we're super heavy. We stink, and we're going about 0 0.1 miles per hour. But we're getting all our good loot back here in one go. And you know, at least it got interesting by stinking so much. There's the warfare again. Yep. How is that a miss? Like it's right on the iron sight. It's, it's weird. Oh, how that's a miss. But it is a miss, so. Because I stink so much, I attract wolves from miles away. The bear has died somewhere over here. Uh, by the rope, I guess. Or something. I can't really see it. I could check it out later. First, we need to get home. There's going to be at least one more wolf going for me. Here he is. Alright. Want all my casings for forging later. There's so many bullets. I don't really mind. Oof, this is a long walk. It's going to take more than five minutes because we're extra heavy. But we have now done eh, two thirds, three fourths. And we're getting a lot of wolf kills along the way. We kill a bear, you know, attracting the whole region to us. So we're leveling some firearm skills while we're at it. I think we're starting to run out of wolves to kill though. I think there's one more that I saw running around. I think it's gonna be here somewhere. At this point, I uh, could also drop stuff, turn this, and then come back. Might actually be faster than carrying this. But you see, sometimes I'm a stubborn player. <laughs> Moving very, very, very slowly. Ow. There's a lot of stuff I'm returning. Uh, is stuff I want to stack, They're like smaller things. Uh, but I think maybe we could drop some stuff though. Just to get there faster. Yeah, because now it's going very, very slow. What I think we'll do is we're going to drink another coffee. And I'm going to drop some heavy stuff and come back for it. So we're going to drop, uh, it will drop the rifle as well. Drop that, drop that. Drop this, and this, and this, this, and this. All the books will drop as well. Uh, and I think that's probably it for now. Uh, I, oh, I can't because I have a sprain. And now I can run. Not nearly as heavy. And I can come back in just a second and pick up the rest. Now I make much better. I couldn't do that until after I got down that rope. Well, not that rope, but that cliff. Because I needed to... Oh, has a limping wolf. This is a wolf that I've injured. Uh, that's happening when they are... Uh, if they're bleeding out and they're injured, they will start limping. But if you hurt the wolf with a hammer or a pry bar, they will also start limping. But they won't bleed out. But yeah, if I had dropped items, I couldn't actually do that. Until I went past that cliff by wolf. Um, because otherwise I would have to go up to get it again. I could go, I could have dropped it before that little cliff, but then I have to go around that way to pick it up. It's a little bit more of a detour. So let's get inside here. We'll loot the stuff in here later. For now, we're just going to make it our own little home. Here we are. And then we're going to have this as our base for the time being. So here we are. On the ground here, I'm going to drop my bear hide. Cured or not cured. Next here we'll drop the wolf hides. Cured or not cured. Next to that we'll drop our rabbit hides. And then we'll drop here our guts. 
There we go. And then I'm going to grab these things because we're going to take that Not off. Very much more. And what we're going to do is... Uh, yeah, we're going to put these. Yeah, we're going to make a little little nice space here. Um, let me see here. Yeah, we're going to drop all of these. These as well. I'm going to start stacking these. A little, little supply shelf that we got going here. As you can see, there's just so much abundance of resources up there on the summit that food is not really an issue. Let me place these back here. Two per row. I like having things out like this. Then it's easy to see if you actually have. It just makes the it makes it visually more appealing. But of course you don't have to do this. You can do it however you want. This is just one way of doing it. I think this fits here actually. It does, yeah. This fit. Marginally not. How about now? There we go. <laughs> oh, that too. And then we, is there anything else? Yes, we can also put our teas. And in fact, you might want to have some extra rose hip teas here. Because if you are in Timwolf Mountain and you get stumped by a moose, you need to have painkillers uh, or uh, four of those rose hip teas. So we're just going to stack a bunch of these. We already cooked them, so we already leveled up cooking. We don't really need them for anything specific, so it's gonna stack them here. Uh, where they look all nice and tidy. Put this set too. We can keep these, I guess. All right, then there's some other stuff. And then here in the hatch, we're just gonna store our miscellaneous stuff. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Yeah, we can put that back in there. So we're gonna put in here a bunch of matches. Uh, we don't need most of these. So we're gonna put all of our matches in here. And you can see how many matches there are. We'll organize it more later. Put one of these in here too. Accelerant we can actually have out here because that's kind of nice and neat. So let's put uh, that we can put over here. Grab that and grab that. Let's put our accelerants down. Yeah, and let's just stack this here. I actually stack it in the window. Makes sense. An accelerant in the window. <laughs> now we're making a little base, aren't we? And uh, we can also go back and pick up the other stuff. Imagine if that had despawned now, how crazy that would be. Alright, what else? Uh, then we have. That we can carry. Then we have some extra clothing which we can put in here. We're just going to move all the container like that. And then we have some flares. This one we, we don't need these two either. We can just put those on the, on, on the mantelpiece. This, I guess. And then we also have some excess flares. We don't need marine flares at all. And we don't really need more than maybe one of these two maybe. So we're gonna stack these here. As you can see we're building a nice little base for ourselves with all our stuff. The rest will go in the actual storage. I think. And there we go. Okay so I think we have enough stuff um, put away. Ah, a couple more things. Oh I also forgot to put down these. And then in here we also put down our miscellaneous supplies, so we can put the, uh, this for example, and this, and our feathers. Now this one I'm actually going to drop out here, and just leave out here for now. Okay, I think that's it, so let's go and collect the rest of the stuff now. We can also put the book in here actually, the book can go in here. All right. Okay, let's go and collect the rest of the stuff. So you see that saved some time uh, because I was walking so slow. A bit more interesting also. <laughs> so 
So let's go grab the rest of our stuff. Bring that back. And then we have all our supplies. And we actually have all the gear we need now to start doing um, leveling and sorting ourselves out. We should maybe even go get this bear and harvest it and cook it and things. Even if we don't need to eat it. I don't know if I can be bothered just because we don't really need the uh, meat seeing as we're not cooking level 5. But we'll see. Anyway, it should be up here somewhere. There it is. And now I can actually grab these. For cooking. We can level cooking as much as possible. So we're going to grab all of these. And we have so much resources. And then we're going to grab all of this stuff. I do need to find more books. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Because I need to... Um, I need to read more books. Especially sewing books is something I do need more of. I don't think I'm going to be carrying the flashlight around particularly much. So it's mostly a ornament. Let's see what we got in here. Uh, we got another hatchet. <laughs> uh, let's see what we got in here. Fishing tackle, newsprint, we can just leave that. Go, newsprint again, all about, I think that's it. If you walk with the uh, lantern and right click to place it, will take it out of your vision and you walk like this so you can see a bit better so you're blocking it I, I kind of like having it like this it's a uh, you know part of the atmosphere you want to check these jetties so you see these jetties here or piers uh, they can have uh, um, knives and hatchets attached to them so if you look at these pillars here these things they can have it like stuck in it so let's have a quick look to see if one of them has that also, let's check the boats quick. The boats can also have uh, miscellaneous loot. I don't see anything in these. No. Let's check. Uh, I don't see any. Still going to check though. But I don't see any in any of them. Usually, if there is a knife or a hatchet, they tend to be in one of the first ones, like one of these two, or something like that. There'll probably be one in like Coastal Highway or something. Okay, so now we're back with more stuff. And we can sort out the rest of our inventory as well. And we can also check the loot that's actually in here. I haven't actually done that yet. Oh, there's another one of these. I'll take this, I guess. Put that here. This is like a tool bench, so we'll put all that stuff there. Let's see what we got in here. Cloth, and we got another hacksaw. Put here. And then we have a rope that can stay there. Anything behind that? I don't think so. Under here there is vest, we don't need that. First aid kit. I think I can use this. And then let's check under here. I don't see anything else. And we have our matches. Uh here they are. And we have wood. We don't need it right now, but and then we're going to put our books in here. And we have a firearm cleaning kit we don't need. Uh, let's put down some uh, stuff. We don't need two of these. We don't need this at all or this. Uh, we don't need this many sewing kits, but that's okay. And that we can harvest. Yes, that's all right. So let's put this like on the bench here. This extra hatchet. And this we probably won't be using, I guess. I know my tool's in bad condition. I don't think so. I don't think we're going to be using the hammer either, at least not anytime soon. Not until we forge. But we can leave that there too to save some space. And I think I'm going to keep the stress pistol for now. Hack the other stuff I will also keep. And what else is there? We can... We have a ton of stuff to craft. We 
gonna keep the casings for now. Okay. Yeah, right now it's looking good. Before we sleep and everything. Oh, there's a knife there. Missed this. <laughs> we don't need this either. So we look at all the stuff we have in our base. This is gonna be our regional base, and there's a ton of stuff in now. Let's actually write a little note. Uh, we'll put, you know, uh, all types of tools extra, and also books, and one guns, guns. Lots of supplies, just in case I forget. The only thing I've known, so we have all of it. So hatchet, hacksaw, hammer, and knife, and this, and that. Uh, this also, I might take this with me though. I was going to use this in specific areas, so we might take that with me. We'll see. Okay, before we sleep or anything, I am going to do a few misc things. I'm going to harvest this. I'm also going to craft some uh, stuff of these things. The uh, birch and everything. Let's do the mushrooms. Let's do how many hours does that take? Let's do all of it. 2.25 hours. Let's do it. we go and roll sips also is two hours let's do that just to pass some time and then we'll do the birch bark as well so you have a bunch of stuff we can cook which you can do next day there we are and we have repair skill increased to 100 that's good <laughs> starry night how nice look at that okay and then we're going to have a little rest this has been cooked, so we can eat that. We'll also eat the dog food, because if we get food poisoning now, it doesn't matter, because we're going to sleep anyway. Let's eat that. I'm gonna need to rest soon. We'll also eat the sardines. And we'll also have a drink. And then we'll sleep. Do a sit rep in the morning. And we have too many of these. Uh, I am tempted though to maybe not carry the cooking pot just because I'm not sure it would be necessary. It's faster, but we'll see though. Okay, so let's sleep. Uh, it's almost morning anyway, but we're gonna still sleep about 10 hours, I think. We shouldn't get cold because our gear is just too strong. Now we can do some stuff. There we are, five days. Now look at this. We have full health, we have a ton of gear. We've been to the summit, uh, left a bunch of stuff up there. We can go and get another time. We got pretty much everything down here. Uh, lots of supplies so we can stay alive here for ages. We also have the revolver and the rifle and everything. We need to actually repair this. And uh, our skills are slowly increasing. We're cooking uh, well on the way. The rest, not so much. A revolver firearm is getting there, I guess. So we're on our way, and now we can actually do that. And now we can choose what to do, really. We're kind of spoiled for choice because we have so much stuff, weapons and everything. Uh, so we could actually now keep moving. We could establish this as a base. There's also things we could do. What we are going to do, we're going to do some leveling. We have a bunch of stuff to cook. Um, not actually that much water, but that's okay. And we have quite a lot of gear as well. These arrowheads are actually going to put in here. We don't need to carry those around. Love will come back to put these in here. I can take that with me, I suppose. These don't really weigh much. I'm going to carry them for now. And then we're going to do what we're going to do. We're going to do a little bit of Timberwolf Mountain stuff today. We're going to go and see if we can find the bear that we killed. And then we're going to go and check for moose spawn. Actually, we might do that first because moose can spawn here. Ah, it is here. Yes, that's that. I'll get to that. We're going to check the moose, find the bear, and also the containers that are around. That guy who um, There's three containers. There's one up there on that plateau. There's one this way where the wings are and one down in the ravines. So we're going to check those. First, let me see if we can have something to drink. Uh, not looking to all we'll just finish the water we have. Make some more later. 
carrying a bit too much and necessary. Uh, we could actually drop the coffees, uh, sorry, the teas in here for now. Just for that. Okay, so what we're going to do first, we're going to check over here to see if the moose is there. So you see these markings there on the trees, these brown markings. These are scrapings from the moose, it's scraping. That indicates that this is the area the moose is going to spawn. It doesn't mean the moose is going to be here right now, but if it's not here now and I come back another time, it might be there. But let's see if it's here. It's not going to be right here, it's going to be behind this ridge. The markings doesn't indicate that the moose is like right by this tree. It's in this area. So you can see there's markings over there too. There's also going to be markings on the tree up ahead. Oh, this is a wolf that I killed. <laughs> uh, but the moose tend to uh, be behind this ridge here. So if it's not there, I can come back another time and it might be there. When you kill the moose, it's going to take a long time for it to respawn because it's a rare animal. About maybe 40 days. And if you get to the late game, it's even longer. How much wood do I have with me? Practically no wood. Oops. You can grab this wolf after if you want. I'm going to grab the feathers first. Now let's check the moose. If it's here. I don't think it is. No. I couldn't hear any like stomping noises. But normally it would be here, right there. So now I know that. I can go and um, look for that later. Okay, seeing as we found our wolf, we might as well carcass it a bit. Although I would like to find the bear I killed. Uh, we don't really need the hides and stuff anymore, but we don't really need any of this anymore. But I can harvest this just for the sake of doing it, and then I can cook it later. I think that's sufficient. We leveled up some harvesting doing that. And we're going to find the bear. So in the last episode, if you watch that, we killed the bear with the stress pistol. And I could hear that the bear died. You got the death, death growl. But I don't know where it died. It sounded like it was below me near the climbing rope. We're going to see if we can find it. Gonna put our meat here to cook later. Oh, here you can see the wolf. See, the wolf is coming for me. He's uh, kind of like got his uh, jogging. That's because the wolf can smell me. If I drop all my stuff, he's gonna give up. So just watch the wolf. See how he gave up? That's because I don't smell anymore. I pick these back up. Oh, he got interested again. Oh, because I smell. Oh, but now it doesn't smell anymore. <laughs> so that's how that works. It's just a scent. Drop all here. Place this one here. Ah, can it stay there, I guess? All right. What we're gonna do now? We're gonna we could hunt some deer, but what we're going to do is we're going to look for this the other wolf carcass. It does look like it. We're gonna wait to harvest that. We're gonna see if we can find the bear. So there's kind of like three things we're doing today. Well, I guess it's four things. We're doing a bear carcass and then three containers. <laughs> that's another wolf there. And then there's one roaming. Wouldn't be too bad. But I'm running a bit because it's late in the day already. As you can see, we're not cold. Because it's late in the day and we have such good gear. So, because we went to the summit so early, cold is not going to be much of an issue for a while. I do need to repair my stuff, though. <clears throat> right, let's see if we can find the bear. I'm guessing it's over there. You can see the crows circling. Let's see if we can find that. I'm hoping it's here and not up there. Uh, more mushrooms. We can grab those. It sounded to me like he died down here somewhere. But he was buggy because he ran down a cliff, which he shouldn't 
run to. But I'm guessing he ran down and kind of clipped through the walls. You saw how buggy that bear was, and then he got stuck over here somewhere. As you can see, though, this car is actually circling here. Suggesting he's actually in the wall. I wouldn't be too surprised if he is in the wall. What we can do, we can try to map it and see if we can see where he is. Nothing here. Let's actually climb up. It's not a very long climb. We should be okay. And we can get one of the containers while we're up there too. Is this a ledge? I don't know if I ever stopped at this ledge. No? <laughs> Interesting. It's very rare to stop on short rope climbs. So let's see here. Am I carrying anything off the yeah. Okay. I need some water. Couple things first. That's another the other wolf I killed. Killed a lot of wolves. I'm gonna grab these so we can make the bow later. Okay, so the bear seems to have died inside the wall. That happens, it's very rare, it's only happened to me once or twice before. Uh, and it's when it's bugs out. This one, as you might remember, was very glitchy. So I don't think it can be salvaged because it's in the wall somewhere. But at least we get a nice little view of crows up close. I don't know if you've ever seen crows this close before. But here they are in all their glory. <laughs> and no, you can't shoot the crows. That's uh, That will be fun, but you can't. Okay, I can try one more time to map it, but I don't think it's going to work. No. So it, it's not even showing up as a carcass on the map. It's in the wall here somewhere, like inside the actual world. So we can't really do much about that. We're going to leave that. Instead, go and check out the container that's over here. See what's in here. Now there's two containers. And also a corpse, I assume. Yeah, another hacksaw. <laughs> Don't mind looting too much stuff at the moment. So let's open this. See, we got these containers, like all of the containers that are out here in the open. They don't exist on Interloper, so I'm not used to opening them. <laughs> Except for a couple. There's uh, one in the ravine and also one, or sometimes two, by their clearing, but the rest aren't there. Okay, soup we can cook. <clears throat> lots and lots and lots of food. So we can do a massive cooking session today. Have water, right? Kind of Have a drink. Uh, we could check the boxes, but they don't tend to have anything in there. Can openers. Sewing kit, fire strikers, can open load of stuff. Like, too many can openers, if anything. <laughs> Extra clothing. All of this is really to uh, shred. Hey, air wrap. Marina's coat, that's a good stuff one too. A ah, load of stuff. Load and load of stuff. I'm gonna put this on. First things first. That's really good. Uh -huh. Stuff you can shred. The P coat is actually uh, not bad. It's pretty good too. We could actually wear it, maybe. Uh, but it is heavier than the Parker. Right, how heavy are we? We're fairly heavy. I think we'll leave the wolf over there and the head straight back down while we can. There's one container down and there's one in ravine or echo ravine that is. I think there's two there and then there's also one uh, or two by the wings. Then there's an additional one further up the river. And there's also two by Deer Clearing, and there's one by Eric's Falls.
We're gonna hunt the wolves if they come too close. It's kind of like wasteful to kill them, not harvest them. But I have so much to do already, and I'm mostly doing it as an excuse to level up the revolver, if anything. He's gonna come for me. One shot, one kill. Seeing as we're very close to the uh, hut, we might as well kill it. I mean, harvest it. You gotta be careful though, you should pass time harvesting while the wolves Anything are else. sprinting around. Like that. So the wolf that fled, uh, that one was still running around while I was harvesting, so I could safely pass time. However, if the wolf was uh, walking about, or even worse, on me like this, and then I harvest it, it will go for me while I do it. I would harvest that too, but we don't really need it. At least not now. I smell, so this guy's gonna come for me too. And if I feel like it, I'll harvest him too. And we can have a massive cooking session. Shame we can't find the bear though, but that's all right. We have a lot of stuff we can eat. And then we can choose to either eat the wolf meat and risk getting parasites, or we can uh, cook it and save it for later and eat it when we're level five. That was a miss. Need a... Need a holographic sight. <laughs> He's gonna come for me again though. Because I'm walking quite slow. I could hunt him with a rifle, it's easier. But I don't really need to. Save that for the bigger targets. Oh dear. Is he coming back anywhere? There he is, yeah. Let's uh, see if we can kill him here actually. Would be convenient if he does end up getting us in a struggle. It's not the end of the world. If I can get him killed here next to, to us, it'd be handy. He's gonna sprint. And then he walks and then he sprints again. There we got him. Firearm level two. Which does, I don't actually know the details of it. I know what some of them do, not all of the levels. This one does recall compensation and you repair it better. Okay, that sounds fine. I'm gonna harvest that guy as well. Just have more cooking. Drop all the food here. And then we had some extra tools, so we're going to sort our inventory out a bit. We have three can openers when we need just one. We don't need all of these. We have too many sewing kits. I'm going to put these to cure on the floor here. We have a bunch of food. We have clothing as well we need to sort out. I guess that's about it. So much stuff. Uh, we can actually, while we sort out the rest of the stuff, we could just drop these here. I'm gonna cook all of these. So let's just make a little supply thing here. And actually, I'm gonna move these down here. So that I can make this look a bit organized. That'd be perfect. Just uh, kind of stack them on the shelves here. Yeah. Not, not that fussed about it. I just want to have them on the shelf. And then milk uh, doesn't give cooking, so that's a separate thing that we can just eat whenever. And if we get food poisoning at this difficulty, I'm not too worried about that. We'll just sleep off. 
Okay, so a lot of stuff that needs cooking. Let's see. Uh, we can also eat something. We can eat all this stuff to get rid of it. Doesn't matter if we get food poisoning or anything. So the low condition we're going to eat. I don't think it takes a lot to get food poisoning from these things. There's mostly meat and stuff. Drink this as well. There we go. And then we're going to grab... Oh, well, we are still quite heavy. Oh, that's because of the clothing. Yeah, we'll sort out in a sec. We're going to go grab this wolf first. While the, he's still fresh. We'll grab start with the, that. And the camera is slowly panning away. Bye, wolf. We're going to look over here now. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> Woozy. All right, and then we're going to get this while we're at it. Oh, I don't like that it moves, it's making me dizzy. <laughs> get this done fast, and then knife. Didn't attract any more wolves because it's so far away. Normally though, you want to be careful with this. So we're leveling up some harvesting skill while we're at it. And there's a load of stuff we can cook. We can spend a long, long time cooking. Gonna do that a bit later though. Okay. Drop the wolf pelt here. Drop this here. Drop the feathers in here. Don't need those. All right, then what we're gonna do is sort of some clothing because we got some clothing we don't need. We're going to harvest this for cloth, because we're going to use that for repairs. Uh, so anything, while well, it's dark now, that we can harvest, we're going to do. Then we'll sleep. Uh, we can harvest this too. Ski jackets are pretty strong, but compared to the stuff I already have, uh, it's not really that important, so we're going to harvest it. Pass a lot of time doing this. So both ski jackets we're gonna get rid of for the cloth. Ideally I'd like to start repairing after. Uh, wow, there's a lot of tukes. Um, this one needs repairing, but we can harvest a couple of these. There's so many of them. So we can normally I wouldn't harvest these because they are very good. I'm gonna harvest two of them just because there's so many of them. <coughs> I would prefer having the cloth. We'll do some repairs later though, so I'm going to put this in the thingy here. Let's put all of this in there, except for one, I always carry one on me. I'm going to put two of these, I don't need that many bandages. And we don't need all these sewing kits yet. And I guess that's probably it for now. I need to clean the firearms as well. And Pico is warmer, but I'm not after I repaired things. Also put these in here. The rest we can... Uh, let's actually put this in here. Carry the lichen with us instead. Yeah, that looks good. Then before we sleep, I'm going to clean this. Because it was 50%, so it could jam. You don't really want that. Worse break. Let's just keep cleaning and cleaning. Let's just keep doing this until it's fully repaired. Clean it faster now, I think, because, yeah, because of the we're level two. go. I think that's enough. We can also clean once our rifle or twice. And there can be a bear we can kill as well towards the wing. All right, there we are. So let's have some food. I'm going to try and get rid of the stuff I'm carrying on me. So let's just start doing that, eating all this stuff. Keep these ones though. Drink these. 
give some calories as well and then we'll have a drink and then we can sleep and then we're much lighter than before I'll do a massive cooking session a bit later for now we're getting all the resources to prepare for that session let's sleep 12 hours and maybe 12 hours a bit late it's gonna be really late in the day maybe sleep like nine hours I mean that's enough We could check for the moose again, but I don't think it's going to be that quickly. Another drink. And then, uh, yeah, I think I gamble not getting mauled by a bear. All right, then we're going to, we could check the moose quickly, but I think I will wait a little bit. We're instead gonna go now. And check the container over here by the uh, by the wing. Uh, that's also an alternative location for a uh, moose spawn, <clears throat> but we're not going to find it there because the moose is by the entrance near the cabin. So I'll check again for the moose later. Right now, we're just going to conquer Tim Wolf Mountain. Uh, I could house a wolf on the way back, maybe. Uh, we're not going to do everything in Timwolf Mountain. We now have done the main thing, which was go to the summit and we got all our gear and everything. So what we're going to do next now is just with looting everything that's nearby and accessible and also taking the opportunity to kill some animals and level cooking. And once we've done more or what we want to, we'll head to Pleasant Valley and we'll set up a base in the farm there. Uh, I don't need this rest pistol very much. Uh, because uh, I have all the other things. However, this is handy for a bear. If, the, if I run into the bear, there he is, then it's going to be handy. So the bear is over here. You might kill him, but not right now. The best way to kill the bear is to stink and then drag him towards your base and then kill him from there. Could kill him now though while he's closer to his cave. But I think that's alright. I think we'll leave it. We don't have to kill him for the sake of it. At least not yet. We have enough stuff to do so we can kill him later. We are here by the wings. If the moose isn't by the um by the mountaineer's hut where I showed you, it will be here. There's one or two spawns where it can be. And depending on how heavy we are, we'll also go to the ravine afterwards. I was going to pick up these birch sparks, make teas with. We have another dead wolf that I must have killed. <laughs> we can harvest that if we want to. <clears throat> and it has two containers. I think one of them has coffee, and another one has food like peaches. And the other ones, I'm not 100% sure what has. There's not nearly this many on interlope, but there's a few of them, but not many. Okay, so let's open this. Now we'll just see how heavy we are, really. This Flares. And revolver. Oh, no. Okay, nice. Won't say no to that. Good thing we found our revolver then. We're using it a lot. Antibiotics. Any stims? No stims. Alright, let's check this one. Drinks. And this one. Ah, here's the beans and stuff that we can cook. How heavy are we? Not that heavy. But heavy enough that I think we'll regroup back at base. Sure much more. And I'll instead uh, grab some of this wolf on the way back instead. Uh, hopefully the bear won't get to us. But I can be careful. There he is. He's actually coming towards us. He's kind of in our way, in our way actually. 
Uh, one good way to hunt the bear is to go on top of this. You can actually walk through these branches. The bear can't follow you up here, so you're kind of safe from the bear here. And it's much easier to, to kill him because you're in the clear. And we could actually do it. Uh, why not? <clears throat> and then... Even if he could come up, because there are some limbs where the bear can come up, you just jump down. The fall isn't big enough for you to take damage. So this way, you can get a clear shot at the bear, and you um, you can just evade if he comes too close. And I would like him to spot me, because uh, then he's going to head towards me. If I shoot the bear now, and I hit him, but he doesn't die... He's going to flee and run away, most likely. Because he hasn't seen me yet, so it's basically like he's thinking, what was that? Run away, you know? Uh, but once he has seen me, if I shoot him, he'll start charging me. So I would like him to come this way, if possible. Come over here, bear. Aw, oh, isn't he cute? Or she? Come here, yeah, there we go. You can also lure the bear closer by throwing a rock. Uh, like this, go towards you, there we go, see, that doesn't work on Pilgrim, but works on the other ones, so we might as well do this, seeing as he's in our way, there we go, he spotted us, because he started growling and coming angry, and we're gonna, oh he's a bit stuck in his half, there he comes, we're going to wait for him to get a bit closer, so that it's easier for us to shoot him right in the head. So we're going to wait a little bit. Until he gets closer. I think he's struggling a bit when I'm up there. He can't really figure out where to go. So let's get him a bit closer. Easy to outrun the bear, because they are very slow. Once they charge you, though, they're very fast. Go up here again. Yeah, he kind of bugs out, as you can see. He doesn't really know what to do. Once you get close enough, though, so yeah, it's actually a fine line here with pathing. You can just mess with him. And in fact, you could utilize this if you want. Oh, I almost fell down there. All right. There we go. One shot. And this wolf I might kill as well. Uh, because he's going to be in the way. But let's see if we can get this wolf to come over to me. Yeah. Then I'll explain what just happened with the bear. Let's see if we can get him to die next to the bear. Yeah. There we go. Now we have two of them, and also I can house the bear without worrying about wolves. So the bear died in one shot, as you saw. Uh, and let that be evidence that you can one-shot a bear, even at level one rifle mastery. So here, that's what happened. I hit him in the head. There are critical uh, hits where you, if you hit him in the head or the neck, I think there's a couple of smaller uh, areas as well, then they will die. Uh, then they won't die instantly, but that will trigger a critical. That's like the critical area, and then the game rolls the die on whether that's a critical hit or not. And if it's a critical hit, you can kill in one shot. You basically have like, well, the higher your skill, the more likely you are to do it in one one hit. Okay, so we're actually going to quarter this guy, I think, or maybe we don't need to now that I think about it. Let's uh, let's harvest some meat, and we're gonna do it with we'll do the knife because it's fastest. We're gonna do it for one hour, and then the wolf might come and attack us. But if he does, I'll just kill it. It's a blizzard, but I can go behind the bear and use the bear as a shield. And now you can see I'm actually warming up barely, but. And I can keep harvesting a bit. See how far we can push this. So I'm getting cold, but barely. Until the wind changes. That's stalker for you. Oh, 
And we want to make sure we house the hide as well before that expires. That's the main thing we really want. And we keep using the knife because it's faster. Okay, now I'm getting cold. So now I should consider making a fire if I want to keep doing this. Uh, we could make a fire, I suppose. I don't have much wood though. How cold are we? Not that cold. I suppose we could make a little fire. Uh, I do have a lot of accelerants, but I'm just going to try it without this. Let's see how we get on. Come on, little fire! There we go. And it's minus seven. And oh, one please. stick gives one degree. So we just put on a few of these, like that. That should be enough. And we can keep harvesting. They're now actually warming up while in a blizzard. It's gonna blow out though, soon. Carcass housing level two, the main reason we're doing this. And how cold are we? We can put the rest of this, I mean the sticks, all of, oh is it too windy? Too windy. Uh, the wind has changed a little bit. But that's okay. We can harvest the rest of it while we get cold. Or what we could do actually, very quickly, heat these up if possible. I'm not sure if it will be possible. No, it won't. They won't heat up. That's okay. If I had reacted a bit faster, I could have done that. Oh, they did heat up just in time. So I'm going to drink this to warm up. And I'm going to drink this too. And I'm going to heal a bit while I do it because of it. Now it's barely cold again. And let's just harvest the rest. I'm going to leave the 0.3 kilos. Alright, and then we're also going to harvest these guts. So we're getting very cold now. But I don't mind. Oh, frostbite risk. Why do I have that? Ah, because these are frozen. That's my befairy risk. That's ah, alright. So let's drop all this stuff. And... Yeah. Let's just head out of here, I think. We'll come back and cook this later. But let's go and get out of here before we get frostbite. And I think what I'm going to do, actually, is drink my energy drink, because I'm never really going to use them otherwise, to avoid hypothermia and stuff. Let's drink this. Actually gives us a little bit of calories, too. There we are, so that's regenerated. We're still heavy, but that's all right. If you don't know where you're going in a blizzard, don't do this. But I should be able to find my way there. And even if I don't, I can just make a, uh, a fire somewhere. And warm up with teas and things. You should never do what I did there, which was to continue harvesting while the um, uh, while the blizzard's going and you're cold. Because if you do, uh, you can freeze, like I saw there. My hands actually froze to the extent that um, um, that I can get frostbite, even though I have my hands covered. So I basically need to get indoors now, before uh, this kicks in. And if I struggle, I'm going to have to be forced to make a fire. I didn't bring any coal or anything, so... But I don't think it should be an issue. I think we should be fine getting there. I think. Just need to find the ice. I think I know where I'm going. Hope so, at least. And I think we should be fine. Keep running. I think I know where I am roughly. But if I'm not sure, I will make a fire. Uh, we should be by the, the river uh, now. In a sec. Down here. How is Frostbite looking? Who's getting there? We could use a stim if we want to. I don't think it's going to be necessary. 
And that's a lake. That's a fishing hut. And then we just head straight from the fishing hut. I think we should be alright. Yeah. Pushing it a little bit close, but we should be okay. There we are. Uh, I just got tired just the last minute before I started sprinting some more. And then we'll make a fire once we get in here. I don't think we're gonna get frostbite. There we are. Close that. And let's just, <coughs> let's just make a fire to make sure. And then we can also actually take these off and they'll fall faster. And we were close, but not too bad. We got a headache now, that's all right. Hyperthermia risk. So that was a risky thing to do right there. <laughs> so be careful doing that sort of stuff. Drop these 10. And we have a bear thing as well here. Let's drop that. Let's, let's, let's move this over to here. Drop the bear hide here. And you see this is uh, falling. And also frostbite risk is going down. So let's eat some stuff. Uh, maybe we can start cooking some of these things. Let's do it. Because uh, if we get food poisoning from it, it doesn't really matter. So we're going to cook all of these things now. Put some of them on here and some next to it. <clears throat> so the benefit of cooking these is you can do them all at once. You can just open them and place them next to the fire. Uh, you can't like this. <clears throat> and it will cook. You can even go on the outside of the cabin if you like. And you can also put it up here. See, this also cooks it. <laughs> In fact, for aesthetic purposes, we can always do this. And let's keep placing these things. Yeah, and they're all cooking. Let's do it with all of them, shall we? Not sure we can finish them in time before one is done. Well, this is why I save these things for like a session. I think those are actually a little bit better than the wall there. Aren't they? Yeah, that doesn't matter. Oh, that's a bit too far. Ah, actually it won't, won't do those. There we go. Here, that one of them is about done. <clears throat> the heat of the fire will cook all of these things. Okay, it's too cold, we'll put that here instead. How are the first ones looking? God, I need a horse. Let's relocate these. And then we can also do this. this and then we're getting a whole bunch of cooking done I'm gonna pick these up let's make sure that none of these burn twenty one minutes I think we can open all of these in time for that The mass mass cooking done here. Sixteen, I think that's the shortest. Yeah. The rest are fine. You can cheat it uh, so they don't burn, which I have done with two of them now. See they just say hot. 
That's because I repositioned them. And when you do that, you trigger like a, an exploit where they won't burn. You'll see a lot of veteran players do that with T's to ensure that uh, everything is hot when they leave. All right, so look at that. We have uh, ourselves a little, little cooking circle here. <laughs> Big little screenshot for good measure. So we're cooking all our stuff. Seven minutes still burned. Yeah, so uh, a lot of cooking done here. Let's grab the stuff. Six minutes, it's hot. This is all done. And I level up cooking by grabbing them. That's not ready, ready. There we are. And these are still cooking. So there we go. Uh, I leveled up a lot of cooking by cooking all of these things. I'm almost level three now. And that one's ready as well. Uh, this one will be ready now. And we might as well cook some more while this fire's going. I think I'm going to use the small um, ones. Yeah, let's do that because only one pot. So we're going to make some uh, birch and stuff in one. Actually, we're going to use the pot to make the water. So we have enough to cook. Grab that. Grab that. And then let's eat some stuff. I'm going to eat uh, the low condition beans first. Because if I get food poisoning, it's okay. So let's do that first. Get some cans. All right. Uh, and we'll eat one of the peaches as well. They're very heavy for what they are. And uh, we can place these things down here in the corner. That can be like the... Uh, the web. These are placed. Okay. Grab that. And then this. And then now if I want, I can place... Uh, just so you can see a bit better, maybe. Let's grab some stuff, put that on here. Grab a torch. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna put these back here. I've already leveled cooking by eating them. I can reheat them so that I get the warmth bonus in case I want to eat them while traveling or something. Um, but I already used them for leveling now and I can eat them cold to get the calories. Or I could reheat them to be warm. Doesn't really matter. But here we have a little collection here of uh, stuff. Let's actually move these a bit closer if we can. I guess, I guess not. Uh, let's put these here. It's our condensed milk corner. I think this is done. Let's make another one. And continue placing these. So much stuff. These have all been cooked now. I still have a bunch of meat to cook as well. <laughs> so much to, to cook. And then we can also now multitask. So that's like nine minutes. So while we're at it, we can make one of these. And then we can craft something while it cooks and rinse and repeat. So that's done. We put another one on, 13 minutes. Then we can make a Raishi. That's done. Then we make another one. And we can make these two. And there we go, so that's all done. And I'm just going to keep making these. And now there isn't really anything to do other than that. We have some more flares we can get rid of. So let's do that. Uh, so I think we can just do this. Yeah. We'll uh, make it look nicer later. I carry one flare on me though. What else can I get rid of that I picked up? Lots of lantern oil. Uh, yeah, that's something we can just place over here. Place all of these. Keep the small one. 
because that can be just refilled. This is why I usually don't break down furniture in the base, because I like to stack things like this. You can also just put them in storage, of course, but I just think it looks a bit nicer this way. Yeah, was there anything else? Uh, I guess that was it. We have the drinks as well. Yeah, we need to repair some stuff. Oh yeah, we also have more medicine that we found. Let's put that in there. We don't need these, for example. Put these in there. We can put both of these in there. I think that's enough. Yeah, that's enough, I'd say. We need to repair this soon. It's done. I'm just going to keep making some until this fire burns out, I think. How's this torch? That's alright. Okay. Then I'm just going to rinse and repeat until the water's done. I'm going to put one more on here. Hey, we got cooking level 3. So now with cooking level 3... Uh, the cans, uh, smashing them no longer causes calorie loss. So that's great. But we already have can openers, so that doesn't make any difference to us. But we get 15% calories from cooked food items, and its cook time is shortened. So that's great. We can also... Uh, let's put a stick on here and grab a torch. We can place some more teas down here. Uh, because we don't really need that many. Can I place this here? Oh, just barely not. Would be nice if I could, but I guess I can't. How close can I? Mm, I guess this needs to be further back. There we go. And now we can. And then we can place this here. here. Let's drop some of these also. And put these here. And then we have a whole supply of stuff. If you have it now, uh, oh, that's a bit annoying, can't go. Okay, well, that's what it is. Hmm, it doesn't look as nice then. Let's do this. Oops. There we go. Cheat the system a little bit. It will allow it. Oh, come on, I want to actually... There we go. So now we have a lot of supply, so you see that this is like the benefit of having such a well-stocked base, especially with contingency stuff. So if something happens now, say I get uh, in a wolf struggle and I got mauled by a bear, I can come back here and eat and recover and heal up with birch tea. I even have some backup clothing in here, although that needs to be maintained to be effective. And I can regroup in here, that's what the benefit is of that. Take these. And we'll douse that. And then we're going to sleep again. Uh, we're going to drink some of these drinks. And then we'll go out to get the next container. And then I think we've done all of that stuff. Let's sleep for 10 hours. I think that's enough. Alright, we saw it seven days. Just quickly, yep. I'm just gonna keep drinking these. Shouldn't give a sweet poisoning, so. Yeah, good. We have a lot of stuff to cook from the bear, so we should maybe go and cook that. We don't need the meat, but we can just leave it there and grab it later. Um. I would like to repair some stuff. We're gonna do that later, though. How heavy am I? Am I decent weight? Yeah, I think so. Need a couple of these also just to top up. And uh, we don't need three of these actually. No, that's uh, too much. We can put that in here for now. And then we can also harvest this to make tinder. There we go. Uh, we don't need all these teas, but that's alright. We're kind of full here. <laughs> We can just drink them when we want to. Still have more we can make, so... We can also do fishing if we want, but I don't think we need to do that. 
Okay, nice. Oh, there were way too many bandages. Yeah, let's put that in here. There we go. All right. We could go and cook the bear. We have to go that direction anyway. So one option now is to just uh, frostbite risk. Ah, oh, it's just going down still. This is all done now. Yeah. Uh, if I find some sticks and stuff, I can start cooking the bear because uh, it will level up cooking even if we're not going to eat it right now because we have so much food anyway. And we can also just leave the food there and uh, drag it back later. Now, if this was interlope, I would probably eat all of it. Well, on Stalker, this is so much food. We don't really have an issue. I'm not going to harvest that guy. I'll check the moose later, not right now. I'm going to run a bit. Let's grab some sticks for the fire. So that I can cook some of this bear. I can also multitask and cook some of it while I get the... Uh, the stuff in the ravine, but I only have about five minutes real time to do that, so I'm not sure how worth it that is. So we'll see what we can do. We'll grab this stuff. Just to have some fire. And if we need to sleep, we can sleep in <laughs> the bear's cave. Or we could um, go to the next cave, the, I think it's called Forest Cave, I think it's called. The bear has probably despawned now, I would guess. And if not, um, it's about to. You can see the wolf carcasses are still up. I didn't get around to harvesting those. I'm leaving a lot of destruction in my wake. But yeah, so you can see the, de uh, the bear carcass has disappeared because I uh, harvested all of it. But the meat should still be here. Yeah, took a, took a second to load there. I got me a bit worried, but it's all here. Grab and grab. And here it all is in a nice little pile. What we can do is, we can make a fire next to this uh, ranch here, because then I can multitask and <clears throat> make some wood while I cook the bat. No, it doesn't look like we're going to get cold, but still. Let's go and do that. Make a fire. We may not cook all of it at once. It's uh, in my experience, it's, it's not very often that I cook all of one bear in one sitting. It usually it takes several sittings. All right, it is getting a little bit windy. <clears throat> Hopefully, it'll be okay. We'll put enough on for it to last long enough to cook two of these. I want to see. So this should take about an hour. And a bit, 14 minutes. Let's put on this for an hour and a half, and then we can break this down. It's 45 minutes, so an hour and a half of this. And uh, we're gonna take 45 minutes, I think. There we go, we'll get some tin while we're at it. 25 minutes left. We can maybe craft something, nope. And we can instead harvest this. One kilo. Buggy wolf again. Grab two of these. And this should be close to done. Let's have a drink actually. That's done. Pick that up. Pick that up. Put this to cook. Oh, that, that was a small piece. So we're going to wait to harvest that one. Or cook that one rather. There we go. And then I'm going to see if I can find some more wood. So that got... There we go. 
I'm gonna grab some wood while that's doing that. So we can maybe make more fires if we need to. Sounds like maybe there's a wolf around, but now ah, they're all the way over there. I grab my stone that I used to distract the bear. Always have at least one stone on you. And again, we have 19 minutes, so let's go and grab... Oh, the wolf is going for the deer. That was a different deer, was this one. I could go scare off the wolf and grab the deer if I want to. But we don't need that, we have enough meat, as you can see. Well, let's do this. That's now done. This pack is getting kind of heavy. There's wolf meat. I'm gonna drop this. And then grab more of these. Cook that. Takes another hour, 14. I'm gonna put all of these on. And then let me find... <laughs> I think it killed another one. Yeah, I'm gonna get some more wood. multitask while that's cooking. Let's keep using this. And we might be able to multi-fire. That's assuming that the uh, wind doesn't pick up and change, of course. 21 minutes. Do the same old. Harvest there. We can multitask all this stuff. Let's grab two of these. So we can grab several of these. It's a little bit easier. Do it this way. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. That's here, that's here, and that needs another hour. We have quite a lot of cedar wood. I'm gonna rinse and repeat, we're gonna get more wood. And make several fires if I need to. Grab some sticks. Let's get all of this cooking done. Ensure that I have leveled as much as possible. Grab this as well. And then rinse and repeat. I already know it's going to take a little bit. Let's grab another kilo from here. It's gonna get night, but that's okay. Seems like the wind is picking up though. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Okay, the wind is picking up a bit, so I'm gonna try though to make several fires. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but we'll give it a try. I'm gonna use this area here. I wonder if I can drop any of this here. Then we can put some, some meat on here as well. And let's do multiple cooking. Uh, so you can only really do this with a six uh, hop stove, Come which on, we don't have here. There is one in Pleasant Valley though, where you cook six at a time. Other than that, you need campfires like these to then place the meat. So let's do this. And we're gonna do this. Try and make another fire. That's somewhere. Too windy. Really? Alright then, what about here? Not the greatest location because if the wind changes, then all this is for nothing. But we're gonna give it a try. 
wind does usually change at some point. Come on, little fire. But Come on. we'll try. All right, let me put that there and that there. And this is 45 minutes. This needs a little bit more. So put some sticks on there. Same here. This needs sticks. That should be fine. Can I make another one? That's the question. Yes. <laughs> and we can cook even more. Now we're cooking eight pieces at once rather than two. That's how you cook effectively a bear in a short amount of time. Or a moose. But it's risky because the wind can pick up or change and then this blows out and makes it complicated. I think four fires is enough. All right. Let's drink. Let's drink some of these teas we have. We have too many of them. I'm just going to drink some of them. How long has this got? 45 minutes. Oh, I don't need to drink that, but okay. Uh, so let's see what we can pick up in the meantime then. 45 minutes is enough to grab another limb. Let's grab one of these. Fur limbs are better because fur uh, is, he is heavy, but it burns longer. Do this. I'm getting tired, but that's not a biggie. I don't think the wind changed, so I think we are okay with that. Rest soon, I'm faint. Yeah, and this has 2 minutes, 19 and 10. So let's do another one here. Done. Other stuff, no. Put two more on here. This, my friends, is what's called multitasking. <laughs> Now we're gonna grab these. That's all that's left, really. Yeah, this pack is getting kind of heavy. Put these over here. Hope this doesn't burn out, but it looks like the wind just changed. Uh, so now they are no longer protected. But I can probably make a fire here now. I guess. Yeah. I don't think that wolf was bugging at me. I think that was at the. Uh, the deer. And if we have this one going, then the others um, Come on, little won't fire. burn out. Although I think the wind isn't that strong. Maybe it is okay. We can check. We can have the fire anyway. Perfect. Let's see. Oh, fire starting. Just to not have that as a bother. Level of fire starting while we're at it. So let's see, can I put something on here? I can. Then let's start cooking some more. And now we are mega cooking. All these fires. Any others? No. Uh, Needs another stick. Also needs a stick. I don't think we need more of, of this. Similarly, this needs a, this needs two sticks and a bit. Let me head back here. Leave all this cooked meat here. And this is fine. Grab this one to place on here. And let's see if we can get a bit more wood. Uh, we don't really need more of the cedar limbs. We need these things. This is harvest these. I'm getting tired now. That's okay. I'm not going to take this meat with me. I'm just going to leave it here and eat it later. The sun is setting. The wind the has died. Having one more should do it. Now we're getting tired, so we can't sprint anymore. Listen to all these wolves howling. <laughs> I can lay down and have a little sleep right here. There we 
we go. How long has this got? Not a lot. This is about done. We can refresh this one to cook what's left. Put, you know, this on and these. You put that on there and then this on there. Takes another hour. And we could actually utilize this as well on one of these campfires, but not all of them. Put this one here, for example. Put these on here. And we're going to let the other ones burn out. Oh, I forgot to put stuff on here, my bad. Yeah. And we could always, uh, I think maybe it's too dark to do mapping. Maybe Sorry, it's okay. We can try. I think it's, just, nah, it's okay. <coughs> A bunch of carcasses. <laughs> 32 minutes. I can drop this again. As you can see, we have so much food now. 31. We can harvest a bit more of this while we're at it, while we're waiting. We can do one and a half kilos, sure. Level up carcass harvesting and cook some more. How's this looking now? It's more wolves. Hey, Wolfie, come here. The first hit made him bleed out. But I would rather get rid of him completely. One of these is small, I think it's this one, yeah. So when this one's done, we can put this one on. And it's like roughly the same amount of time. How about this? How's this going? And now we can revert to our original campfire, I think. We have all this meat. And this is 11 minutes. Put our last cedar wood on here. Grab some from our recently departed friend. Looks like we got a starry night. Oh, it's an aurora. Okay. Then we have to be a little bit careful because then the aurora wolves will be around and the aurora wolves do not mess about and uh, they can't be scared by fire they don't they don't do more damage or anything they're just more persistent i'm gonna keep doing this until i'm more or less done or burned out 50 minutes I think this guy's harvested already. What about these fellas? We've killed most of the wolves in the area anyway, but we're not too worried about that. Let's do two kilos of this. I'm just gonna keep this going until we run out of fuel. And that's about it, I guess. And I think we'll head back to the uh, hot, and we'll do some more later. Nine minutes, yeah, that's fine. So you can see, we have so much food. I could eat this now, this for good measure. Doesn't matter if you have parasite risk. Because if we get parasites, at least, I guess it'll be interesting, right? <laughs> have a drink as well. And how long has this got? Not that long, and we have used all that. So this is gonna be the last one then. I think that's enough. And I think uh, we'll just harvest some stuff while we wait for that. And that will be enough. Let's harvest some, uh, some meat. 
that we can cook back at the cabin or something. I need to have this ready in case an Aurora Wolf shows up suddenly. Okay, this should be enough. Good timing, because now the wind is going to blow this out. Let's see how the progression is here. That should be done. Then we have these ones which we could leave here. We can take it with us. First off, let's drop this. And how heavy are we? We are heavy, but not super heavy. Uh, we could just take this with us. We're not that slow. And then we're going to have our weapon ready because we really stink. So if we attract an Aurora Wolves, we are more or less forced to kill it. Beautiful green Aurora tonight. So... You, generally speaking, don't want to be out during an Aurora. It's the worst time to be out. The only good thing about an Aurora is that you'll always have clear skies by definition of the Aurora. So you will never have a blizzard or anything, but you can have strong winds, of course. So, but the thing about the Aurora is that now we have Aurora animals. We already killed the bear, so there won't be a Aurora bear around, but there can be Aurora wolves around. And Aurora wolves, um, a lot of people think they do more damage, but there is nothing to suggest that they do more damage. But they are more persistent. They detect you from further away, and they follow you for longer. So they are uh, a bigger threat. But the main issue with the Aurora animals is that they aren't afraid of anything. If you see them before they detect you, and you shoot with a revolver, yeah, then you'll scare them off. Uh, but other than that, like once they detected you, you can't really scare them away. So you can't uh, use a torch or a flare. Even marine flares don't work on auroras. Is that one over there? That's no, a bush shooting. So they are hard to deter. Uh, the only real deterrent you have, other than killing them, is the flashlight, which I don't carry on me right now. Flashlight is back in the. Uh, in the mountaineer's hut. So, um, there's, uh, you have limited options with it. You just have to use the flashlight to get rid of them, or you have to kill them. And, you know, if it's a wolf, then, okay, you know, kill the wolf, I guess. But if it's something else, like a bear, hmm, tricky. But yeah, you do what you can. Uh, we've killed so many wolves that uh, I don't think there's many left. It would be a real threat. There should be some around, though. We can also grab this, actually. Yeah, you can hear some howls, so they are around. Is that a howl? There is one. See how far away he detected me? That was really, really far away. He came over the hill and then he barked. So the other normal wolves... They could also smell me from that distance, as I showed earlier, so they would detect where I am, but they hasn't seen me, the wolf doesn't see me until they get close. Uh, the Aurora wolves <coughs> saw me from far away, and it's going to be persistent. I'm going to probably try and kill it, um, but closer to here, like last time, so that I can harvest it for later use. The Aurora is an amazing effect, it's very original, it's very cool. But also very dangerous, so be careful. The Rolls can also bite you in the back if you're not really looking and they get too close. So be a little bit careful. But you can hear it. They'll start barking if they get too close. And he doesn't give up very easily. I do follow you. And I stink in addition, so I attract them from miles away. I think this is the only wolf that's still alive here. Let's see if I can kill this guy nearer to home. So let's stand here, and if I end up in a struggle, meh, it's okay. We should be fine. I think only one of those was a hit, or maybe two. So a bit of a waste of bullets there. But <clears throat> he got wounded, and he ran off. So the gunshots themselves don't deter, deter the wolf very much. Where's the rest of them? Didn't I shoot? Or did I not reload? Hmm. Oh well. 
He's gonna run and bleed out somewhere. We'll see him another time. Let's drop our wolf meat here that we can cook later. Could cook it now, but eh, what's the point? Do I have anything that needs curing? I don't think so. Um, no, I wouldn't say no to a whetstone so I could sharpen my stuff. Uh, well, now I think we're good. Let's put the feathers we found in here. Other than that, I think we are good. We didn't really find anything that we didn't use. Nice. Okay. I think we'll sleep in here then. Let's have another one of these drinks. And then we can sleep. I think we'll sleep for 10 hours again. Maybe 12 actually, then it'll be midday. Yeah, let's do it. There we are. Now look at that. Our base is just massive now <clears throat> with a whole bunch of stuff. So what we're going to do today, we're going to wrap up what we've been doing. We have cooked everything, done more or less everything we want, but there's some containers down the ravine that haven't been opened that we're going to go and open. And then also wrap up some things in here, such as reading some books and stuff like that. So we're going to go do that. And that's about it, really. Now, first things first, let's have some food and water. And these, because they've all been cooked, I don't really care at this point whether they're hot or cold. So I'm just going to eat these and they will give food and hydration. So let's just eat all of that stuff. Uh, we can also have one of the soups. And then I can have a drink for the rest, like that. And there we go. And we can put the excess cans here. Uh, because we're not going to be needing them. Oops. Yeah, there we go. I can take one of them though, so they always have one. And that's it. So let's see. What's this? Parasite risk vehicles. I'm not carrying too much, so this should be fine. Uh, some of this stuff I don't even need to carry, I guess. Let's refuel this with that little lantern oil that we had. And I guess that is it. We need to do some repairs. We're going to do it a bit later. What books do we have, actually? Uh, rifle, carcass harvesting, cooking, fire. We need to read these soon. Because <clears throat> I think when you read, when you reach level 4 cooking, you can't read the books anymore. So that's something we need to do at some point. All right. The Aurora Wolves we showed earlier is dead somewhere. It might even be one of these. I don't remember exactly. And now what we're going to do... Oh, that's another wolf. We're going to head to the ravine. We're going to do a little shortcut though. Because there is uh, a way down that we can use. So we don't have to go the, the long way. And then we could actually go through the mountain and up to the engine. Where I think there is another... Um, container and then we after that we've done all of them that are in the open except for the one that there were the two in their clearing and then there's also one by um, Eric's fall so I think that's four so we can do these ones and we're starting to wrap up Tim Wolf Mountain and there's so much loot here <laughs> I do have some sprint penalty, but I always value warmth over everything else. If my clothing is so good that I'm super warm, I go outside and it's like 10 degrees or something, then I will consider replacing some of my gear deliberately with worse gear just to have more sprint. But for the most part, that doesn't happen. Uh, having warmth is the most important thing, just because of the threat of cold. Cold does so much damage to you. Therefore, it's always important to be warm first. <coughs> so here's Echo Ravine. Here's the summit, if you're wondering where we are. Um, we were up there. We barely got it down this way, like this, and down. And then we very, very slowly moved here. The bear somehow glitched and ran this way and probably down like this and into the world or something. Uh, if you spawn here on Interloper, by the way, you spawn one of two places. Uh, it's always outdoors with interloper. So if you play this on interloper, you're going to spawn right there on this edge, in which case you just go this way down to Mount Nesat. 
If you don't spawn there, you're going to spawn over there-ish. Uh, and then you can go, go right back into what's called a three-way cave, which you could maybe check out as well. So there's books there. So that's the relevance in terms of navigation. It's a little plateau here, but it's not much to that really. Um, we'll check that out another time. But well, now we're going to take a little shortcut down here. It's steep and there's wolves down here. But we should be alright, especially with crampons. And I'm too lazy to crouch. Crouching will reduce the sprain risk. And it's safer. But I've done this so much that uh, it's fairly easy to me. And I'm also slightly impatient because of it. But I'm just going to do it stepwise like this. <coughs> And then we are down. And there's two wolves there, and there should be two containers as well. I'm gonna have to kill these two wolves, I'd say. They are in the way. So let's do that. <laughs> I missed. It's funny how sometimes you aim straight at the wolf and you miss. I think actually it's slightly above the marking. Let's see if we can get this guy to come a bit closer. Let's open this while we wait for the wolf to come back. <coughs> here we got there. Uh, clothing. Some decent clothing and some bad clothing, which is good. It gives us cloth. Where'd the other wolf go? Well, who we'll keeps checking? Accelerant and matches. Alright. Lots of it. Where's the wolf? Oh well. I'll get this wolf though. There's a little bit of a trick to hitting the wolves from a distance with the revolver, it doesn't always work. Neither of those were hits, even though I was aiming right at it. It looks like the hits, but they're not. Those were also misses. That's interesting. I need to figure that out. Because in both cases, the wolf was right inside the iron sight, but I don't think I hit a single shot. Let me do a little bit of practice, actually, with that. So I've been hitting my shots, but uh, that's a little bit strange how that works. Let's see if we can deal with the wolves. Get a bit closer here. Well, that was easy at least. Well, that's because he was close. What about... Like this. Oh, and the close is easy, but I need to figure out exactly how the reticle works. Figure that out a bit later, I guess. <coughs> that wolf isn't a problem, at least. Let's check out here. I think one of them has coffee, and the other, I'm not sure what has. Let's find out. Yeah, there's the coffee and tea. That alone might even just get us to cooking level 5, to be honest. There's so much of it. And food. Lots of it. Nice. We don't need to bother that wolf. We're done here. Alright, so we're not even heavy because that wasn't that heavy. So we're going to go through the cave that's up here. But before we do, we're going to check the three-way cave. The three-way cave is an outdoor cave that connects to three ways. And it's one of the guaranteed match spawns. So it's good to go there on Interloper. And it often has a torch and a book. So we're going to see if we can find those. Here's the cave we want to go through. That's a transition cave. We're going to go up here. Now we got the wind against us. There's often a corpse here as well. I think it's too windy for it now. But very often there is a corpse here. And that corpse can also have a hatchet. 
Let's see if it's there today. Uh, I think it's around the corner here. Let's see. No, I think it would have been here by now. So I don't think it is here today. But that uh, corpse can have a hatchet. Here's a three-way cave. Connects three ways. One is where we come from now, the ravine. And then if you go left of the cave, as the left exit, you get to a rope anchor. But unfortunately that rope anchor doesn't have a rope to it. So you're gonna have to attach a rope to it in order to actually use it. It's, uh, I think you can actually see it from here. Uh, oh, let's go a bit closer then. Yeah, see, but you can't go up there, there's no rope. But on the other side, if you take the other exit, which is here, you can go all the way around and climb up the other rope on the other side here, which takes you to the deer clearing. And what some people do is they take that rope off and they attach it over there instead, which you could do. I, I've almost never used this rope, it's very rare. There's the three, three way cave. And uh, here we have knife, torch, I think there's usually matches in here and a book. Let's see. There's the book. Uh, no matches. Bedroll, we can harvest for more cloth for repairs. I'm gonna grab these. We're heavy now, but that's okay. Uh, we're not super heavy. And also, I want the wood for more cooking. We're gonna grab that and then head out of here. Then we're gonna go through the transition cave. Uh, well, there'll be some coal also. We don't really need it, I suppose. And then uh, I think there's some, there's a little bit of miscellaneous loot in there too. And then there's another container on the other side, and then we can head back to ha down to the, the hut. If we get low on energy, we can just make some coffees. On interloper, I'm very greedy with resources. Don't really use coffee and things unless I have to. Here, uh, while I'm playing as if the idea is to survive as long as possible, uh, the main goal is to get everything to level five. So I'm not that bothered about using coffee and other things when it's not really necessary. I'm just trying to utilize resources that levels up my skills. That's what I'm doing here. <coughs> In order to get to level five though, we do need to go to Bleak Inlet at some point or Black Rock, but I think Bleak Inlet's better. Okay, let's see in here. I have this now, so I'm going to use this. And I'm going to I'll grab a piece of coal or two. Um, I'll run a bit so this goes faster. And it's like the atrium. Uh, doesn't seem to be much here. There might sometimes be some stuff, but I'm not going to really look around for it. We're going to get into the other atrium, the large one. And we're going to see there can be some loot in there too. And then we'll come out on the other side. So let's see what we have up here. Let's walk it, I think. I'm warming up also. A good rule is to, uh, when you're in caves, don't uh, run, just walk, because you are warming up while you're in the cave, and you might as well utilize um, that time it takes to warm up by just walking. So you spend longer time in the cave, but you also warm up more. Okay, here's the other atrium, the main one. Let's see if we got anything in here. It looks like we have an unfortunate survivor. Does he have any good juicy loot, chocolate and stuff? And that's it. And let's grab these two. And there's some wood, which I'm not going to grab. Take the coal though. And then we'll head up here. <clears throat> There'll be lots of mushrooms and stuff we can cook too, but I'm not too bothered about that right now. We can leave that. 
this is one of two transition caves. Well, technically there's, <laughs> technically there's four transition caves like this in Timberwolf Mountain. There's this one, and then there's the one that I use to get to the summit where you go through the main mountain. Uh, and then there's a transition cave to Black Rock. And then there's also a transition cave uh, to Ash Canyon. So there's, uh, there's four of them. There are quite a lot of transition caves, like there's cave systems in um, Timberwolf Mountain. Right, so here we are outside. And this is the upper part, has the other engine. And uh, this is where we were, when we were walking very slow, we walked below this area. Here there can be a wolf. Uh, there is the wolf and another wolf and another wolf, there's three of them here. And there can also be a container up here, which we need to be careful about. And you can sometimes get a bear here as well, but it should be alright. Circumventing them a bit, so let's see, are there containers? Yes, there it is. Fantastic. Over there, by the way, is the cave to Blackrock. If you want to go there. I'm just going to try something. I have a suspicion that the aim works like this. It doesn't. Where did that hit, exactly? Hmm. I need to practice that. <coughs> well, now close is easy, but in distance is kind of hard. Probably a trick to it. Anyway, we're gonna grab this container and here you can see that there's a rope anchor up there that we can't access, so there's no rope. When you get to the summit, what you can do is go down here with the rope and then attach it and then this will be a shortcut up to the summit. So if I want to go back up there and grab some more loot, that's how I would do that faster. There's Wolfie. That was a hit. That was not. I'll figure that out. Got a lot of bullets to figure it out. Okay. Then we have this container. And this should be the last of the containers, I believe. Uh, maybe there's one more down there by the bear. The bear is usually the next waterfall. Um, other than that, I think it's the last one of the open ones nearby. But there's also one up by where the rock ranker is. There's also one there. And also in the deer clearing, so there, <laughs> there is even more loot to find. So let's see what we got here. We have more food. Lots and lots of food. There's so much loot in this area, it's insane. Okay, clothing we can demolish. Another air, oh, air wrap, sorry. And in fact, I recommend having that rather than this. Because it'll be warmer. Okay, we're heavy, but not super heavy. Do I have a coffee on me? No, I don't. I might have to make a fire then, just to uh, get that so I don't walk as slow. <coughs> Let's do that now. Let's just make a fire uh, for the sake of it. Doesn't matter if it's in the open. I just want to... Ah, let's use the accelerant, we have so much of it. Let's just do it. And then we're going to just make <sighs> coffees, just so we can do this uh, more efficiently. And while it's doing that, I can prepare some stuff. Looks like it's blowing the wind. Uh, the wind, well, fire out, but that's okay. Nope, it's still okay. Make two more. Oh. There it blew out, that's all right. Now we get some fatigue back. And what we really want is our fatigue to be over halfway, but then it's not as heavy. I'm gonna get rid of something a third wood. I'm gonna drop this, it's so heavy. We don't really need it. And that should also make us walk a bit faster. One more thing we're going to do before we head down is go up to this peak here. That's a little like hidden area kind of where there is uh, usually a corpse and some misclute. 
And if you find a Polaroid, there's two Polaroids for Tim Wolf Mountain. One of them is at the top of this peak. I think it's called Allen's Peak or something. And the other one is on the summit itself. But before I head up, I'm just gonna check here to see what I can see of the river below. Okay, that was having two hits out of five. Tell I'm rusty with this thing. I mean, I did kill a lot of wolves in the last episode, but I, uh, you know, I don't play with it very often because <laughs> you don't have it on interloper, so the position is a little bit off. But yeah, I got hit twice. So over here is the rope down. I'm not going to go down, and here it is, the rope anchor. But what I'm going to check is to see if there's a container down there. Oh, hello. He's bleeding out. There's some running about. <clears throat> Let's see if there's the wolf. Is there a container here? I don't think there is a container here. Just checking though to be sure. Before I go down there. I don't think there is anything, no. But there can be a bear here. And uh, you don't want to really mess with that bear. Because uh, if, uh, if you climb down this rope and then the bear is around, then you basically... Uh, he can be waiting for you at the bottom of the rope and you don't want that. Alright, we're going to head up to this peak and then we'll head down and back towards the base. But we have the wind against us, so we're going very slow. Grab a couple of these for tinder if I want to. And then when we get back, we've actually done everything in terms of looting the immediate area. It's just the extra containers left that are in their clearing and in Eric's Falls, which is up there by that rope. And we'll do those later, not right now. Uh, we also have more stuff at the summit that we left behind, but we're not going to grab that either. Even if it breaks, it will be cloth we can harvest, so that's okay. Now up here is a little, oh, it's a little peak. And you can go up here. And on the other side of this uh, area here, you can find... Drink the other coffee, I think. There's so much coffee I can make. Yeah. And you can find wood here. You can find uh, some berries. There's usually a corpse. And this is where you go for one of the Polaroids. I haven't found any of the Polaroids yet. I haven't really been looking for them either. Up here we go. And it does have a name that I can't remember. We might still map it just to compare how much the Polaroid maps compared to the regular mapping. There it is, it's up here. And here we go. So here we are, it's like the little area before the peak. In here I think there's some wood. Yeah, here you can see there's uh, wood laying here. So if you ever need sudden wood, <laughs> here it is. <clears throat> and up here, on the actual peak, you can sometimes find a corpse or something. Uh, not always though, but I think... Uh, Andre's Peak. Okay, that's what it's called. Not, uh, not Alan. And there's no corpse, but there is a very well camouflaged plastic container. Which has the other Polaroid, I believe. This is the Summit one. Yeah, so if if I go back up there, I can do this. To the left of the plane, it's easy to miss, but just go before you enter the plane, just go along the edges and uh, left, and eventually you'll come up that uh, it's there. The other one is here, Andres Peak. You have to go atop uh, here to do it. And then we'll give you a prompt saying this is the Polaroid location. 
We don't have the Polaroid though. But we're still gonna do this. And then we'll map this area. And if we go here, see here's the other Polaroid location. I just don't have the Polaroid. Um, I don't have any of them, I believe. Um, we can see here. Actually, I do have... Wait. No, that's uh, that's Ash Canyon. Yeah, that's right. I do. So if I find it, I can go back here. For now that we're going to go down, and I think we'll take the direct route. I think we can just walk down the mountain here faster. Yeah, this will be fine, I think. It'll be fine. <clears throat> now that I've done it before, but it looks, looks doable. Now I'm doing side jumping. I'm jumping to the side and then in again in midair. Then you have less chance of uh, hurting yourself. Sprains don't do damage, by the way. Might look like they do, but it doesn't. This is a little steep, but I think we'll be okay. Mm, actually, this we might take some fall damage here, maybe. Yeah, a little bit of fall damage there. wasn't the, wasn't the best way. I'm gonna bandage my foot so I can actually run. And now we're good. And let's go in here and check what's in this cave. If anything, doesn't seem to be anything. Yeah. Might as well do some mapping while we're here. Make a little nice map. Didn't really do anything because we had mapped it from the peak. Well, let's head back down here to the mountain air set. I'm just going to run. I can have one more coffee just to make things slightly easier. We need to be careful of the bear though. Can be a bear around here. The bear will be to my right. An easy way uh, to understand how to get to the summit is once you have that other rope anchor in place, the one I pointed at, um, once that one has been positioned, getting to the summit is pretty easy. You just follow the river. The river takes you up there. You have to go up uh, two ropes if you do that. But if you go... Oh, let's grab these so then we can make... Um, arrows for, for archery uh, but if you go from mountaineer's hut that's like a lake that's crystal lake but if you leave uh, the area of the hut and cross the lake you'll get to a river this river and then you just follow that river upstream let's go upstream and it will eventually take you up there to the rope. You climb up that rope and then the next rope uh, you can't climb up unless you have attached it from the other side. But if you, ever need, but if you have attached it and you need to get to the summit, you can just follow the river, climb the rope, follow the river, climb the next rope, and then you're at the, the rope at the base of the summit. Let's kill the wolf because we need the revolver leveling. Revolver level three. I could harvest this as well, but I don't really need anything from it. I guess we could harvest this for the sake of it, just to get the skill and the pelt. And we could also for the sake of it harvest this, but not the meat, the meat's too heavy. It doesn't matter if we attract wolves. Yeah. That looks like we might, might have an Aurora again. So, firearm level 3, we now have, I mean revolver rather, now a struggle effectiveness is increased, we have even less recoil and we repair it more. Nice. The struggle effectiveness is, um, if you didn't know, uh, assuming you have all the different tools, when you enter a struggle with a wolf, it gives you different options. You can fight it with the pry bar, the hammer, the uh, hatchet, the knife or on stalker and below the revolver and your hands of course people often ask which is the best one and it's pretty straightforward people tend to say that the hammer is best but it doesn't actually kill the wolf it just wounds it while the hatchet and knife will kill it uh, it's not entirely correct uh, based on all the data i've seen from struggles it works like this 
if you use the knife or hatchet, you will puncture the wolf and then it starts bleeding. So if you survive the struggle, the wolf will eventually die. It will eventually um, bleed out and die. If you use the hammer or pry bar, you will more like injure it, but it won't die. Uh, the best one of all of them is the hatchet. The hatchet seems to cause the least damage to you. So basically it uh, effectively causes more damage to the wolf. So the hatchet seems to be the best of all the weapons that you can use in a struggle. So that's why you should always carry a hatchet with you. Uh, however, on Stalker and below, you can also enter a struggle with the revolver. From the tests I've seen though, the revolver is among the worst of the weapons to uh, fight with. Because now you're level three, it becomes a bit more effective. So now the struggles can be more powerful, but I'm not sure if it necessarily holds up to hatchet though. However, there's one unique thing with the revolver. And if you enter a struggle with the revolver and uh, start fighting the wolf, you can eventually, during the struggle, there's a window where you can shoot the um, the wolf with the revolver. <clears throat> so you can actually fire at the wolf while you're in a struggle, which is uh, unique to the revolver. So that's fun, isn't it? <laughs> it's something I never actually done myself because I have almost never been in a struggle with the revolver. Um, but I've seen it happen. Right now we're in kind of like a transition phase where as you can see we do actually have an aurora. It has triggered uh, visually but the aurora effects have not triggered so we kind of have an unusual kind of like twilight situation going on where the aurora is visually there but the effects have not yet happened because you don't have the sounds and you don't have the aurora wolves or anything. But it's about to hit, and as you can see, the lights in the mountainous hut is on. And probably now, because they are on, you would find Aurora Wolves. But it does sometimes bug out. Or it, may, it may not be a bug, it may be intentional. I think this might be the trigger. But yeah. Uh, it may be intentional, but sometimes you get this where you have the aurora being visible, but the effects aren't there. So you have normal wolves and stuff. It tends to happen right at the beginning of an aurora. So you get the visuals of it, but then the effects hasn't happened. It's usually in the beginning, not so much the rest of the night. Okay. So here we are back at the base. We have now loosed all the containers. So what we're going to do now are two things. Uh, after we rested a bit, we're going to check for the moose and we're going to do some researching. But first, let's head in here. Let's drop some more wolf pelts down here. Some more guts here. We'll put some saplings here. Uh, in here we can put, uh, we found some stuff, didn't we? Put some other teas, we can sort out later. And better what we can harvest, and the book, yeah. Okay. And also there are so many matches, let's put some more matches in here. Okay, nice. And we also have some more accelerants, so let's get rid of those two. Put them in our window collection. <laughs> and we have a bunch of food here that we found as well. Let's drop those first. So many of them. Then in fact, it's not even going to fit on this shelf. We just have to fit what we can. And then we'll put the rest somewhere else. Do they fit on the sides? They do. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, then we'll put the rest of them. Um, I think I'm going to break this down for one. Hey, parasites got healed. Put this here, right there. I'm just going to put these uh, along here. So much food. 
both a choice really. Yeah, and I think we're actually going to move these over here. Actually, now we can put them here because now there's space. There we go. And we can stack it here nice and neat, you know. So we can show off how much stuff we have. Doing our fancy aurora. We can actually read during the aurora because the lights are working. That's something we could do. I think we'll wait a little bit before we do that. The moose, there's no point checking because it's not going to be up. Do so you think we have enough crackers? I think maybe we do. <laughs> uh, we have dog food as well. Do we have anything else? Uh, we need to repair this soon. We need some scrap metal. We can actually harvest a knife. We have so many of them. So one thing we could do is to repair it, but we actually have a more hacksaw, so I'm just going to grab this. I could use this. Uh, that's 35. 68. We'll grab this one. Put this one down. We repair it some other time. And we have two knives. I'm going to grab the biggest. How much does this have? 80. A hatchet is 50. How about this hatchet? 85. I'm going to drop the lower condition ones instead. So we can repair them later. Oh yeah, a knife sticking out like that. That seems safe. <laughs> what else was so that we picked up? Bedroll. I think we can harvest that right now for the cloth. So the lowest one is going to harvest. Okay, it's just 10 cloth. And we could maybe read a bit uh, while the row is going on because we're going to do that next. Let's eat this also. If we get food poisoning, we'll change the plan. Now we're going to read all the books we have. <clears throat> do a bit of a research day. And we'll just do it whenever we can. Let's have all of this stuff first. And there we go. I might as well eat, drink this as well. We need to make more water actually, but that's all right. We need to do a bit of cooking anyway. There we go. Uh, then let's see here. We can now, we have some cloth, we'll deal with that later. And we have some more clothing we need to do too. We can do that later as well. Let's grab a book. So the books, uh, we need to do the cooking one first because that's the highest level that we are at. So we're going to read this or at least start reading it. You're not healthy enough. Oh, the, the wrist. Banish the wrist then. Now we can read it. And we'll read one hour at a time because it's only going to work while the blizzard, the blizzard, the aurora is active. Sounds like it ended, but I think the effects are still on, so we'll keep trying. We can only do one more hour, then we have to sleep anyway. Then we're going to sleep, but not as much because we just need daylight. So I'm going to sleep like five hours or something. There we are. And then we're going to drink or eat rather some, uh, some soup. Get some hydration in us while we eat it. And also drink a tea because we have so many of these teas. And then let's put this down here in our collection. I could actually put it there. Yeah, I could. Yeah. I'm going to keep reading because now it's daylight, so you can keep reading. I'm going to keep reading this book until it's done. Three hours. Seems good. There we go. And we can use this book to light a fire. Because we have read the book, so now it's fire. It's firewood now. We're going to start a fire. And then we're going to make some water and also cook the wolf meat outside while we read more books. We're going to do that for a while. So we're going to put some of this on. We'll put on the fur and the reclaimed wood. And one of these two. 
So then let's put this on. Uh, we're not going to use the other one. It's going to make this. <clears throat> and we'll grab some of the meat as well. Did you get... Oh, that's an Aurora Wolf. Uh, kind of. It bugged out a bit. I think it's... Uh, yeah, it bugged a little bit, that wolf. Uh -huh. That's all right. And then we're going to put this to cook. That's going to take about an hour. Oh, let's just uh, drop these so we can just easily select them. Like that. It takes an hour and that takes two hours. So then we can read an hour from a book. Let's use... Uh, Maybe fire. I can do the fire ones first. Let's start reading those. One hour. Then we grab this. Place another one. Read another hour. There we go. And then that's boiled. That's done. Then we repeat, put two there, put one there, and let's put this on, coal as well, why not? There we are. Then we have a drink. And then we keep reading. One hour at a time because of the cooking. Go. Place another one. Read another hour. Grab the water. That's cooked. Cook that. More water. And repeat. Soon though we're going to be tired and we can't keep reading at that point. I think we can do one more hour. Maybe. Uh, but that's it. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. Uh, then we're going to be too tired. So that's been read. Let's see if we can manage one more hour before we get tired. I think we can, but barely. Yeah, we managed one hour. It's done. And this is ready as well. We'll take this and we'll place... I can barely walk with this much gear. How much water do we have now? Five liters. We're going to put the meat here. Also bugging out. And we're going to grab some more of it. Put that here. Now we can put a uh, couple coal on. Harvest these torches. Or sticks. Let's do any kind of other maintenance while we're at it. While we cook this stuff. Uh, do we have anything we can craft, for example? We have birch we can craft. Anything else? Uh, 48 minutes. I think that's probably about it. Yeah, well, we can... Um, we can harvest some clothing we're carrying. So harvest this, for example. It's actually easier to choose with the house here. It's all okay, but then here we have this, for example. We don't need that. Then we can have something small, like uh, these, for example. And I think it'll be more or less cooked. Let's see. Two minutes, yeah. And let's grab some more meat. I'm getting all this cooking done. It's getting dark out here. Time to look for shelter. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. <laughs> Leave the door open. And then we can harvest some more stuff. Uh, we can harvest this, for example. We can also harvest the ski jacket. Anything other peak I'm going to keep. Oh, it's that, uh, an hour and a half. Uh, I think it'll be okay. I don't think it'll burn. It'll just expire. Yep. And that's okay. I'm gonna sleep anyway. I'm gonna drop all this here.
and so much food. <laughs> there we go. Uh, let's pick these things back up. Did I leave any other food like in here? Just food stuff? Just that. Okay, I'm gonna take these out so I don't forget about them now. And I think just eat these. If it gives us food poisoning, it's alright. Two seconds. Yep. Let's eat some of these also. These are not that important anymore. On interlope, this is like the bread and butter. You want to grab as many of these as you can to make sure you have food uh, or your level, but here it's not as important. There we go. I'm going to sleep for, I think, 11 hours. Let's start. Let's do 10 hours and see if it's daylight. It is daylight, you see the sun rays are above the horizon, the ones on the left and right of the sun. That means we can actually read now. We're gonna drink some tomato soup, get some hydration and calories. And then we'll have it, uh, we'll drink normal drink, so to speak. There we go. And then we're going to read some more. So we read this one. Now let's read this one. I'm just going to read the whole thing in one sitting. I'm just going to read all of these books to have them researched. And then we can head out of here. And we can also drop these two. Uh, this just means that I read them. So they are fire now. Uh, then uh, this one I'm going to take with me actually to somewhere else. But anyway, we have more books to read. That's all of them, I think. Yeah, let's do carcass harvesting next. I started reading already. Let's read two hours. And another hour, and then we need to have a drink. And then we're going to rinse and repeat to get all this read. And because of book smarts, I level a little bit faster. It's nice. Now we can do five hours. It's not going to work for five hours exactly, I don't think, but we can try. Yep, there we go. So that's done too. And we leveled carcass harvesting as well. <laughs> so now carcass harvesting will be even faster, I believe. Yeah, uh, 25% and 10%. And now you can, f uh, this one also, now it's frozen. Um, if it's fish when frozen, you can house it by hand, yeah. I think that was already the case, that once it was thawed. Okay, uh, we can read the next one for probably an hour, maybe two, if we're lucky. And then it's going to be too dark. So let's see how we get on here. Uh, I think now it's too dark, uh, so we need to sleep. Let's have some more food. Let's just do the same thing. We're going to eat all our peaches. And soups and things. Eat all of this stuff. We get food and hydration at the same time. We already cooked these things, so it doesn't really matter. We have a drink. And we'll place our cans down as well. So many cans. <laughs> All right, then we need to sleep. We might get cabin fever, I think we're right. So let's sleep, uh, yeah, ten, nine or 10 hours should do it. And we just rinse and repeat. And things are curing and stuff while we do this as well. Let's see, is it daylight? It is practically daylight. I think it's just too dark. Uh, no, it was just barely uh, light enough. Okay, we're gonna keep reading. I'm gonna keep eating as well. Let's have milk this time. There's so much uh, food here, it's crazy. There we go. Have a drink. And repeat. Let's read some more. Five hours. 
and then we can level up these skills much faster. Uh, I think actually we can read the last two hours before getting thirsty, I think. And then we only have one left. There we go. Let's drink some of our teas, because we have too many of these. We don't need them all. Drink that. And then we'll also have some water. And then we're going to read the last book we have. Not this one, <laughs> but this one, The Shooting Guide. We're going to read that. I think we can do it in one sitting, actually. I think we can read it all before it gets dark. There we go. So we leveled that. Cool. So these have all been read now. There might be more books around in caves and things. But we're going to sort that out another time. So these have been read. We have leveled our skills a little bit. Looking good. We're getting there. I'll probably do archery last. I'll level, level these other ones first. So we'll see about that. Archery can be leveled by crafting arrows as well. Alright, let's eat some more of... Let's see. Let's eat one of these. I'm going to cook coffees and tea later, not right here. Okay, but let's see here. Uh, I have one too many of these. And I'm very heavy. Is that because of clothing? Yeah, it is. Let's do some harvesting. Because there's a lot of stuff we don't need. So I'm going to harvest it for cloth. And then we can also spend some time uh, repairing our clothes, which will also level mending and put us in a better uh, state than before because we'll have even more warmth and everything. All these hoodies, for example, we don't need those. So I'm just going to harvest all of this. You can harvest it while it's dark. Then we can do some repairs later. And the other ones I'm going to leave here. And if they get ruined, then eh, then it is cloth, you know. But the hood, hoodies, we don't need those. In a way, it's a bit silly that things get ruined at all, like clothing-wise, I mean. But it is what it is. These are among the worst gloves in the game. The makeshift gloves from cloth and the driving gloves are pretty bad. But that's it. I'm not going to repair anything that requires a cured leather until... Um, Until I am at least mending level two. All right, I'm going to take all of this out. Take this out as well, I guess. Move all to container. This is the rest of it, basically. Okay. Oh, this we can break. I'm not sure why that's there. Yeah, and this also I want to keep. Okay. Uh, but yeah, we can harvest this. Bin breaker. We can't, I don't think, repair though, because it's too dark, but it's a starry night. It might be okay. We can try this. If so, start with something easy like this. Yeah, we can. Okay. Because it's clear enough. You can sometimes do it at night if the sky is clear. That's repaired. Let's repair all of this. <clears throat> Normally, you, if you want to preserve cloth, you want to start repairing at a certain point. So for example, this one is 70. If I repair it's 100%, but for example, both of these can go down to, you know, almost broken, like 10, 20%, and then you can repair it and they go up to 100%. So if you want to optimize your cloth, you want to repair it when it's in low condition so that you get the maximum value out of it. But for our purposes, since we're also leveling the skill, I'm going to repair things even if they are pretty good condition, but not if they are around 90 Let's just keep doing this until we're no longer allowed to do it. Uh, well, let's, let's repair these. And I think we'll sleep soon as well. There we go. Snow pants, they desperately need repair. So we're just going to keep repairing things, which will make us much, much warmer. And also level our mending skills. And then I think we're going to go to sleep now. So let's have a drink. And sleep until daylight. So that's not very long. Maybe five hours of sleep, maybe. 
They're only going to keep repairing. Let's see if we can get to mending level two. Uh, yeah, that's daylight. How far are we of mending? Oh, quite far away still. I'm going to keep repairing though. Uh, that we're going to wait to repair. This we're going to repair now. We also need to repair the parkas. So they require two cloth, but that's okay. That's all right. Then we need to repair these parkas. They are so powerful. So we can get them repaired. They are golden. They do require more cloth though to repair. Do I fail, I lose two cloth. Well, that's one, good enough. And this one. This should break now. Yeah, that broke. We have another one. That's failed. Let's try again. There we go. Nice. Uh, let's drink some condensed milk. I would normally also have eaten some uh, wolf or bear meat, but I don't want to risk being ill. And then I can't read. Which is a bit annoying when that happens. There we are. And have a drink again. And now... Uh, cool. Now we have pretty good stuff. Uh, we need to repair this though. How far are we to... Still a while away. I'm going to try and repair it. I have quite a bit of uh, cured leather, so let's give it a go. Tired. Failed. We'll find more anyway. We can harvest like driving gloves and things. Okay, let's try one more time. And let's see here. Ah, oh, we managed. Nice. 95. And then I think we'll put the rest back because we don't need it. I am too tired. There we go. And then let's see. Uh, we can also put this in it. It will despawn. Or at least it should. There we are. I'm going to take two of these out. Uh, we can put two of these here. Not many of them. <laughs> And now we are looking very good. We have read all the books except this one. We're not going to read that. And we have done everything except cooking these things and the teas, which we'll do later. This is repaired enough. We have a bunch of food and stuff as well. And we can leave in a minute. Uh, we should maybe check that. But let's sleep. Uh, let's do that now, actually. Let's clean it. I don't want the revolver to break. Pretty good condition still though. And then we're more or less done with this area. I'm going to check for the moose as well. And I'm going to pack as if I'm leaving. And then we'll go from there. Yeah, I think that's good enough. Okay, nice. All right. So I think we're going to eat or rather drink. We're going to open this one. Eat that. Put that here. Then I can always eat some wolf meat in the morning if I want to. There we go. And then we're going to sleep again. We're fully rested. We could craft stuff. We could make uh, the bear co uh, wolf coat and things. We don't really need any of this stuff. So this is for future use. Mostly that. I could also make the bow. But I can't make arrows. I could make the bow anyway, though, but I think we'll do that later, not right now. <clears throat> so let's sleep, because the bow I'm going to level after I get rifle and stuff to level 5, I think, because then it's just easier. There we are. And then I think we're going to eat some wolf meat. I don't really care about the parasite risk. And then we need uh, some water. And then we're actually going to leave to Pleasant Valley. But if the moose is there, I'm going to kill the moose. Now let me see inventory-wise before I go. Food-wise, I'm going to just take... Uh, we're going to find food, so I'm not too worried. And I also have these. So I'm going to take... Um, I'm going to take two of these, the ones on edges, so it looks a bit nicer. 
And I'm going to take two of these as well. And gear-wise, we don't need any of this stuff that can all stay here. We could, however, refuel this with that. So let's do that. E-fuel. We can also place this down. You want to bring these uh, cooking pots to the farm because there's a six hub stove there. So we can have six of these in one place, which would be amazing. But yeah, uh, let's see. Oh, we have two knives. We don't need that. Let's drop this. Hunting knife. There we go. And what else? I think we are good other than that. Yeah, I would say so. I don't think there's anything we need to like bring that we can can't leave behind. I want to take this, I guess. That's about it. And yeah, we have all this food. We have the flares. And we have a bunch of stuff in here. And we can just leave here. So much stuff. <laughs> we'll probably break a lot of it. I might take this with me. Other than that, I don't think we need anything. All right, sweet. Uh, maybe wait one hour and then sleep one hour. Uh, just to get some more daylight and then we're gonna check we're actually going to leave but if the moose is there we are going to hunt the moose but then we can cook it and we don't have to worry about parasites and stuff either that will be another thing to do but let's see here if the moose is here the pelts and stuff can just stay here to cure now let's just see if the moose is here today. If not, we are out of here. And we're warm, even though it's morning, because we have plus 27 degrees warmth bonus because of our gear. This is among the best gear you can have in the game. I can find warm uh, shoes. I can find a second pair of snow pants. And I can find another fisherman sweater or a cowardly sweater. And then that is pretty much it. Uh, there isn't much more. If everything is fully repaired, I'll have about plus 30 degrees warmth. If I find the better items, I think it'll be 32 or 3 or something like that. Which is the highest, and you'll never be cold, pretty much, unless it's a blizzard. I think there is a moose, because I can hear hooves. Is it here? No. I guess it was just like ambient, ambient noise. Oh well, no moose today. We'll grab the moose next time. I'm gonna grab the sapling to take with me. And then we're gonna head out of here and go to Pleasant Valley. And we're gonna set up shop in the uh, farmstead, which will be another one of our main bases. And take things from there. Let's grab this and this. And we'll find some more books and things as well. So let's head out of here. There is nothing more for us to do here other than the remaining containers, which I'm not going to do because I don't really need to do it. I'd like to keep moving, establish a base somewhere else, and also see if I can find some more books and things. And also slowly make my way towards leaky inlet so I can craft ammo and things. So let's move out of here. We might come back here. There's a place we haven't looted both here and in Ash Canyon. We might come back here and then we can maybe get some more stuff from the summit. We can also um, uh, uh, get the last containers that we haven't opened. And that's about it, I guess, that there is to do. Some more mapping, maybe Polaroids and things. Yeah. We don't really need much wood, but we're going to grab it anyway. We get tired, that's all right. I'm gonna sleep probably an hour when we get there. There we are. Goodbye, Tim Wolf Mountain. Thank you for all the fish. And see you later. We're gonna go to Pleasant Valley, home of blizzards. That's what we're going to do. So let's see how that goes. Could be just over here. And here we are, Pleasant.
Pleasant Valley. New region. Probably going to spend some time here. Going to the major loot locations such as the farm, the plane, Thompson's Crossing, the barn. We'll look for a moose as well. Bear is fine because it gives us lots, lots of meat so food isn't going to be an issue with the weapons we have. But uh, moose is preferable because it gives so much uh, food that doesn't give Paris at risk. So here we are at the rope anchor and this rope anchor we could just climb it down because we are fairly light so we could just climb it normally but uh, I'll just to show you how it's done if you haven't seen it before you can get down here without using the rope you know let's say you come from the summit and you carry a whole bunch of stuff and you're really really heavy then instead of going down this rope you can instead go to the right here just go along this little ledge here just hug the wall till you get this little uh, split here go down into that and then you crouch and you slowly slide your way down and then land here and slowly make your way down make sure to crouch during this and then same thing here here you want to hug the right side because if you don't move towards the right as you fall you'll fall down and you'll take a little bit of damage it's, it's not uncommon to take a little bit of fall damage here if you do it wrong so don't worry if that happens to you and here's the prepper cache bunker this one is always there it's not one of the secret ones this one is permanent you'll find it on all difficulties the other bunkers that are prepper caches which we will try and find uh those are separate from this before i go in though i'm going to check what's in here it might be a cooking pot or something and there is a cooking pot am i heavy yet i am let's see what's in here also can okay and i'm actually going to grab the ch charcoal and map <laughs> why not and see if there's a crowbar or something here it can be or pry bar all right nope and let's go in here because i don't think we have a pry bar do we that's the one thing we don't have um in terms of tools we'll find one here though eventually but here there probably are lockers that we can't open so in here, here we're in the preppers abandoned cache. So we're gonna loot around. First things first is behind us here. There can be stuff behind these crates. I'm actually gonna break this down uh, so that we can get some uh, tinder anyway. And then I don't think there is anything here. Okay, then let's check these. And these are actually locked except for this one. So we need to come back here with a pry bar. Book, yeah, okay. And then that's locked as well. Nothing there. And then we have these two. Oh, this one rather. Not locked. There's two locked ones. Cloth, basically. Let's check these. Anything in here? Not much. And then also we can check this grate. Nothing there. We have another storm lantern. We have another hacksaw. Cloth. More cloth. And what else have we got here? Not a lot. Okay, guess that was it. Unless there's something under here. I don't think so. Grab that. Let's organize that a little bit. Uh, harvest this. Put in the plugs. And then we're going to conquer Pleasant Valley. Let's have a sleep for one hour to save. Tim Wolf Mountain has been conquered. Now it's Pleasant Valley's turn. Let's see how we can do this. Ready to conquer this blizzardy region. And we have lots of places to go. Pleasant Valley has lots of stuff. Check the world map. We got the farm, we got the plane crash. We got this cave, ski this ridge, uh, Thompson's Crossing, the barn. The only lowest place to go. Now normally uh, on an interloper run or something, I would now go straight to the plane crash because the plane crash would have the uh, clothing and that sort of stuff. However, I don't think I'm going to go to the plane crash just yet. I'm instead going to, uh, because I have so much clothing already, like my clothing is very highly geared. So instead I'm going to go to a nearby cave that can have coffee and some other misglute and then head down to the barn and the farm probably 
and reorganize myself and establish uh, the farm as a base. Farm is likely to be the main base in this run. If not this one, then camp office, because it connects to so many places. So we're going to do that. First things first, so let's fill up on a little bit. A little bit uh, hungry and, and stuff, so we're going to eat some wolf meat. And we're also going to drink some water. I'm not too bothered about parasite risk. And yeah, we're looking good. We're a little bit heavy because we're carrying some stuff. We can harvest this. Uh, don't need to do it right now though because it weighs very little. Uh, I'm heavy because I have two of those things. I was going to say like, why am I so heavy? <laughs> Uh, I got a few heavy things, especially including tools. Yeah, a little bit heavy is all right. So let's go. You can also make coffee if I want to. So we're going to go to this cave. The cave is around the bend here. It's like, uh, I'm not sure if it has a name, but we just call it the picnic cave. It's a little cave system that has a few... Um, a few ca caverns, but it includes a waterfall that you can go through and there's very often coffee there. And I think you can find the bowl there as well. So it's something that's worth checking out just in case there's something we want. The wolf up there. It's up this way. We're gonna focus on the high end locations for the most part in Pleasant Valley, at least in the beginning. And then we'll loot some more stuff later. At the moment, we're going to do this. <clears throat> I want to go here because of the possible bones, bow spawn, and as well as coffee and other things. There we are. And down here is the cave itself. And then you have rabbits outside. And there's some mist glute as well. Like there's some corpses and there's a backpack and some other things. So you can find a bit of like Miss Gluta. I'm not going to grab any more mushrooms and stuff for the time being. I'm going to wait a little bit because we have so much to cook in terms of teas and stuff. So I don't think we really need to grab all the mushrooms and things that we see anymore. At least not right now. So I'm going to wait with that. First let's loot the outside area. Uh, how much wood do I carry? Quite a bit. That's what's making me heavy. But that's alright. Uh, I can dump some if I need to, but I'm going to get heavy again soon anyway. So let's see here. Here's the, uh, the first one. Backpack. Misty Falls Picnic Area is called. Okay. Mystic Falls. So that's... Uh, I'm not going to take the... Oh, I guess I can take him for the leather. But yeah, it's basically here that we are at now. Mark it on the map. There we go. This is the area we're talking about. Okay, we're gonna head inside here. See what's what. There should be a few plastic containers and things in here too. And the waterfall, of course. Let's head inside. There we go. And see what goodies we can find. Light our lantern. And seeing as we're already heavy, let's just drop a few heavy things here so we can move a bit faster. So let's drop this, and we're not using the other ones. Let's drop all of these things. And then we can just go from there. Pick this up on the way out. I'm not going to miss it. We don't need all the coal, I guess, so I think we can probably leave picking that up. But we'll see. So let's check out the cave. So there's a few misc things. Here's one of them. A corpse and a flare. Stacy's grape soda. And then uh, there's two roots, and we want to check this one. I'll just grab the coal and we can decide later if we want to take it. Yeah, some stuff. It looks like we have. Ah, we do have the bow. Nice, look at that. Could just make a bow, but you can also just do this. Bandage. The bow is the easiest of them to level, I think, so we'll do that later. Scrap metal. That's something we could use. Uh, we'll take this for cloth. Sardines. More scrap metal. Uh, normally I'd leave that, but we're going to take it this time though. And then we should be coming to the... Cave. Okay, here it is. This is like a little hole in the wall. 
So you go through that. And then there's a waterfall we have to go through as well. And there's a few tricks to this. It's not possible to go through the waterfall without getting wet. But it is possible to go through it fire. And do it the same way I did in Ash Canyon. Place the torch down and then go through it. Uh, so that's one way of doing it. The other way is that you can also uh, make a fire like here. Uh, so that when you go through you're going to get cold. And then you'll get warm again on the other side. I'm going to take everything off. So I'm naked. This should douse when I go through. I'm not going to put this up again. But if you have uh, low health and I go through this. If you make a fire on the other side. It's going to warm you through the waterfall. But let's see in here if we got anything. We have peaches. Damn. I have to just make sure we don't miss anything. Yeah, peaches. And what's in here? Another revolver. Okay. And some bullets. Nice. And then, anything else? Tinder plug. No coffee or anything. Uh, but at least there was that. Yeah. Well, you know. Revolver and bow in the same place. <laughs> Alright. Then we're going to go through again. Light it again. And then we're going to put this on. I'm not too bothered about the order of things. There we are. And now warming up again. And we can check out the rest of the cave too. I don't think there's much more in the cave, but we can check out. Just to see. Uh, I think there's some coal, but that's about it. The one we wanted was in the atrium there, and also the coffee, uh, not, uh, the waterfall, sorry. I don't think there's anything else, but I'm just going to look to make sure. Yeah, well, not really anything else. So yeah, you see this is a little misc cave, but there is some good stuff. Like this little cave had a bow and revolver. That was worth checking out. Now, because we're already quite heavy, we're not going to go via the plane crash, because that's going to be too much stuff. So we're going to head straight to the farm right away, I think. Um, I think that will be best, because we're already quite heavy. Exact, exactly how heavy. We are quite heavy. Uh, we can drop some wood, but we already, as long as we're under 50, I think it'd be alright. I'm just going to drop a bit of phoenix. Probably enough. So now we're heavy, but it's not the end of the world type of heavy. So let's head to the farm now. We can go there more or less directly. Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go back the way we came here. The fastest way is actually via the plane crash, I think, or via Skeeter's Ridge rather. Yeah, via Skeeter's Ridge is the fastest. We'll check the plane crash later. Because we're quite heavy, I want to get there first to situate myself and order my inventory and just make sure everything is organized. Dump some stuff and then we can go loot and find more food and things. There's no point exploring if you're heavy. Whenever you go out exploring, you want to make sure you always um, have enough space to pick up what we're going to need. In this case we're a little bit heavy but I can also dump some stuff if I want to. If I really want to I can pop a stim and sprint and sprint there but I don't think that's necessary. But we'll see. Let's kill this wolf. Uh, he's not really a threat right now though he's not really doing anything. Go. We're gonna head through to Skeeter's Ridge. We'll check the Hunter's Blind as well. We might loot Skeeter's Ridge, seeing as it's on the way. Let's uh, get this wolf. Ah, oh, he gave up. Works for me. Uh, we are a bit slow, even with the wind in our backs. Ah, I guess this isn't that slow. Yeah, this is okay. So we're gonna be mostly walking. Even in the strong wind, we're actually warming up because of our gear is so good. And Pleasant Valley is huge. I think it is the biggest of all the maps. I think. So 
There's a load of things to uh, loot here. There's also uh, the highest amount of bears in Pleasant Valley. I think there's something like seven bear spawns, but four of them will be active, something like that. So there's a lot of bears around. So we, we might go bear hunting, but what I really want is to go moose hunting. I'm gonna check this. And now we have also, we have eight rounds with that. We have two arrows. I could have made more, but they are back in Timwolf Mountain. They can be back up arrows anyway. But because I have so much experience with the bow, I, I shot well over a thousand arrows. Oh, the bear. He is unusually far out. Usually the bear doesn't come this far. They sort of stay on that area. Depending on where he goes, might leave the hunters blind for later. Now usually the bear doesn't go that far. It tends to go kind of like to this area and then uh, go back. So I'm not too used to seeing him go this far, but it is part of his territory. This is one of the, this is the northern bear. So this bear is out. We'll see which other bears are around. Let's see if I can sneak in here and grab whatever's in here. Should be doable. There we have another arrow. Matches, bullet, knife, that and that. A lot of stuff in here. Yeah, he's going onwards. Wolf is coming. I think it spotted a deer. Okay, it's rotating back now. I'm going to drop a few sticks. And be a little bit lighter. So there's usually four bears. The, the locations for the bear spawns is this one. It's The cave is north of the plane crash. And then uh, one under Signal Hill. One to the west of Signal Hill. One to the south of Signal Hill. So that's four. Uh, one in the birch forest, that's five. One ne right near the cave I was just at, that's six. And then by the rural store, that's seven. Those are the seven places that I can think of where you can have bear spawns. But they're not all active at the same time. So uh, you just gotta find out which one is active. The one in birch forest is usually up. So the birch forest can have wolf and, uh, sorry, bear and moose at the same time. And then usually uh, there's at least one that's near the farm as well. But we'll find out. Here comes the wolf. He can smell me. But even though I don't really carry much meat, the wolf can smell me. That's a bit annoying that I didn't actually finish that. target practice there. We're gonna just leave this piece. Now oh, this wolf is gonna bleed out. I have so many bullets that I don't mind doing a few shots just to see what I can hit. I got the hang of this one in close combat but when it's further away it's a little bit miss. We'll see. Let's check over here. There's usually like a corpse or something here too. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, with a flare. Nothing on it. This wolf here is that, that's a different wolf it seems. We're gonna check ski this ridge uh, because we're here anyway and we're not far from the farm so we might as well just check it. Have a drink. Hey Wolfie, have you ever noticed me yet? Or oh, it just hurt.
There you go, it's like... The other one's injured as well, running away. Hope nobody needs this anymore. There's usually only two wolves there, so they are taken care of now. Do I have more energy drinks? No. We could always sleep here a little bit to actually regain some stamina. If we want to. Or in the downstairs thing. Hey, Prybot. We haven't got that yet, so that we need. There should be tools there too. Oh, someone followed me while I was streaming this. Streaming this, recording this. I thought that was disabled. Is it not disabled? Uh, oh well. well. Whoever followed me there, um, thank you for the follow. <laughs> I thought I had turned all that off. So if someone does follow me while I'm doing this, yeah, that's just uh, whatever's going on there. Anyway, we're gonna check out. <coughs> Sorry. We're going to check out Skeeter's Ridge, seeing as we're here. And because we're quite tired, we're going to probably sleep a bit in here too. I'm not going to pick up all these uh, berries and things, because we have so much already. But let's check out what's down here today. Alright. We have... I'm actually going to do this to make sure I don't miss anything. This is the other one, the poor condition one, I think. That's all right. We have a revolver cartridge, another shooting book. That's great. Peaches and drink. Don't need a spray can. Oh, more things to cook. And water, I guess we'll take that. Sewing kit and another sewing kit. And the revolver round. Socks, it. matches, flare, hatchet, a lot of stuff in here. A bit heavy, if anything. We don't need any of this stuff. Well, here there's usually clothing as well. Looks like we have all socks. We can probably get more clothing. Well, more clothing. I'm quite heavy now, so I think actually I'm going to have a little sit rep here and sort some stuff out. Uh, and lessen the load a bit, so let's see. We don't need all of these, so I'm going to harvest them to reduce some, um, some carry weight. To spend a night there to gain some stuff, and I want to get rid of these shoes. They take a while to get rid of too. Get rid of all of that. Let's get the leather. And yeah, we'll just get rid of this too. We have so many of them, we'll find more as well, especially in the plane crash. That's something we can bring back later. Uh, these weigh the same as a cloth, so it's not a big deal. What else is heavy? Oh yeah, these we can get rid of. Let's get rid of two of these. Uh, let's get rid of the lowest condition one. We can also repair, uh, I think, we can repair our can opener using the scrap metal we found. Can I repair one in the dark? Okay, no, fine. And the rest is kind of heavy, but it's alright. Uh, I guess we can harvest. We don't really need to chain torches anymore because we have so many matches. And also, um, we have so much... Uh, warmth that fires are mostly just used for cooking at this point, so I'm gonna get rid of the torches in a lower condition. There we go. Anything else? Uh, we can drop these two. I think that's probably it for now. We'll cure this later. Anything else? I'm not sure I need this book. Uh, it's making it heavy. Drop this one too. 
And then we have heavy food. If I want to cook that stuff. But we can drink these things. They weigh a bit. Let's fill that up to the max, really. And then we can be to sleep. So it'll be a bit heavy still when we wake up, but not too bad. But let's sleep here. Or oh, I think 10 hours is the most. I'm gonna put 12, but we're not gonna be able to sleep 12. Now I'll just see what it looks like. Parasite's healed, how nice. Uh, let's see. We can eat this because it has liquid in it. And then we can drink this and it's still way too heavy. So we need to get rid of something. Uh, let's get rid of some sticks because we have so much coal. So let's just get rid of most of that. And what else? I'm still a bit heavy. Would like to get rid of something. Uh, I got a lot of tools, but I want to bring those is the thing. We can refuel my main lantern, this one. And I guess that's about it, I guess. There's not much more we can drop, unfortunately. Could drop two of these. Yeah. Now it's slightly lighter. We won't be walking as uh, slow. So let's get out of here. I'm gonna take... Oh, beautiful morning. Look at that. I'm gonna take the Hunted Part 1 shortcut, just to get down slightly faster. I'm gonna loot the Draft Dodger's Cabin later, because I want to get to the farm, so the stuff in between here and the farm, I'm not going to loot it except for maybe the burnt building. We'll loot the other stuff later. But let's head down here. This is a shortcut. It's pretty easy. Leaves you here at this bridge. Up there is the plane crash. We'll go there later and loot the plane crash. See what loot we got. For now, I want to establish my main base. Uh, probably this will be the main base in Pleasant Valley Farm. Does it connect to um, Mystery Lake, Coastal Highway, Tim Wolf Mountain, and Black Rock? So it connects to a lot of places. Mystery Lake is arguably a bit more central, also closer to a forge. But even then, like from here, I can go to uh, Mystery Lake via the dam. And to the forge, it's not that far. Uh, it's not that far, really. <clears throat> so I think this is a good main base as well. And also it's very spacious, so I can store a bunch of stuff around and make a whole system out of it if I want to. So this is likely to be the main base for a while. But every region will have regional bases. Maybe more than one. Just to have pit stops you can go back and forth from. Sometimes there's some miscellaneous loot here, so let's just have a look. I don't see anything though. No. We can pick out this birch bark though. Just for healing purposes, really. Uh, yeah. Alright, then we're just gonna head to the farm. We can actually sprint a little bit, doesn't matter if you get tired. The sprinting does almost nothing. We're now doing Hunted Part 1, but while heavy. And once we get to the farm, we can situate ourselves, we can establish a main base, organize our items and things, and then we can uh, start looting the rest of Pleasant Valley. And what we're looking for, we already have most of the gear, but we can always use more uh, ammunition, we could always use more food to, to save hunting. We could use more books, for sure. And while I'm at it, also check cars for lead to create um, bullets later. So yeah. A lot of stuff to do. It's a big region. I do like Pleasant Valley. It's a great region. 
load of stuff to do, very spacious. So I really like it. Uh, but it um, it is prone to blizzards. And it's unusual in that the center of the map is flat and open. And then everything else around it is hilly. It's properly like a valley. And then, uh, oh, I never tested it. But people say you get more blizzards in Pleasant Valley. And while I can't attest to whether it's true or not, in my experience, it does appear to be true. You tend to get blizzards quite often in Pleasant Valley, or at the very least when they are there, they last a long time. It could be an illusory correlation, but it does at least appear to happen more often. But that's to be f discovered another time. Either way, getting caught in the blizzard in Pleasant Valley isn't particularly fun, unless you're near a road, because it's very easy to get lost here. And I think that's why people tend to prefer Coastal Highway over um, Pleasant Valley as their favorite region. But now we are here, so it is what it is. Should be walls around. I'm gonna leave them for now, but if they get too close, I'll shoot them. You can hear the howls. Yeah, there we are. There's four of them. You can get a lot of wolves here. You can have up to five together. Uh, because in Pleasant Valley, or rather on Stalker, there's a lot more... Um, there's more wolves than on Interloper even. It's just on Interloper, the wolves do more damage and they're more aggressive. But... Um, But um, but there's more of them uh, on Stalker. Okay, so we're gonna go to the farm. I'm gonna wait to loot the basement and things until after I get myself established. The wolves we'll deal with later. First, we gotta get ourselves situated. So there we are in our farm. This is very likely to be our main base going forward. Big and spacious, very central, lots of things to hunt nearby. Even fishing out is nearby if necessary. Going to just drinks and stuff around here, doesn't seem like it though. Alright, let's go inside and get ourselves situated. Alright, there we are. Alright, great. Before I loot anything, I'm gonna organize my stuff. I'm gonna loot this though. With this much gear. Maglands. That's great. That's good to have. Let's open this also. I'm gonna organize some stuff in here. Okay. The first things first, let's do uh equipment that we don't need two of. So that would be uh flares, for example. And hacksaw and axe and knife and this as well. This one's better condition, actually. Could maybe refuel this. Not much in it, though. Can this be emptied? No, it can't. We'll just repair it. That's okay. Uh, so we'll drop this as well. And this also we can drop. Okay, and also the revolver. We have two revolvers. I think that's it. And then we also have the book, but we can put the book somewhere else. So let's organize this is kind of like a, a tool shelf right here. We'll put excess tools and stuff here. Uh, organize it into a little shelf. Layers can be here at the bottom. This can go, uh, I think, here because we'll put stone lanterns down. And then flares. Put it the wrong way. It's nice and neat this way, you know. And then we have Hacksaw, which I think we'll put next to this again, like this. And then we have a knife, which we'll just again put next to it like this. Okay, so that's all of that stuff. Then I'm going to put some misc stuff in here. So the books, for example. And we have way too many matches, so I'm going to get rid of some of those. And then we have, uh, we can keep those on us. And here we're going to put all of this in here. 
except for cramped ones we're taking those back out food wise uh, that will be for the kitchen so we can leave that and we have two of these uh, and we have too many of these and now we can start putting these casings in because this is where we're going to store them so uh, I think that's good. I'm not sure if we need the bow, so we might put the bow down as well. And then our cloth. And that. And these. And actually, let me grab this back, because I want to repair a couple things. I would like to repair the can opener, although we're going to find another can opener here, but that's okay. I'm going to repair it a bit anyway. <clears throat> and then I want to repair the... This one, the storm lantern. So let's repair that. So it's better condition. There we are. Let me put this back. And now we're starting to get somewhere. Uh, then let's see. This can just lay here to cure. Fine. Okay, now we can actually loot the place and I'm going to use my storm lantern because it seems to miss something. Let's start in the kitchen. We have another storm lantern. This will come in handy. I'm going to just move that right away over here. Maybe as far in as we can. Ah, that's fine. All right. Uh, we can check the bathroom first. Uh, we'll grab the water that's here. And then... What else have we got? Teas, coffee, no. We have a drink. And then let's see what we got here. Uh, there should be a can opener somewhere. We have maple syrup. And then, is anything behind here? Doesn't look like it. Let's check the cabinets. Condensed milk. We have a cooking pot. Soup. That's the other can opener. <laughs> we have some more stuff. Uh, wood for cooking. You know, the behind sewing kit. And then we have this. And I'm actually going to, from now on, leave the big pots here. And bring him here. So we have like a six slot stove. When we cook our cans, we can use that. I think that was the kitchen, unless I missed something. I um, think I got everything. So I can see at least. All right, let's move on. Let's check under here. Sometimes there's rifle rounds there. Here we have cleaning kit. And here we have ketchup chips. And then in here, more wood. Might break down some of this stuff. Here we have candy bar, more bullets. Needs this anymore. Soda. And then let's check in here in the office. I think this thing is always there, the sports vest. We got some scrap metal, uh, a flare, and then we have, check this, oh, peaches, this pack is heavy. cooking, <clears throat> which we'll do probably after we looted everything. Not much else in here though, check these two, and then we'll do the basement. Basement can have different loot as well clothing and whatnot. Okay, so then it's basement time. Let's see what we got here. So we got another pry bar. Stuff will come in handy. It's usually some scrap metal and stuff around. Okay, let's check these. That's a kit. Sewing kit. Antiseptic. Scrap metal. Which we'll take. And let's see. You can also take the work gloves and the fuel. These matches are always here. They're always there. So they're fixed spawn. And we 
check. Now we have a pry bar, we can open these. Hey, the second fisherman sweater, we want that. Actually change it right away. Nice. Good stuff. Uh... Ah, whetstone, I would like that. I usually find many of these, but I actually don't have any. But I can sharpen my weapons. A lot of loot there in the farm. You can also store stuff down here if you need to. Just break all this stuff down. Oh, I have a bunch of space. Organize that later though. More gloves. Very often there's a fishing book here. Not today though, that's a bit annoying. Oh, t-shirt. Alright, so that's the basement. Oh, I missed this. Tools. I don't think I remember checking up there. Yeah, I think that's it. Alright, so now we can we can do it upstairs. Let's see what that's like. Let's check upstairs as well. We're heavy already, but that's okay. These to organize up. We looted everything. There's a sewing book. Oh, we want that. Uh, wood. I guess we take that down to the stove. And... Just looking around for misc things here really now. Energy bar. Bathtub. It's worth checking bathtubs because they often have uh, wool long johns or like thermal underwear in bathtubs. Well, I say often, but sometimes. There's something that people often forget to check. So check your bathtubs, people. And then we have maybe some clothing or something. Now let's check under the bed here, because sometimes you can find a rifle under this bed. And it's very hidden. Oops. Let's just check this first. And now I think we have looted pretty much everything in here. And let's see under the bed. Hey, look at that. There it is. <laughs> uh, hidden in plain view. No, no, not really. It's actually hidden. <laughs> I think you have to go on this side to grab it. There we go, see? Oh, that is uh, very well hidden, isn't it? Probably it makes sense that it's under the bed, though. And we have lots of cloth to gather from curtains, which we can do later. We don't need it right now. And then we have the last few drawers. Uh, so a flare there. Check out this drawer. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. Wow, well, you're already home, Astrid, so you'll be alright. Check behind here. Nothing there. Nothing under the bed either. I think that's it. I think that's the whole house looted. Nice. Okay, well, let's organize the inventory a bit then. Because we have lots of loot now. So we found a few things. Let's organize it. So we found things to drop. We have two of these. I'm going to drop that. Two of these. One of uh, the rifles. One of these, the tools, I think that's it of those things. Yeah, food will sort out later. Rifle we can put here. Uh, okay, well, we'll try putting it there. <laughs> Just a sec. All right. Uh, so I'm going to try and put this somewhere nice. There are some places that have gun racks. This does not appear to be one of them. And as you can see, it's kind of bugging out. Can, can you actually put it, like, here. upright? That would be so cool if you could. But it does not look like you can. You kind of rotate it on a weird axis. Which is just weird. <laughs> yeah, no, it doesn't work. Also, there's matches that we missed. Let's see here. I think we'll f move that later for now. we we'll put this in here first. I'll figure out that after. 
that there. This here. This, this is more of a kitchen thing, uh, but we can put this in this little corner over here. Then we have a pry bar that's just going to be on the floor. And this can be more over here. And then we have the rifle, which I think we need to just find somewhere. It doesn't look like it wants to go there, so we need to figure something else out. Can it be... Oh, here we are. We can't sleep on the bench, but our rifle can. So that's the home of our rifle now. It's kind of floating, but that's all right. Okay, then we can sort out the kitchen a bit as well. A lot of back and forth uh, today. Um, so the kitchen, how I want to organize that. I tend to put water here. That's usually what I do. So I'm just going to put that to indicate that. And I tend to just put things in the fridge. So here we have, yeah. I don't want to, things I'm going to cook, like these things, I'm going to put uh, here because then I know where to find them. And then let's see if only we could tidy the kitchen. Can we fit these in here? I never tried that. Do they fit in a shelf? Are we fun? Nah, they're too big. And we can't put them up there. Now, for now, we're just going to put it all in the fridge and I'll organize that later. So for now, we're just going to put all of this misc stuff uh, that isn't requiring cooking in here. And we'll sort that out later. We also have a bunch of these, which I think we can safely remove some of them. That's good enough. And then the other ones, like the cans, I'm just going to put it here for when we cook next. Now we can cook all of those. Level up some cooking skills. And get some cans. And I start it. I think that's it. Yes. Okay, what's next? The next is the miscellaneous stuff. And that's just going to go into this cupboard here. So we have, for example, too many accelerants. We're going to tidy it another time. Not right now. And then we have these two that we don't need. Uh, we have, again, I'm just going to click move all here, except for the crampons. It's easier. And then we have the fishing tackles don't really weigh anything, so we can, we can do that. I'll refuel the lantern with those. We, two of these should be fine. And put these in here too. And then also the bow. Can I place the bow here on the other couch? That would be cool. If I could. And we can have both. Oh, yeah, we can. <laughs> and then on the floor here, we'll put our uh, arrows, of which we have three. There we go. So that's our like our weapon, our weapon couches, plus this one. Okay. So I think, and then we'll refuel our thing. And now I think we're more or less organized. Uh, a couple of things as well. We can put the, this in there. This will put one fishing tackle in here. And then I, and I think. Let's put another one of these in there. I think now we're more or less ready. I'm not sure we need a hacksaw for anything right now. But we'll carry it for the moment. I think I am actually going to leave the distress pistol. Doesn't weigh much. But they're only really useful right now for if I run into a bear by surprise, which I don't think is going to happen. Famous last words. 
I'm just trying to make myself a bit lighter. And then we have some misc wood. I'm just gonna grab all the wood actually. And drop is there anything there? No. And drop that over here. Drop this and this and that. And also some of the coal. So I'll keep two pieces of coal on me. All right, and the book also has dropped that. Yeah, now we're doing well. Now we have 10 kilos to spare, pretty much. Much, much better than before. All right, so that's, uh, we have a farm base established. And we're a little bit tired, but not too bad. Before we do anything else, I'm gonna eat a bit. Let's grab some food. Can't make more water until I cook some, uh, until I start a fire. You know, I'm gonna wait a little bit before I do that. And I'm gonna check the car outside and stuff like that. Okay, nice. Now I'm doing great with space. Now we can actually go around and do stuff. Check here also, some of the stuff here. Not today. Dog house. Yeah. <laughs> In here, there can be a deer carcass. We'll check that a bit later. Let's check the car. Uh, and also for walls, walls there. Good to know. Let's check the boot. What have we got here? Okay, uh, check in here. Glove box, beef jerky. Okay. Uh, I'll check here quickly. Nothing here. Let's check if there's a battery. There isn't. And we're gonna check the uh, barn over here too, very quickly. See what we got. Uh, there usually isn't much loot inside the barn itself. It's mostly an alternative place for you to sleep. It pretty much just serves a function as uh, story mode. Uh, it's like where you go in episode three. But uh, not much use for it in survival, other than it's uh, an alternative place to stop and warm up, I guess. We can do some looting of the nearby area while we are around here. Let's see if there's anything in here. Nope. Oh, the rabbit scared me. So let's check in here. And here we have uh, a revolver cartridge, some matches. Okay. It is slightly dark, so I'm just gonna look thoroughly. This. Looks like we have another, that's actually, ooh, actually a lot of loot in here. Flashlight, pry bar, coffee. Uh, we'll grab the wood. Anything else? You can sleep in the hay here if you need that. You grab the charcoal. Oh, a revolver, look at that. <laughs> There's a revolver hidden Looks like this has been here a while. in the uh, thing. Is that loaded? Not loaded. Okay. And I think that's it. There is a hidden area in this barn, which I can show you, but there's never anything there. At least I've never found anything there on any difficulty. I don't know exactly why it exists, to be honest, but you can go up here. And, you know, if a wolf were ever to come in, <laughs> this is um, where you can go. Come to this little secret hideout up here. I think you can sleep here as well in the, in the hay. Uh, I think so. Not sure though. Maybe not. But there's nothing here. It's just, it's an easter egg really. That's about it. Yeah, that's all there is to it. Okay, nice. Let's see, while we're at it, because uh, we're not heavy yet, are we? Nah. We can also loot the cars and stuff that are here. And maybe even the little barn on the other side. Not the, yeah, like the mini barn. Uh, where there's usually a corpse. And then I think we'll head back to the farm and regroup. Let's check out this car.
What we got? Nothing. I don't see anything in here, but I like to check because sometimes there's stuff hidden on the floor. Looks like we have granola bar. Two of them. That's it. Let's check for batteries. No battery. We need that for crafting of ammo. And seeing as we're so close, we're going to check out this... Um, this little mini barn over here as well. So let's just check that out. There's always a corpse here. Sometimes there's a dead carcass as well, but we don't really need anything like that. I'll grab the feathers though if I want to craft my arrows. We're not going to pick up any more berries and things. We don't really need it. See if he's got anything. No. Feathers though. Anything in here? No. We can, we can also check, there's a little uh, hidden area up here. It's one of those areas about the, the stress signal or whatever it is. In episode 3, there's a few areas you can go to that has like a hidden corpse or something. And they added that when episode 3 came out. And I think one of them is here. Uh, yeah, I think it's actually this, this area or something. Nothing really there. But I think that's it. We're too tired to really do anything else. So I think we'll just head back. Wolves are about. There's so many wolves on Stalker. It's quite crazy. <laughs> yeah, we can rest. And then we can go out and explore afterwards. And I think the first thing I want to do is head towards the barn. To see if we have a moose spawn there. Uh, we could actually, we haven't really looted that much. We could actually go to the barn now. We don't really need to regroup with that little loot that we found. We could go to the barn now and just sleep there. Uh, and then stay the night there instead. Saves us having to go back and forth. So let's do that. Uh, we can loot the nearby buildings as well. Let's also check this car. An interloper, the barn is a must visit location because you can find a stim in there. You can also sometimes find a hammer as well. Um, so it's worth going there, but this difficulty, not so much, but I'm still gonna check it out. And it's also like a little mini camp before we check out the, uh, the moose spawn. The moose spawn in Pleasant Valley can only be one place, and that is here in the birch forest. It could be different places in the birch forest, though. They're all right next to each other. There's three places, basically. So it depends if you count it as one spawn or three. Let's check for batteries. No batteries. But the moose can be three places. One is uh, over there at the edge of the birch forest. Or it can be a bit further back, kind of like behind this rock, a bit further into the birch forest. Or it can be over this bridge on that side. About all of those are three locations that are very close to each other. And it's usually this is a moose spawn. Uh, maybe even if it's not up right now. Um, on my main run, my main interloper run, where I have survived over a thousand days, the I have markings for moose in this area, but I have never actually seen the moose. It's either a bar boy, it's just really, really rare. Should be some wood here. And some, some misclute. No. Wolves are around. Uh, I think we can just safely loot this. And then we can probably spend the night here. And then continue. There might be some arrows as well we can pick up. We can take back to the farm. Nothing here. Check this out. Check the moose in the morning. Nothing here. Usually it's chocolate and stuff. Then we have the practice range. You can actually use this to practice archery if you like. Oh, hello. Ooh, let's try this one. Hmm, okay. 
<laughs> I was hoping to do the shooting thing. There we have our first struggle. But I didn't really take any damage, except for my clothing. What got damaged? That These things got damaged. Okay. Because I missed my first shot. I hit the other one. I think I'm aiming a little bit too high. I think that's the issue. But we didn't take any bleed damage or anything. Just some damaged clothing. And that's okay, because now we can repair it and level up our mending skill. Broken arrow and a proper arrow. Okay. And if do we have any cloth? We might actually find some cloth in here too. We can do some repairs now. And then we level up our mending skills some more. Alright, so let's check out what we got in here in the barn. Depending on what we find, we'll either go back to the farm in the morning after checking the moose or we'll continue. More tools. <laughs> so much of it. <laughs> So many tools. Uh, the difference between high quality and low quality tools, by the way, if you're not familiar with it, the blue ones are simple tools. It's pretty much that uh, the high quality tools do things faster. So if you re repair things, they repair it faster. There's like, I think there's a couple of rare things that require high quality tools. One of them being simple tools. So you can repair simple tools with high quality tools, for example. <laughs> okay, stay on target, note. We got an archery book, oh, shell casing, there. okay. Beef jerky, anything here or under? Don't think so. Uh, wood, I don't think we need that. And what about over here? So this is a corpse here, not today. Okay, then we're gonna check inside the car itself and also behind the car, yeah, we have some leather. And here we have cloth, and that's it, and a this flare, oh, handy. nice. Check the hood, no battery. And here we have whetstone and cloth, nice. And what about upstairs? Let's see what we got upstairs. A few things to open upstairs. So let's see what we got here. Uh, no first aid kit here. Accelerant. Yeah. There's not much for me to upgrade now, clothing wise. A second pair of snow pants uh, would be good. And uh, we could find the couch and sweater. And that's about it. There's also muck, muck legs, muck, whatever they're called, but I'm not sure how useful they are. The so clothing wise, we pretty much have everything now. There isn't much more to upgrade. It's possible to be even warmer, of course. For example, this uh, gives 3.5 degrees. I guess it gives four degrees if you repair it. And the bear coat gives six degrees. So it's possible to be even warmer, but you just need to craft a lot more stuff. Dog food, peaches. Scrap metal, which we'll take. Bandage. Let's see under if there's anything. It doesn't look like it. Here yeah, there can be hammer on interloper. Nothing else. Okay, this is spray paint. Okay, I don't see anything else. So let's hop down here. And we can sleep in the car if we want to. Well, I think you actually sleep better when you're in your own bedroll. The first things first, uh, we got some stuff we can do. We can uh, harvest this for one. And we can't read because we're too tired, but we can do some repairs. So we got damaged a bit. We also have some stuff we don't need, like we don't need this. So let's harvest that. And then we repair some clothing to make sure they're, you know, not ruined. <laughs> we can also harvest this. Ten minutes. It's all right. We don't have much cloth, but we have some. We have six. That's all right. So let's repair this, for example. That needs repairing. Uh, there we go. Good as new. I want to repair this one. You don't want these to break because they're very rare. failed. Let's try again. Uh, 
then what else is damaged? This is quite badly damaged, so let's repair that. What else, if anything? These are badly damaged as well, so let's repair that too. One more time. Do I need to make water, actually? Not really, okay. Okay, uh, I think that's it of everything that needed repairing. I think we'll just harvest the rest of the stuff now. Don't need these. Let's the other ones get broken, so we're gonna harvest that. So we're lighter. And then we're gonna sleep, but first we're gonna eat stuff. So we'll eat, um, eat the low condition food first. And let's have the dog food as well. Gives us a can and also some hydration. There we go. And then also this, which makes us almost completely hydrated. Good enough. I'm just going to sleep. And we can sleep for 12 hours because we're exhausted. I'll wake up uh, dehydrated and I think I will lose a little bit of health because we're like a percent or two. Uh, yeah, no, about, about full health. Okay, nice. Uh, now we need water though. Uh, we don't have anything. But I'm gonna wait to make water. I'm gonna check first for the moose. And actually we're not that heavy. We're not that heavy. So we'll loot a little bit around here first. Um, maybe go to Thompson's Crossing or something. Let's check for the moose spawn. We'll do it via the birch forest. Then we'll head to Thompson's Crossing after. See what we can find. We're not heavy, so I can sprint a little bit. Okay, let's see. Moose, moose, moose. Is there a moose around? Wolves, yes. But moose. I can also look for the markings on the trees over there, but I don't see them. Uh, so I need to keep an eye out. There can also be a bear here. And if you need birch, this is the place to go. There's so, so much of it. And normally I would pick it up at the moment. We don't really need it. I'm gonna wait. Here's the bear. Ugh, my He's out for a little, a little walk over there. He's having a nice time. Uh, we're going to leave him though. We don't need him right now. The moose would be patrolling around here if it was here. I'm going to go inside the forest. Look at this mesmerizing thing. And I'm going to loot the uh, burnt down houses over here. And then check the other two locations for the moose spawn. Uh, should be, here we are. Should be a corpse or two, so a misclute. Nothing really worth going for, but we're here, so we'll check it. Mostly we're looking for bullets and things. And books. Stuff to craft arrows with later. Those are crafting arrows, we'll uh, level up archery. I'll take it. Anything else around here? No. Nope. What about over here? I think I see moose markings. Yeah, I do. Uh, in case there is a moose, I'm going to pick this up. Anything else here? I don't think there is anything else. No. Okay. We got the moose markings here, so let's see if there is a moose. We have our rifle. Back up as revolver, I suppose. So, it will be here then, above the ridge. Let's see if we can hear it. Can't hear it at the moment. Could be here. Let's crouch just in case. Check. Okay, 
It's not here. It would usually be trolling around here. Wait. Oh, it is here. It's around the corner. Can you hear the hoofs? So we're going to get to a vantage position because the moose can stomp us. So we're going to go up this hill and find it. I can hear these hooves clicking. So it is around here somewhere. I think it's around the corner here or something. Unless it is this ambience, but I don't think it is. It sounds like hooves clicking. Go up here if we can. More moose markings. I don't see it though. I think it might just be ambience. Yeah, okay. Well, if the moose was here, uh, it's, it's quite easy to hunt. Yeah, it's noises that sounds like hooves walking, but I don't think it is here. But it's a it's a good way to hunt the moose uh, when it's in this area because you have so many vantage points. You can go up to this ridge, or I am now, or here, and then what you do is you shoot the moose, and if it charges you, it can't actually get to you, so it'll probably just flee, and it won't run too far away because moose can't bleed out, so you just shoot it again when you can, and you'll you'll knock it out. It doesn't seem like the moose is around. I can hear these clicking noises for hooves. But that's, uh, it's not here. At least I've never seen the moose like over here, for example. That's, would be unusual. So I don't think the moose is here at all. We can check across the river though, even though there's markings here. I suppose it could be across the river. So we'll just check quickly. We've yet to find a moose. But we know of two locations at least. In Ash Canyon, I didn't see it in either of the places either. But we know of two locations now where it can spawn, so it's worth coming back here later. Because we want the Moosehide Satchel. And in fact, after I have finished uh, looting Pleasant Valley, if I haven't already killed the moose, and the next step is to go to Hush River Valley so we can get the satchel and carry even more stuff. <laughs> so the moose can also be over here, walking around here. But it's not, so... No moose today. And we're not that heavy. I also picked up some wood I don't actually need now. So we have quite a bit of uh, space left. So we might as well take the opportunity and head to... Um, Thompson's Crossing and check that out. We're gonna do that. We're gonna check it. Thompson's Crossing. Looks like a blizzard might be coming in. In which case, we'll be fine. We're not going that far. Just heading for this church in the distance here. Which we'll check out, by the way. We'll check out the church. But, um,. There's usually not much loot in there. <laughs> Lower this, we don't need it. How many revolver bullets do we have? 55. <laughs> Should be enough. Okay. We can also see if the bear spawn is here. Uh, depending on the loot, we can go the single hill from here, but I think it will be a bit too heavy uh, to carry all that stuff. So we're probably after looting this area. Head back to the farm, I would think. So let's check this out. Can't go in there because that's boarded up. And let's check here then. It can be wolves roaming about there, but it usually doesn't happen. They're on, a, on the other side of the bridge. Yeah, there usually isn't much. Uh, just books and some cloth. And that's about it. You can even grab this book. It doesn't say what it is. <laughs> but I guess we can assume. And uh, I don't think there is ever any loot in here. No, not that I've ever seen. The most important thing will be this. Which we're going to leave. And there's a couple other smaller houses to loot. Uh, there's also uh, misc things around, like for example, this corpse. 
uh, this picnic site and it can sometimes have a thing or two and it does it has a drink I don't think there's anything else though and we have a couple of misc houses and a car a lot of noises in this game now uh, you want to check the snow of the pickup trucks because sometimes there can be stuff in the snow you just don't uh, notice it salted crackers nice these mittens check for battery no battery I check in here Got a revolver cartridge. And cloth will take that. Don't see anything else in here. There usually isn't much in these places. It's scrap metal, I guess. To repair things. Then we have a mailbox. Can find bullets in here, actually. I have had that. The, the two two things I found in mailboxes that are actually worth anything are bullets and um, and chocolate. That's the other thing. Dog food. Nothing else here. Check the kitchen here is a little bit dark, so I'll light this to make sure I don't miss anything. There we have can. Coffee! This will come in handy. Let's check all of this stuff. Another pot to take back. We'll take that. Uh, I want it for the six. Up stove. Uh, here's usually something. No. Water. We don't have water, so we'll grab the toilet water. And then we have a drink on the toilet. Sure, why not? Uh, first aid kit. Bandage. And then we see what we have upstairs. There's a few things, it seems. Check this first. Stocks. Check the corpse. Jacket, ski jacket. A few things to maintain. And organize. Uh, I'll check this too. My jeans. All right. Let's check under here as well. I don't think there's anything though, not that I can see. Alright, so that's it for this house. And then we have two buildings left, I believe. Uh, yeah, I looted that. And then we have the car. Let's see if there's anything in here. This Bullets! Anything in here? No. Oh. Burning lantern fuel here, but that's alright. We got quite a lot of it. Back in the base. Nuts. Battery. No battery. We can also check like the market and stuff out. So here for example, there is a um uh, a little coal bin and a hatchet. Oh, yeah. Lucky day. Bandage and lantern fuel, that's handy. Before I check that, here is the uh, farmer's market, which also can have some miscellaneous stuff just spread about, uh, including uh, a random bullet. And then can be like backpacks and stuff behind here. There's one. And then there's like drink, backpack. Nothing in there. And then we can also check down here. A little like fishing station or whatever this is. Guard post. Check that too. Uh, where 
there is nothing. But sometimes there's a corpse here. Doesn't seem like there's one now though. Then we have the actual town hall and also the rural store and the buildings on the other side. But first I'm gonna check out this uh the flag building, as we sometimes call them. This there's a few buildings that have the Canadian flag outside of it like this. Usually um they have better loot. Check the mailbox in there. And then let's have a look in here. And here we have big kitchen to loot. Cloth and stuff to find. But we won't harvest curtains today. We are going to loot all the kitchen and stuff though. Coffee, bullets, books. Alright, things to cook. Uh, we can take maybe this, I guess. Take the cabinet. I think I can use uh, this. We can take those for the leather. Let's actually have a drink so we don't go thirsty all the time. Okay. Sports socks are the worst socks in the game. Oh wow, new cargo pants. These are actually better than these then. Put those on. T-shirt, which is basically cloth. And then this. More socks. Check under the bed, more socks. Nothing under the bed that I can see. We have enough water for now. Except you can take that. More socks. Wow. Who's who's leaving all these socks about? <laughs> Actually too heavy to, to sprint to sprint now. To That's right, we're gonna sort that out when we're inside here. Definitely not going to signal hill after. But we are gonna go in here and sort ourselves out a bit. And yeah, there's a bunch of stuff to loot, including a hidden loot area. So we can check out. Uh, check in here first. Very often there'll be bullets in here. In uh, the cabinet on my right. Getting a lot of stuff. There's the bullets. This will come in handy. I think I have always found them there. Except for an interloper, of course. There's a couple of bullets you can find in interloper though, in Hushra Valley. I'm checking here. Bandage. We have in the open here, we have backpack, a bullet, a more shoes. Drink. Nothing really up there. There is something there though. Do that later. Drink. Two bullets. Something in here. Nothing. Okay. And we have the kitchen itself. Uh, let's leave that. Those cans. Check all the kitchen. Hey, go drink. Nice. That can come in handy. Cloth. Oops. A lot of stuff to loot here in Thompson Crossing. And this place didn't used to exist until, uh, until episode 3 came out. Before episode 3, you still had the rural store. That was there, and some other houses. But the rest of it, like Thompson's Crossing, like this building, and all the other ones we've looted so far, that this did not exist. Matches. So now there's like a whole bunch of more loot here. <laughs> this fire's dying soon. Cabinet. Okay, we're more or less done looting now. So much food and stuff to find. Yep, 
peaches, bunch of stuff to cook. All right, so that's everything. The only thing we haven't done now is the secret cabinet and the other cabinet. So if you didn't know already, there's a cabinet right here. And then there's another cabinet behind this table. You gotta break down the table first over the hatchet. And here's another one. Nothing in there though, today. But you can get good stuff in there, of course. Okay, let's do a little sit rep. So we have some stuff that's heavy, uh, very heavy. Uh, we probably can leave some stuff to take, or leave rather. Let's start by, we don't need this, for example. Drank his own pee. Get rid Doesn't of that. So crazy right now. There's harvest things we don't need. We don't need this. We're gonna start by harvesting to lower our inventory weight much as possible because we're gonna to have to do it even more afterwards and then we can repair things if we want as well but I don't know how necessary that is right now and then we have uh, worn jeans and stuff and cargo pants that are worn how is that too Let me get rid of some waste this way. And we got a load of socks. These we can just get rid of. And we also have shoes we can harvest for the leather. As long as we don't lose our well-fed bonus, we'll be okay. Should be right. Okay, so that's all that stuff sorted. Get rid of some stuff there. And we got some heavy food. We need to cook this stuff though. So we're gonna eat first the stuff that's low condition. This. And this one. This one. And we're gonna eat the dog food. This probably will give us food poisoning. It's almost ruined uh, dog food, but we'll give it a shot, see what happens. Yeah, there we go. We got food poisoning. I just want to die. Uh, let's also get rid of these cans, two of them. Now to cure food poisoning, you just grab this uh, antibiotics uh, or reishi tea, and you use it. And you're still going to lose health, though. You lose ten percent per hour while awake, basically. Uh, but if you sleep, it kind of mitigates it. So let's just continue what we're doing here. We can also eat this dog food. Now that you have food poisoning, you can't get more food poisoning. You're free to eat whatever you want that um, has low condition. It's not going to make a difference. The drinks don't give food poisoning, though, so I wouldn't worry about that part. And let's have regular water as well. And let's drop uh, one of these. And let's also refuel this. And then we can sleep, and then we can continue in the morning. I don't think anything needs curing. No. Okay, so let's sleep 12 hours, and that should cure our food poisoning. As you can see, we're not healing. That's because of food poisoning. This is why you should always eat stuff like that before bed. There you go. You can see it's cured completely. And that's because uh, we ate that before bed, and that's just much better. I'm gonna keep eating some of this stuff though. <laughs> Get food poisoning again, imagine. Can happen, I suppose. Sounds like we have a blizzard outside. And we're heavy, but not super duper heavy. Once the blizzard is gone, probably head out. Let me just save the game. By leaving the hall. And going back inside. Pleasant Valley Blizzard. All right, fellow survivors. I think that's the end of this episode. We've looted. We made it to Pleasant Valley. We established a base. We looted the immediate area. But we still have some more things to do. We need to loot the rest of Thompson's Crossing. Like the Royal Store and stuff. And we need to uh, loot Single Hill. 
where we need to go back to the farm first. And then that's kind of like the biggest things looted. There's a few other areas that we could loot. But after that, we should just start hunting stuff to get more self-sustainable. Um, and then that's it, I guess. And then after we feel like we have Pleasant Valley under control, it's time to either find a moose or head to Astro Valley to get the moose satchel so we can carry even more stuff. Because as you can see, we're always heavy. <laughs> but yeah, until then, uh, that was it for this time. Thank you, everyone, and see you next time, survivors. Bye-bye.